Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to one of my streams. Today, I have energy. Wow. Wow. What amazing news. What a great... I cannot fix the microphone. Holy fuck. What? I like, I like twist this. Anyways. um, Yeah. Today, I have energy. Today, I am not EP. Today, I can... I can stream normally. <laughs> hello, Komaru. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, Chop Chops. It's okay if you can have me in the background. It's fine. It's fine as long as you can enjoy as much as you can. But yeah, today we're going to be playing Honkai Star Rail. Why Honkai Star Rail and not Wuthering Waves? Well, because Wuthering Waves is not out yet and... The time that it comes out, it's way too late for me to stream. So, I prefer to stream it tomorrow a little bit earlier than usual. So, yeah, I'll stream Wuthering Waves tomorrow at a time zone a little bit earlier. Oh, well, not at a time zone. At a time that's gonna be a little bit more earlier than what I usually do. Uh, Blob's father, can you please come and help me twist this microphone? Because I can't. I don't know what I'm doing. I've tried to fi to flip it, but I think I'm gonna break it. Oh, never mind! I did it. Never mind! I did it. Never mind! I I, I did it. I did it. I did it. Never never mind. It's it's all good. I managed to. I did it. I did it. I, I am a big boy. I can do it by myself. So yeah, today we're gonna be playing Honkai Star Rail, and I think we're gonna be playing Acheron's Story Quest. I suppose it's Acheron's Story Quest because I already did. Black Swans, and I already did Sparkles, so I suppose Akron is the one that's left, so... We're gonna roll with that. I'm gonna pause a little bit the music here, I'm gonna wait for the music to finish, uh-huh. There we go. We're gonna open the game. Well, I opened the game, why don't you all tell me how this week was for you? How... How this week was for you, it's only Wednesday, but I don't care. How was the, 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 since we couldn't have a proper, um, communication on, was it Monday? I don't remember when did I stream. Was it Saturday? I don't remember. I only remember being half asleep, not understanding half of the things that you guys were telling me in chat, and dozing off so many times. I was gifted a worm? That is so nice. I want to be gifted a rat one day. That'll be like peak. Wait, wait, wait. But do you mean like an actual worm or like a toy worm? If it's an actual worm, that's fucking rad. If it's a toy worm, that is also very rad. But I would prefer an actual worm. Okay. I always forget which one I use for a home guy. Let's. I think this one, but in this configuration. There we go. Let's wait for that to. Let's go. We're streaming. We're gaming. There we go with Black Swan. Let's. Remove the red dots because I hate the red dots. This little little quest thingy. Let's do it real quick. Let's dispatch the blonde guy. Let's dispatch another blonde guy. There we go. I am dumb. I am dumb. Okay, let's see. Which ones are the ones that I have, like, less? And these ones. There we go. Beautiful. Wow, 
Wow, so nice of you. Mmm. Simulated universe, double thingies. Great. Okay, nameless honor. A toy worm. That is very nice. A toy worm is very rad. Is it one of those that go like clickety clackety? Like, are they, they are like. I don't know how to explain it. Like fidget toys. They're like fidget toys. They are fidget toys. They're not like fidget toys. But it's like a, fid, a warm fidget toy. Yes. Oh, those are so nice. Those are very cool. Those are very, 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 very cool. Ignore my half dead black swan. I was. Last time that I entered this which was yesterday i was completing the exploration on this on this place so let's go level up the cloaky statue me siento amorosa haré algo genial what are you gonna do komaru what are you gonna do what are you gonna do komaru oh we got too much this time komaru no me asuste. No me asuste, Komaru. Tengo miedo. Well, I mean, I'm not afraid, but like... I, I'm... I'm... I don't know how to feel. <laughs> Ooh. Oh! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you for the subscription, Komaru. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You have now one of the badges. You have now one of the badges! Yay! Komaru is one of the... Komaru is one of the crew! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Wait, is my microphone not... Has been... Has my microphone not been reacting? For this whole time? Huh. Why is my microphone not reacting? Hello? 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 One, two, three. One, two, three. You're God. Yes, you are. <laughs> oh right, I was absorbing their emotions. I did not read a single thing they said. Anyways. Uh-huh. Oh, hi! One of these days, I accidentally make made one of these get run over by a car. And I got an achievement for it. And I was feeling so bad because they're so nice just look at those big dumb eyes why would i want to try to get this thing i'm a junk run over by a car i was just running because i was doing a quest and the thing followed me and it didn't look both ways before crossing and it got thrown over and i was like no mataron un inocente That was tragic, honestly. But look at it, so happy. It wants me to give attention. I won't give it attention. I'm gonna eat a cracker. This wonderful dream has finally come to an end. Dr. Edward would like to hear your thoughts. Go and talk with him. Oh, don't forget that Black Swan told you at the start. The nature of this memory is special. Don't ruin the dreamscape experience for anyone else by spoiling the ending. So it's still Black Swan. Is it Black Swan with Acheron? I don't know anymore. Beneficios de ser sub. Mi nombre se ve más genial. Yes, you look cooler with a diamond and the first. Woo! I have to get the, 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 the emotes for people that are subbed because I am um, broke, honestly. I don't have the budget right now to do a second batch of emotes, so I'll get them as soon as possible. Oh, I just noticed the cool thing in the top. It's just like a railway. <gasps> oh, it's like a railway, but it's pinballs. Oh, that is so cool! Oh my god! I want to ride one of those! Meow! There's a cat meowing outside. 
There's a cat going meow. That's the end of Miss Black Swan's dream bubble. Are you satisfied with your experience? I also found this dream suitably fascinating. You've gained joy from it. And Miss Black Swan surely also feels gratified. Yeah? I'm confused. Is this the ending of a quest? Meet again. I uh, I noticed that the people in your dream were familiar to you. It's worth repeating that dreams are just dreams. And in Penacoli, dreams can be processed. Meow! Meow! Let's all meow, chat. Meow! My cat looked at me like, what the fuck are you saying, father? And I was like, I'm sorry, child. I love you, cat! Mwah! Don't look at me like that. Love me back. Things in our dreams cannot be trusted. Let alone in someone else's dreams can. If there's any information that you'd like to confirm, uh, please do so by the cold hard light of reality. <sighs> Sweet dream. Really? I wouldn't do anything to her. Guys, I am very sorry. Apparently, we're mid-quest. I thought I had already finished Black Swan's quest slash Sparkle's quest slash... I don't even know who else is in this quest. Apparently, it wasn't finished. So, Nia. Nia. Meow. Don't worry about that, Memo Keeper. Let's talk about my thing. I've helped you out with everything you've asked, as agreed. Shouldn't you give my mask back to me now? I knew it. Since when Everyone knew it. Suddenly start respecting agreements. Shampoo? Love it. Bully that man, he deserves it. Just kidding. I loved seeing that look on your face. Take this key to the tavern cellar. Third barrel on the left. You never saw me. But Sampo, after all this time, what made you suddenly want to take back your mask? This doesn't seem like the Sampo I know. Let me guess. A catastrophe is coming to your LO6. Am I right? Omaru redeemed a lo buenas. Espérenme un momentito para poner el, el temporizador. Ahí está. Well, no comment about that. But I love that line you said. If you're too late to take the stage, you can work behind the scenes. That really makes sense. Estoy de acuerdo. A mí me gustó también mucho esa frase. Está muy linda, la verdad. Tipo, si no puedes ser el protagonista, puedes trabajar detrás de las escenas. Está muy lindo, la verdad. The sample ample. <laughs> Yo hago todos los tipos de interacción. Seguir, donar, suscribirse y usar puntos. Oh, gracias por hacer llorar. Me estresa que... Por la única vez que sí pongo el pinche micrófono... Que sí me acuerdo poner el pinche micrófono. El micrófono no está funcionando. Creo yo que no está funcionando. O sea, está funcionando el micrófono. Like, ¿se ve? No, no se ve. El micrófono no está funcionando. Voy a resistir el micrófono. Ya vengo. No, 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 no me refiero a ese micrófono. Me refiero al micrófono que sale en la pantallita. Sí, el visual. El micrófono visual. El micrófono yo sé que escucho, pero si no estaría bien triste. Vamos a ver. Ah. 
Vamos a ver. Aló, aló, aló. Aló, aló, aló. ¿Por qué no está funcionando? Bueno, micrófono apagado. A ver, ¿ya? ¿No? DGG. En fin. Quedó cabum. Se le jodieron las lucecitas LED. <risa> se le hallaron las lucecitas LED al... ¡Ah, ahí está! Ya se le, se le arreglaron las, las lucecitas LED. Gracias, Blobs Father. Se le quiere, compa. Gracias, compa. Sos un buen compa. Qué bueno que es Ramshackle. En fin, seguimos. Sometimes even an old timer like me feels like taking the stage and making a fool out of myself. <laughs> If you're all out of options, please get in touch with me. I'm the kind of person who values friendship highly. Ya no es gamer, no. Ahora sí es gamer de nuevo. Forget it. You'll be doing me a favor if you stay away from Bellabog. After all, the elation that Miss Sparkle seeks isn't something old Sempo can stand by. Mm. Mejor de lejitos. Tener a la chiquita. Go tell Giovanni I said hi. ¿Quién? Porón al Giovanni. Giovanni Vázquez. Con pulpa, sin pulpa. Desayuna con huevo. Jugo de china del bueno. Toma mango. Al parecer me dan puntos hasta por respirar, por ser sub. Sí, cuando uno se suscribe, si no me equivoco, recibe como que el doble de puntos. Giovanni Vázquez es mi papá. Giovanni Vázquez es el nuevo chayán de la generación de hoy en día. Es el chayán de la generación de hoy en día. Don't take it so seriously. Why so serious? Si con esto se termina el quest, nos vamos a hacer el quest principal porque yo pensé que yo pensé que esa era quest nueva, no pensé que era el mismo quest de Black Swan. Tengo la percepción de la realidad súper alterada, aparentemente. Lo cual va muy bien con la temática de Penaconi, ¿saben? Porque es, un, es una niña borrosa entre sueños y realidad. Pero a ver, dice Whisker aquí. Me imagino que ya viste la Dream Bubble, la burbuja de sueño. No sé cómo decirlo en español. Rela relajado. Solamente quiero saber si alguien te ha venido a buscar. Ah, si Sparkle me está, me está stalkeando. No que yo sepa. Oh my God, she's the Joker. Yes, she is. Suave, 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 suave. Boy, wait, wait. Bájele. No puedo leer tan rápido. Puedo leer tan rápido. Eh, vamos a hacer esto simple. Sparkle está buscándote por todo el lugar. Por esa bruja del sueño. Y no sé cuáles serán sus intenciones, pero dejar que esa burbuja del sueño cague en sus manos hará la situación más confusa. ¿Podrías hacerme un favor y comprar la burbuja del sueño? Por supuesto. Todo por usted, Black Swan, mi señora. Si va a venir conmigo, ¿por qué no la compra usted entonces? Hueput. Me hacen gastar plata a mí. Ok, o sea, sos bonita, pero para tanto. La, la buena te escribe como si le hubiera sido infiel. Ah, 
Ajá, uh -huh. your attitude is reassuring. Voy a, ir, voy a ir con vos. Pero no me acuerdo en dónde, en dónde había dejado esa burbuja del sueño. Mujer, se supone que usted es como la máster de las memorias. ¿Cómo se le va a olvidar? ¿Cómo se le va a olvidar una memoria? Will... <coughs> Oh, Sparkle! Damn! Oh, that was clever! Okay! Okay! <laughs> era la chanica. Era la, era la, era la, cha, era la, era la, era la mocosa. Bueno, no es una mocosa. Le digo mocosa porque es un enana. Pero era la, la, la... Ay, sí. Sparkle. No es Black Swan. ¿Ah? Nos engañó. Nos timaron. Casi nos timan. No soy, no soy el True Memo Keeper. Después de todo. No puedo creer que me descubrieras tan rápido. Qué aburrido. Las bromas es más, son más divertidas cuando es este... Bla, bla, bla. ¿Has visto cuánta diversión tengo con esa, con, con esa muchacha? Deberías aprender de ella. No. Qué pereza. Lidiar con usted... Lidiar con Sparkle es demasiado peso para mi cerebro tan liso. Esto es solo el comienzo. I will be back. Que sos Springtrap. Bring it on, bitch. No, me tiro. Message failed to send. This user does not exist. Qué conveniente. Qué conveniente. En fin, no sabía que estábamos a medio quest. Mis medias disculpas. Vámonos al quest principal entonces. <risa> Whoopsie Daisy. I'm getting the vu over here. ¿Cómo podemos hacer que Black Swan nos diga que es realmente ella? Una expresión, a ver. Sí, pero la we, la, la weona... Pero, 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 pero... Puta madre, no me escri... Ya, pero tanta Biblia, coño. Ajá, eso hay un chance de que pueda perfectamente imitar a todo sobre una persona. Lo que puede diferenciar a alguien de la otra persona son las memorias. Y no hay manera de que una persona pueda comprar, no, robar o imitar eh, las memorias de otra persona. Es como cuando nos conocimos en Penaconi. Este, ajá. Ajá. Suficiente, ya no quiero leer tanta Biblia, perdón, Black Swan. Don't mention Springtrap, you know how that went last time. <laughs> Don't remind me. <laughs> that was terrifying. Por tu lógica, yo también tengo que probar que no soy Sparkle. Ok. Me gusta la basura y... Black Swan, ¿cómo puedes escribir tanto en tan poco tiempo, mujer? ¡Por Dios! ¿Cómo estamos para tirar por el...? Ok... En fin, vámonos a la historia principal. ¡Wii! Parece pelea de pereja. So many people talking about it. This commotion at the theme park definitely made waves. 
¡Miren a Robin! ¡Mírenla! ¡Se maquilla! ¡Ah! ¡Está linda! La amo. Está, se, está preparado para su cita conmigo. ¡Uy! The family promised they would protect the guests within the dreamscape, but I witnessed a group of organic life forms making their way to the theme park. And soon after, a rip tore through the sky, and black rain started leaking out of the void. Todo era una alucinación colectiva. Ustedes están tripeando. Nada de eso ha pasado. Uh. Esa es básicamente la teoría, la, 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 la estrategia que está usando Robin en este momento para que la gente... Todo fue bait. Todo era bait. Todo era... Todo, todo, todo era el parte del beta. Todo era parte del beta. Nada de esto es real, todo es un sueño. <risa> Esa es la estrategia que Robin está utilizando para que la gente se mantenga tranquila. Qué cansado. The family needs to provide a reasonable explanation. The reasonable explanation is that you smoked the green one. I thought the dreamscape was supposed to be a paradise. If it's not, then there's no point staying here. It appears the good sir has seen many great events. And it's true that an uninvited guest has unexpectedly entered the dreamscape. Gaslight girl was However, gatekeep. Let's go! It's not the ordinary guests, but the ambassadors of the IPC. The family will certainly ensure that the safety of the guests is of the highest importance. Miss Robin, I know the Bloodhound family has already sealed off the theme park. And has control over the situation. Ay, ya, entonces váyase, güey puta. ¿Cómo me estresa? No. No, 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 no. I don't wish to gamble with my life. Pues váyase entonces, weón. Estás literalmente en la recreación de Las Vegas. Me da curiosidad si ella de bebé tenía dos alitas de pollo calvas porque no creo que haya nacido con las plumas. Todo el fandom tiene. Todo el fandom tiene esa. Todo, todo el fandom tiene ese head canon. Que Sunday y Robin nacieron con las alitas ahí. Parecen alitas de pollo. <risa> ¡Ah! Déjenme solo con Sunday en una habitación y yo salgo con la cena de cinco días. Ah, no, ¿qué? ¿Cómo era? Eh, 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 mm, mm, no. <ríe> Ay, pero qué presa con este compa. No. Yay, I can go back to English. I, I hate this guy. I, I quitted my. I, I quitted long ago my customer service. Job for a reason. I cannot deal with people like this. I, I'm just like, if you don't solve this, I am going to leave. Then leave. Why are you complaining? Leave. We, just if you don't like it, leave. If you had all the money to come over here, then just fucking leave. But as you can see, sir. No innocent bystanders were affected in this incident. Perhaps the dreamscape is not as perfect as promised, but there's no place safer than dreams under the family's rule. I believe you know this better than I do. If this incident happened in real life, how many people would be able to walk away from it? <sighs> Ooh, creepy. Black rain coming from the sky. Uh. Come to Penacone to enjoy the dreamscapes. They do not wish to be entangled in a conflict between the family and the IPC, so let's not have any more unnecessary incidents. Pero no, son de feo, más feo, son de bebés, más feo que pegarle a un padre. Pero no se, no se sabe cómo se ven ellos de bebés. Se sabe cómo se ven ellos de chiquitos, pero no se sabe cómo se ven ellos de bebés. 
With the Charmony Festival about to commence, we will spare no effort in our preparations. Rest assured. To express our apologies, the family has arranged this gift for the guests. Thank you for understanding. This bitch Sparkle is giving out those fucking buttons that make Penaconi go into a poof. Just because. You've Take a picture of me. Selfie! Ooh! Okay. Anyways. Hello. Oh my god, yeah. these two! Nothing to be worried about. There's been a small rehearsal mishap at Clock Studios theme park. Please stay calm. Can you not recognize? Hey, are you a fool? You don't even recognize Miss Robin? Literally. Who do you think you're talking to? Uh, I, 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 I'm this, sorry. This I, pair I, of dumbasses. I'm so tired of them. Family, and I'm still not too used to working on the streets. I, I didn't realize it was you. I, How do you not recognize a pop star? How do you not recognize the pop star that this whole Charmony Festival is surrounding? Have you not seen the posters? Girl, at least the face could have been like familiar. Can't you recognize she has like main character clothing? Do you really think this is just an ordinary guest of the hotel? How did you even got this job? I am so mad at this too. This too has made the Pinaconi quest such a pain in the ass for the smallest reason ever. Esta cosa del demonio toda fake, calva. Aunque sacaría un dibujo. Sacaron un dibujo oficial de Sandy Bebé. No podrán sacarme la cabeza al bebé calvo con alas de pollo. Aunque sacaran un dibujo oficial de Sandy Bebé. No han sacado dibujo oficial de ellos, bebés. But I love the. I know how it is. How's the situation looking? Oh, we've sealed off the theme park. Most guests are used to bizarre phenomena in the dreamscape, and so far, no threats have been detected. I love the fandom headcanon that Sunday soon. was born all ugly Rest and assured, stuff, Robin and Robin was like the precious you. little no baby of the of the bat of the of the two. But regarding what happened in the theme park, what do you hounds think about it? It's okay. Feel free to speak your mind. Uh, well, actually, nota cuál sacó los buenos genes y fue Robin. Is it true that the IPC's ambassadors came with ill intent, and that Galaxy Ranger who easily cut through the sky? Not with ill intent, <sighs> but with not good news for Everyone's you. Everyone's been talking about it. The myriad factions on Panacone have already been causing unease for everyone. Thank you all for your loyalty towards the family. The planet of festivities has indeed run into some trouble. Robin is my wife, and Sunday is going to be my lunch. He's trying to regain ownership of Penaconi and is prepared for a hostile takeover. A hostile takeover. Uh, the, mm. the result of the failed negotiations is as you see it now. You guys didn't even what? negotiate! So this is the main reason why the IPC staff are banned from entering the dreamscape. Did they apprehend the troublemaker in the end? What did my boy do? He did nothing. Mr. Sunday is currently tracking his whereabouts, and he'll have something to show for it soon. However, given the situation, the IPC surely won't let this go easily. Therefore, we are relying on you hounds to maintain the order and stability of the dreamscape. Please be assured, Miss Robin. What's so tasty about him? Seriously. Have you not we tried chicken wings? Cronies get away with this. Like, they are Thank very tasty. If there are any other members who still feel uneasy, please tell them on my behalf that protecting the dreamscape requires everyone's help. Cannibalism as a metaphor of love? Nah, cannibalism as a metaphor of I am hungry and you are in front of me. <laughs> It at the Charmony Festival for an unexpected surprise. <laughs> Though, would it count as cannibalism? Because look at me, like I'm dreaming. and then look at Sunday. I it is in a dream. It's not cannibalism. It's not cannibalism. I'm just hungry. <laughs> it's not cannibalism. I'm just hungry. I am in a dream. 
You guys are so stupid. Oh my god. I've been paying attention to what these two have been talking about and they're so dumb. How can they buy that bullshit story? Yeah, the IPC and the family tried to negotiate, but the negotiations went awry. And now this is the outcome. But don't worry, I'll give you this gift so you guys don't worry about it and help us maintain the safety and security of all the other guests on the Dreams Gang. Like, come on! That's that's just bullshit. That's just propaganda. That's just political agenda at this point. Incluso si fueras humano, él no es humano, sigue sin ser canibalismo. Yay! I have avoided committed a crime. Let's go. Oh, wait, no, murder. Well, no, I don't need to murder him to eat his wings. Oh, but torture is a thing. Huh. Anyways, moving on. If trouble comes knocking on our door, we're not afraid to go to war. Rest assured, the Dreamscape's peace will be protected by the Bloodhound family. Okay, let's see. Hi, why do you have a headache? Don't have a headache. Miss Robin? That's the renowned cosmic superstar, Miss Robin! No shit, Sherlock. I didn't expect to meet a fan here. I'm honored. Welcome to Pentagony, a world filled with wonderful dreams. I can't believe I'm actually meeting the real Robin. Yeah, um, she, I'm going to shut up. Preparing for the Charmony Festival? Cheese. Preparation is important. But the ceremony is fundamentally about sharing the great one's harmony with everyone. Get a wife that is kind with her fans. With everyone. I will not refuse. Regarding the recent mishap, I understand it negatively impacted some of our guests. As a member of the family, it's only right that Shouldn't Sunday be doing all this leg work? Let but, Robin just uh, sit still and be pretty and sure sing, it was actually please. A mishap? Everyone saw those chips descending like rain and the red light tearing through the sky. Claiming it was merely special effects seems a bit far fetched. Oh, but you guys, Plus, you I guys are way too gentleman. dumb to understand he this new really technology. Is this also part of the performance? Yeah, it's all part of a performance, but it was a beta test. I believe that the family will give everyone a satisfactory answer in due time. The satisfactory answer is so, you all Miss were Robin, tripping. Woo! It's hard to believe. <sighs> Don't cause her a headache. You, never listen, do you I? dumb. It's never ending. It just goes on and on. I'm getting really tired of this. Same, Robin, let's go Miss someplace A. Hey, let's go someplace Still, else. I suppose I should keep on helping everyone. I am the epitome of joy, kindness, and goodness, after all. Some... Uh... Huh? What was I just doing? And, uh, who might you be, miss? <gasps> Here, take this, little guest. Nice done, Sparkle. Prepared for you by the family. Nice sure job. Until the opening of the Charmony Festival. Then, when the show reaches its climax, press the button together with the others around you. <laughs> you never know. Something very exciting might happen. I really like how they did the lip sync in this game. In the meantime, we're back to where it all began. Ah! You entered the golden hour <gasps> from this place. And it is my also game! From here you my best day, my one! Uh, I mourned your death. I shed tears for you. Fuck you! You're so cool. And I hate to be right. It is a pleasure to journey alongside you once more. But it's time I laid bare the entire truth before you. As you might have heard, 
I also go by another name. Stellaron Hunter, Sam. So you're like Clara, but cooler. Because like you're like my bestie. You're a pretty girl. And you are also a super cool ass mecha. Girl, you have it all. She's literally the meme of girlhood is an is in a spectrum. Like, wow. Wow. She has it all. She has it all. She's a girl. She's pretty. And she's also a cool ass mecha. I know you have many questions. Do you remember when we encountered death in that strange dreamscape? Do I remember? I cried. I, that meme. I cried when that happened. I cried. I was so sad. In that instant before it killed me, I saw the reflection of another dreamscape in its ghastly pupils. Why are we jumping through multiple dimensions at any point of time? possibility we get here i am getting so confused my spatial awareness does not work in this type of scenarios so following the clues in the script i came up with some theories about the meme that's why i instructed silver wolf to issue invitations drawing everyone to the dreams hotel huh but wait at what point were you the i am confused so before you got killed quote unquote killed you read the script that elio gave you and you saw oh i might be killed so i'm gonna make silver wolf make a bunch of invitations so everyone can get to the hotel and i can meet the stellar guy trailblazer and he can with is my death so I can explain it and then I can what the fuck is gone with what is wrong with you guys stellar and hunters why is your script so fucking complicated I, I love intended it intended to call upon death before you arrived to solve the riddle using more direct means and then invite you to join however contrary to my wishes I couldn't defy the script and I, I didn't get a chance to explain it to you. Mm, Firefly wants to actually be my friend. And I'm like, yes, bestie, I'll be your friend. I, 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 you, we are besties now. You and I, best friends forever. Nail and finger. It is Me piro vampiro. Ciao, ciao, comar un gustazo tenerte aquí cerca. Nos vemos mañana. Pressure of concentrated memoria, miasma. It exploded in my mind as if it was actually reality. Iré a conquistar Polonia. Buena suerte en tus travesías, compadre. But after the momentary numbness subsided, I found that my body was absolutely unscathed. Mm, okay. I was still alive. And it was just as I thought. I, I had arrived at a place starkly different from this beautiful Tengo éxito, le pondré una ciudad tu nombre. Oh, that's so nice. Thank you. More chaotic, more primal memory zone. Its name? Land of the Exiles. So we might find the real Robin there. And so, uh, then I returned to the hotel in the dreamscape, hoping to tell you of its existence. Yet I, I, I could not reveal my own identity. So I could only divert your party's attention and lure you away from the battlefield. Okay. And after her, all my attempts proved futile. It wasn't until not long ago when a crimson blade of light shattered the high wall of the dream. Ooh. Causing you all to fall far into the abyssal depths of the dreamscape. That I was able to awaken you and your companions one by one. And, and that's it. That is all that's happened so far. I'm completely confused. No, but I did understand. I know. It's tough to believe all this without reservations. No, it's fine. It's fine. Chaotic bullshit can happen. 
You are very close to the final answer. Just one more thing needs to be done. And then I can prove it to you. What do you need me to do? I'll do anything for you. Now. Let's leave this place. Please close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And visualize the dreamscape's outline in your heart. And remember, you must not open your eyes at all times. To resolve death, we just need to meditate. So, you know guys, whenever you think about dying, don't die. Just meditate. Three. Two. One. Don't be afraid. The one who has come to greet us has arrived. Who? Oh, the watchmaker? A thick and ferocious surge of memoria crashes onto your chest, churning and ravaging. Your consciousness becomes like scraps of paper caught in a whirlpool, breaking apart, dissolving and dispersing within the turbulent, muddy current. Innumerable voices resonated through the symphony of memoria like roaring thunder, and among them, one echo stood out with the with exceptional clarity. You knew it came from the girl beside, beside you, your heart beating to the same rhythm, peaceful and even more peaceful, until in that quiet darkness, memories ripple into existence. I never knew you could do this. Blade! Oh my god! Why are we riding a car? Do you have a driver's license? Who cares? He looks hot. I do. Why does he have a driver's license? And how does driver's license work in this world? Like, do you get one in the Xianzo and then that applies to any other world? Do you have to pass a test in every world? Like, how the fuck do you get a driver's license? That is... Surprising. And what the fuck does having a driver's license have to do with anything with it that we're experiencing right now? What the fuck? Why? Because this is Chapella, the city of sins. Where are we? <laughs> no, it's nothing. I'm just thinking that you haven't slept in 20 system hours. Are you sure you're okay? Fresco como lechuga. I'm fine. I'll survive. Same goes for you. <sighs> I'm not so sure about that. Slow down a bit. <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. You're driving way too fast. Infiltration is over. Feel free to activate Sam anytime you like. There's still some time before the next part of the script unfolds. Let me stay a little longer in this body. No. A long silence ensued. Neither of them brought up any topic. Any topic. Seemingly accustomed to this silence. It wasn't until much later that a soft light once again broke in the quiet. Broke the quiet in the car. Such a long tunnel. <sighs> Didn't feel this long when I set off. Wait, Japella, are they in the other place where we saw Kafka and Silverwolf gaming? In like the first... Railblaze mission, mission? No, it wasn't the first one. It was like in the second one after the Shianso, I think. That we see Kafka and Silverwolf like playing around. Silverwolf was gaming and Kafka was doing something. In half a system hour, it will lead us to Kafka. And then comes the downfall of the Japella Brotherhood. Is that also part of the script? It's in your script too. Sorry. I didn't notice. <laughs> Their destiny won't change just because of your selective ignorance. Yikes. <sighs> Poor far Firefly. I told you before. It's a bad habit. What about you, then? 
Is this the moment you finally find the death you've been looking for? And he's gonna answer hopefully, but no. As always, it's a blank slate. It's not on this planet. Why the sudden inquiry? Because I'm currently in a car with a sleep-deprived driver. <laughs> I just want to get there in one piece. Bro is like, it's fine. We can go over speed limit. The script says that we arrive safe and sound. So who cares if we crash a few cars in the, in the way? Like, whatever. It's fine. Who needs to who needs to sleep before driving? Who needs to check red lights? The script says that we're fine. I won't die and you won't die in this world. So it's fine as we speed. It's okay. Elio didn't want us to die, so it's fine. Don't use the seat bill, sweetheart. We're gonna be a okay. <laughs> Don't worry, honey. We're not gonna die. I have a driver's license. <sighs> this car has full self-driving capabilities. I'll just put my hand on the steering wheel. <laughs> Will that do? No, Ma! Girl got too afraid, bro. Bro, bro activated the self-drive manual thingy. <laughs> Hey, don't take everything so seriously. <laughs> oh my Elio god. would always say there's only one type of destiny. The inescapable type. He can see the future, and we... Likewise, are aware of our predetermined end. But before that moment arrives, we can still choose what we do. We all have this right, don't we? I agree with her. After today, Chapella's name will disappear from cosmic history, and the Everflame Mansion will take its place. In the not too distant future, you'll receive an invitation. That's your next stop. Oh, so this is before Penaconi. Land of the dreams. Penaconi. I hope you find whatever you seek there. Be it answers or salvation. Mm. Nice backstory. So Blade knows how to drive. Love it. Glad to see you're safe and sound. What? My father greeted me. I love it. Close your eyes. This is the answer. Isn't it incredible? The monster that we have always known as death is actually the guardian of the land of the exiles. Mm. It abides by a certain rule. Abducting people from their dreams and bringing them here. So we could find Robin and Sunday here. The question that has been perplexing us, does death really exist in the dreamscape? appears to be a cognitive trap. It was laid by those orchestrating events from the shadows to cover up the truth behind the disappearance. She's in the car with the suicidal the man. Existence of this fortress known as Dreamflux Reef. A suicidal man that was still wearing a seatbelt. So, mm, not much suicidal of him. Every emergence of that meme is related to the watchmaker. Since Dreamflux Reef is where it brings its captives, it's likely that many of our long-standing questions will be answered in this place. Nice! The atmosphere here is starkly different from the beautiful dream. There are no regulators here like the family. And they all look like they're mildly... Look at how Wilt softly smiles to us, But from us, the whispers of the residents, <laughs> they've heard a familiar name. Gallagher. Gallagher! It's that man again. Always in the right place at the right time. <laughs> Though that does save us the trouble of looking for him. Hmm. Himiko and March have already made a move. Get ready. We're about to set off. Yes, sir! The real dreamscape. The land of the exiles. Before we go, should we speak to everyone first? 
Yes, and let me grab these. And let me break these. And let me grab these. And let me break these. And let me break that. And let me break that. And let me go around here. And let me grab that. And let me grab this. Beautiful. And let me change the team. I have returned the man of Eternals. Hi! We are now continuing the main quest. So, yippee. What have the balloons done to you? They're ugly. As always, Himiko. I can handle it. I love him so much. And who can we put here? Sanhung, teach me some more high elder magic. Nah, that's fine. Let's speak to Firefly. I am really sorry for waiting until now to tell you everything. It's okay, girly. I believe you. I trust you. Mwah. Two reasons. Firstly, the script. In the future that Elio saw, Sam and the Astral Express's confrontation was inevitable. I tried to break the shackles of the prophecy, but this is as far as I could go. Oh, girl. That aside, there were also my personal motives. Oh. I wished to travel with you as Firefly. And not Sam. It's fine. You're Firefly to me. Thank you. You're very welcome, girly. I love you. I will pull for you. Elio only gave me one instruction. Allow the, Allow the Astral Express. Express to pursue the Grand Legacy. It means that the Watchmaker's Legacy holds great significance to trailblazing. And to you. Yeah, as far as I know, Elio's the scripts used to Legacy of the Watchmaker was by made by a trailblazer. Celebrons. But with your appearance, this condition has apparently ceased to be appropriate. Perhaps he also saw the impossible in the future. Do you still remember that medical cabin I told you about? Well... The Sam. what now? It belongs to the Iron Cavalry of Glamoth's Firmament Frontline. A Firefly Type 4 Tactical Strategic Assault, Assault Mecha! Sam. Is the cradle of my vitality. And the meaning of my birth. And for the longest time it was... <sighs> How I should have looked to the rest of the world. Don't worry, I accept you like this. I love you. The time scale of Dreamflux Reef differs from reality. So we mustn't lower our guard. It's fine. Your I'm always ready for battle. Memoria. A slight misstep. And you could get lost in this memory zone. It, it's fine. I appreciate your worries, but it, it's genuinely, it's fine. Girl. I see a bird. A blue bird. Depressed bird. Oh my god, it's me. Why is a bird? I see you have collected enough origami birds. It's time to claim your reward. Thank you for contribution to Dreamville. Find me outside the hotel VIP lounge in front of the giant clock. Okay. Welt, what do you have to say about this situation? Something on your mind? Let's talk about it. No wonder Miss Acheron is so averse to drawing her blade. It's hard to imagine such terrifying power could reside in an ordinary sheath. Says the man carried a black hole in a cane! Power originated from the preservation, the 
entire dreamscape would have been affected. Don't feel burdened by this. Even without that Stellaron inside you, Aventurine would still have found other methods to accomplish his goal. Let's just believe in Miss Acheron. And given her prowess, I don't think we've got anything to worry about. I love Wilt so much. During your investigation, he shared a vital piece of information. Mm -hmm. Mikhail, the former watchmaker who collaborated with the family to construct the Pentaconi we're familiar with today, had a falling out with the family for specific reasons. Mm-hmm. And I also know that Gallagher killed Sunday. This is where the problem lies. You were clearly investigating a murder. So then why, as a security officer, is mm -hmm. he changing the subject to talk about his past with the watchmaker? I like and where you're going. And now Firefly mentioning his name again, it's hard not to be suspicious. I love Wilt's train of thought. Before we found you, she'd already revealed her Stellaron Hunter identity and shared a lot of information. She's one of us. She's a friend. I don't care. I don't care. Molten Knight's true identity was actually a young girl. For her, this is a secret that she cannot allow others to know. That being the case, I think we can believe she's willing to cooperate. She is my bestie. But... I vouch she for her. She didn't reveal all her secrets. I just can't shake the feeling that her situation is different from that of the typical dreamer. And I hope that doesn't lead to any dangerous predicaments. I'm now just imagining like a huge mecha in the dream pool. And it's, it's a very funny image to have in my mind right now. Call it a day and get I hope going. You've regained a little composure. We'll move out when you're ready. Let's go. I was born ready. I'm trying to see if I can get like. Water is the source of all life and the cradle of civilization. It is soaking the dry ground below, drip by drip. A. Hey! As the year passes, some stars will be extinguished and others will be born. This small and moist patch of land will also see life bloom, life that only belongs in this place. When the scientists of this small puddle come to trace the history and look up to the heavens, would they be moved by the miracle that originated from a single broken water pipe? When that time comes, the water in this pipe is sure to be heralded as a divine object and become almost impossible to obtain. If that's the case, why not take a drop for yourself now? In a few amber eras, it could make you a millionaire. I got solid water. I mean, eyes? <laughs> Keep going straight down this alley and it'll lead to an elevator. It'll take us to the center. Of the land of the exiles. This place is bigger than my own house. That's a fucking trash can. <laughs> ah. I'm sorry if I'm getting distracted. I just want to get as much uh, stellar jades as I can whenever I get to a new area. See, there's a chest over there. Since exploration in Hunka Star really is so easy, I just really do it as I go with the quest. Oh, look at that guy. Look at him go. Clocky that way. I suppose I gotta follow the marks that says Clocky that way. Hi, little Pepeshi guy. Don't get too drunk, you might fall. What a huge Clocky. 
Looks like the watchmaker also left his mark on Dreamflux Reef. Where's the huge clocky? Oh my god, that is terrifying. That is genuinely terrifying. That clocky is surely creepy. Anything else? The giant clocky here is the street's proud landmark. Children from other neighborhoods all look upon it with great envy. The citizens see cleaning and maintaining this statue as a part of their lives. The giant clocky must see this as a part of its life too. Beautiful dreams are always sure to fade away under the corrosion of nightmares, but Clocky's smile is eternal. That clock is so creepy. Okay, up we go. I love Don Hung. Look at him. Look at him. He's so beautiful. Ah! He's so pretty! He's so pretty! I love my wife. There was something that I could investigate that I wasn't able to. Unbelievable. To think there's a settlement of this size within the dreamscape. And all beyond the family's reach. It sounds awesome, honestly. It made it reminds me of the whole situation with the, the arcane. The is, uh, pretty different. Like the top society and like the society at the underground. When I first saw it, I was in awe too. The sky here, it's like the Mickey Mouse horror movies when he lost his trademark. The Twelve dreamscapes. What's even more bizarre is that this place is also separated into trade and residential areas. The layout may be simple, but the facilities are very comprehensive. It seems that there are quite a number of people living here. Mm. Hmm. Though both dreamscapes have distinct styles, the architectural designs are quite similar. Works of the same hand, perhaps. Hard not to speculate on the connection. Mm-hmm. But there's no point in overthinking things. Let's meet up with Himako and the others first. Let's go. Take a right turn at the end of this road and you'll reach the trade district. There are more people there. And perhaps someone knows where she is. Let's go. Not coming with us? Oh. The Astral Express likely needs room for some internal deliberation. In the meantime, I'll try and locate Gallagher. Let's go. Teamwork. Sure. Let's reconnect later. Let's do teamwork. Letting her go was the right decision. Further observations are needed before we decide whether to trust her. But first, there is someone I need to talk to. Akron? Mika! Mika is here in the background! Let's go. I'm sure you've already noticed him. Yeah, I did! He's right over there. Mika! The Reverie Hotel's bellboy. How did he end up here? And right after Miss Acheron severed the beautiful dream. We'd better check, just to be sure. Perfect for me. And perfectly legal for me to stay in. <laughs> sure, my guy. You stay in that trash can. No one will push you away. Can I get a chest here? Oh, there is a chest here. Nice. Let's see where else can I get chests. Around here? No. <laughs> Are these like graves? Sorry. If those were graves, I'm very, very sorry. I probably stepped on someone's dead. On someone's dad, not on someone's dead. What? Absorb emotions. Let's do it quickly. Jimmy. 
Gimme chest. I'm not gonna fix that. A shop owner that is a cello. That is wonderful. No. Or done for. Done for. Oh, what is that? Let's see. Is there a chest over here? Yeah, there is. I love finding chests. Okay. Where else can I get? Oh, bird. I remember when this place was all hustling and bustling. You got the bird. Sauna bird. Love it. Let's see. So this is the Sepulchre. <laughs> there might be a chest over here, maybe. Yep. I love when I find chests, when I'm like, mm, I feel there could be a chest over here. And there is a chest over there. I love it. I love when that happens. Okay, let's go back. Let's choose a different route. More chests. Let's choose a different route so we get even more chests. Dr. Blues. No, I didn't want to interact with the... Dimmy. Gimme. Okay, that's great. I'm just a wallflower. What is that? That's spinning. Okay. Here we got a big chest over here. Beautiful. And we're back. Hehe. <laughs> Let's see if we can find something else. Around here. A bird. Beautiful. And let's see if we can find a chest or something. I don't think. No, that was everything we could find over here. Let's go back up. And let's go talk to Misha. introduce myself i'm the hotel's bellboy misha we know we know boy hello misha i'm welt uh, we met in a dream oh and who might this be that's clucky tick tock old friend and new friend let's high five you're still young at heart that's gonna jab at him at his age oh my god i'm gonna say you're... that Memory zone meme? Nope. He's Clucky. <laughs> nope. Clucky is a good friend of mine. We all live here. Mm. How did you two get here? This dreamscape isn't supposed to be open to the public. I wonder if it has something to do with Sleepy. So you this call is that the Sleepy? Home? Oh, the EP boy. Yep. After my work in the beautiful dream ends, I'll go back home. Commuting used to be more convenient, but ever since travel became cumbersome, Sleepy started ferrying people back and forth between the two dreamscapes. Lemao! This Sleepy, can you describe what it looks like? So the, the little... Sleepy is a memory zone meme. Looks fierce and has many eyes. 
but it's actually really well behaved. Gallagher's been taking care of it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Gallagher may have misdrained that little sleepy of yours. Based on the description, that meme is indisputably death. Nightmare for the family, but for the people who live here... Can't believe that little be guy that almost killed us... Death? ...was... Not in a dream, surely. A fucking form of public transportation. Sometimes messes up by fetching the wrong guess, but it would never hurt anyone. I see. Has it brought back any guests recently? Say, in the last day or two? We're currently investigating a missing person case that occurred within the beautiful dream. I see. Then you'll have to speak with Gallagher. But he's currently busy hosting a visitor from the Oak family. A visitor! He asked not to be disturbed. A visitor! That is oh, not a visitor! Mr. Yang, the person you're looking for... Is it Miss Robin? Yeah. Mm, just as I thought. Considering what happened with Miss Firefly, this doesn't come as a surprise. If you're looking for Miss Robin, I can lead the way. She told me that she'd be willing to meet with outside guests. If it's not too much trouble. Also, we're looking for our missing companions. A no. woman with red hair accompanied by a girl with pink hair. Have you seen them? Oh, I... I haven't. But please, rest assured. Dream Flux Reef is a small place, and it's not as bustling as the beautiful dream. But its safety is unmatched. Unmatched? Uh, I yes. you use a memory zone so meme as a tra as public transportation. I don't under I don't really trust the safety of this place. And then we can all go visit Miss Robin together. She's gone to Mrs. Grace's to visit the children. She won't be leaving anytime soon. So there should be enough time. I love how Robin right, just well, accommodated well, herself well, here. And Sunday got kidnapped into well, here. We now know the answer to both murder cases that have caused such commotion in Penaconi. As for the intentions of the mastermind behind it all, we are still none the wiser. That visitor from the Oak family is worth learning more about. Like, yeah, what the fuck is Sunday doing here? And why? <laughs> Yes, and I believe their relationship with Gallagher may run deep. Deep One hate, probably. So clandestine about their discussion. Regardless, we have to find Gallagher. Yeah, we do. Say, you mentioned before that you saw a clocky that only you could see, right? I can't shake off this strange feeling. <laughs> Am I really still so young at heart? Oh no! He's questioning his trauma! Uh, we'd better just follow Misha. He's questioning his trauma! He's like, oh no. Am I, am I really that young? Like, have I not experienced enough? I thought I would be tainted by now. Apparently, am I... Am I worth... Everyone, look! From here, you can wow, see that a looks spectacular pretty. view of Dreamflux Reef. Mm, a black hole? No. An accretion disk formed from consolidated memoria? Was Dreamflux Reef built on such unstable memoria? Yup. Oh. So Mr. Yang is also versed in Memoria Dynamics. I was just trying to figure out how to explain this huge hole to everyone. <laughs> I bet you guys have a lot in common with Miss Kami. Who the fuck is Kami? And introduce her to me. I want to know. I think I've already been here. Yeah, I've already been here. I just wasn't. Look, there she is. Oh, chest. Calculations are finally done. In another ten system hours, the above dream will swallow the dream below. My hypothesis was correct. This place will cease to exist as the dream devours everything. 
Girl, are you okay? Hmm? Who are you all and why haven't you left yet? This place is about to disappear. I'm Kami, a dreamscape surveyor specializing in memoria dynamics. And mm. this is my life's work that I'm researching. See okay, a okay. Hole? It was just a narrow rift many years ago, but now it's grown into a giant. More Halovians? Halovians are very common in here. Flowing towards the other end of the hole at a constant velocity, slowly but surely. But the scary part is. According to my calculations, the flow rate of Memoria has recently changed, and it's faster than ever before. It's almost, almost as if something is sucking it in from the other side. She sounds like Twilight Sparkle. Like she sounds as how I remember Twilight Sparkle sounding like in English. I finally obtained accurate results. After ten system hours, the Dreamflux Reef will cease to exist. Just like the melting of glaciers, everything will crumble and disintegrate. The dreams on that side of the void will fuse into one. Oh no. Uh, please don't worry. This sort of thing has happened many times before. Miss Kami isn't a bad person. She's just a bit lost in her own world. She'll probably realize she's wrong soon enough. But if she isn't? You don't say. There was a uh, something else that piqued my interest. Who is Madame Rosalina? Oh, do you know her too? Or are you also a fan of Memoria Dynamics? We're very interested in Madame Rosalina's achievements. Uh, could you tell us a little more about them? I'm interested. Why, of course. She's an excellent scholar of Memoria Dynamics and the first person to apply Memoria Rate Measurement Methodology on interstellar travelers. Mm. Regrettably, due to the presence of the Garden of Recollection, ordinary people don't pay much attention to the nature of Memoria. She departed this world without much fame, leaving only a few thin journals behind. I came to Petacone to learn more about my idol. Yeah, Mika is so life. cute. Mika is so cute. I love him. This is her final resting place. Prodigies always meet their demise prematurely. If only Madame Rosalina had more time, she would have discovered a way to reverse the flow of Memoria. Hmm. I felt it. The source is in the golden hour. There is a certain anomalous presence stirring the currents of the memory zone. I must uncover more concrete proof. Could it be? I must convince everyone. The source she's feeling, could it be Akron's sword slash? Does the name Madame Rosalina sound familiar to you? Not really. Oh, no way! Now that I read this answer, yeah, it kind of does. That's right. It seems like she did a great deal of research and calculations in Dream. It's not Street called Mika like that. Before, it's uh, more like Micha. It's not Mika like that. It's it's like Mika, but Mika, like C H. But yeah, how original. That that's the originality. It's spelled with a C H instead of K A. Miss Katie regularly mentions her. It's I Misha, not no Mika. I'm dumb. I don't know my letters. I am sorry. She could see the Panacone of today. It's people building homes in the memory zone. <laughs> I bet she'd be really happy. Perhaps. Our destination is the commercial district. That's where the largest crowds gather in Dreamflux. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Misha. I really want to read this. Ooh. No, I interrupted Misha. I am so sorry, Misha. No. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, no. I am so sorry. I see March over there. Let me go. Oh, please, come to your senses. I'm begging you. So this is the so-called freedom of organic life forms. I'm beginning to understand. March, what are you doing to the poor kid? Ghost! There's a ghost! Don't come near me! Oh my. I'm 
human and so are you. Can you get a grip? Uh, Mr. Yang and Mr. Trailblazer, I've been waiting for you. Quickly, come help. I bumped into a member of the family on the way here. He was so scared and I just wanted to calm him down. But... Let me go, let me go! I've only done good in my life. Why can't I rest in peace after death? You're not dead! Why do you think you're dead? Well, this is how it turned out. <laughs> now you shall respect March 7th, Ghost of the Dream Flux Reeve. Ha ha, you're a regular comedian. <laughs> he thinks he's dead. Although, when I first fell in, I also thought the same. Dear guest, this is not the afterlife. This is Dreamflux Reef. That's right. Did you hear that? Repeat after me. Dream Flux Reef. You... You're talking to someone invisible. If I'm not dead, what am I? You're normal! <laughs> you just fell asleep inside of a dream! <laughs> oh my, my fucking body. god, you're so I weak mentally. You're not dead! Stop asking! You'll alert the monsters! All the dead are right here! All of them! But, oh my god, you're so dumb. Uh, you're not talking about the mem- uh, Don't say that name! It's all your fault. They're coming! Oh my god, this political party is filled with dumb people, like every political party. Look at that. The whiny little bitch made us get into a fight. And I don't have the... I don't have the... 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 I'm gonna get rid of you. What would you like to know this again? The ill I'm gonna use this. Manifest. And then I'm gonna hope for the best. Allow me to make a divination information in accordance. Great. Well done, Black Swan. Well done, Black Swan. No matter. Beautiful. <laughs> I love it going so slow. Heaven search. <laughs> Celestial track. I'm so used to the double speed that I love it when it when I use it on normal speed. <laughs> Ghost? No, it's out. just reality. His intense negative emotions attracted the nearby memory zone memes. Dumb boy. I see. But why aren't the other people around here scared? Unlike in the sweet dream, people here don't see memory zone memes as dangerous monsters. And even if they pose a threat, people can easily escape by forcing a wake-up call. Cool. But we can't just leave this man here. Can we take him somewhere safe? We can that dude is gonna have the ex- I've gotten to know many locals while waiting for you guys. That, that guy is going to have, like, the a anecdote of a lifetime to tell when he wakes up. I don't know how to describe it, but this place feels like the real dreamscape. Because it probably is. Did he just die? <laughs> probably. They sell, they sell vinyls. Let me buy it. Woo! I'm buying vinyls. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what this is. I also don't know what this is, but let's go. I bought everything. Fine, let's fix this little guy. There we go.
Okay. Come on, Clucky. Okay. It wasn't that hard. Oh my god. Okay. There we go. Go, Clucky, go. Go, Clucky, go. Is that it? That's it. Nice. I always feel so smart while doing those little puzzles. Beep, boop. Ooh, a bar. A stroke of genius like this. Hi, Jesse. Evening, Jesse. Um, is it evening? Welcome, Miss March. Who might these be? These two are my friends. As for the man lying on the ground, uh, he's a scaredy cat who fainted from fright. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I see. Another poor guy who accidentally ended up here. I'll take care of him. Oh, it just seems so nice. New faces lately. Things must be tough in the beautiful dream. Hmm. The few remaining havens of freedom in Asdana will soon face trouble. The what? The what? Do the such what? Things often happen here. Not really, but they're becoming more frequent now. Guess it's one of the signs of the sweet dreams collapse. Ooh. This man has had quite the shock. Could you help me find a Halovian lady march? Her songs can heal mental wounds. Ooh. A Halovian lady? That must be Robin. She's also here in Dreamflux Reef. <gasps> oh, uh -huh. Robin! Oh, Robin! But I thought she... Oh, right! If Firefly is here safe and sound, then it means Robin must be okay, too. And God knows Misha's who... We, what are they hour. doing to Sunday? But before that, let's meet up with Himako. You were with her earlier, right? We met some stowaways in the residential area. Most Cuckoo. of them came from neighboring Cuckoo. star systems. Cuckoo. I heard that places like Dreamflux Reef are scattered throughout the memory zone of Asdana, like islands in the ocean. Mm. They existed before the family arrived. I also heard that when Dreamflux Reef took shape, it was the center of all dreamscapes in Penacony. Would you look at that? But now yeah, the center is a golden it's hour. It's no wonder there are so many similarities between this place and the sweet dream. Mm. Himeko must be gathering information. Let's hurry up and get going. Let's go meet our woman. Our beloved lady. Okay, anything else that I need from here? Not really. Let's go. That's Himeko. I think I already caught everything around here. Yep. So let's go with Himiko. Okay, maybe I haven't gone around here. No, I think I did. Yep, I did. Yep, I did. Hi, Himiko. So that's how it is. Hello. Gather the remaining details here. <laughs> to borrow Gallagher's catchphrase, what an unpredictable twist of fate. Hi, Micah. Um, hi. My name is Whiskereki, and I am a trailblazer, and I, I, I have a baseball bat that I can swing, you know? Uh-huh. <laughs> Himeko, here they are. Ah, oh, perfect timing. Now that everyone's here, I'd like to introduce everyone to Micah, who's partly in charge of the Land of the Exiles. Micah, these are my companions. Hi, Micah. It's a pleasure to meet the Nameless. Pleasure to meet you, you as well. You know us? 
I've been keeping an eye on you since the day you arrived in Penacony. We would have met under more appropriate circumstances if Dreamflex Reef hadn't been isolated from the Twelve Dreamscapes. Mmm, the family <sighs> has some nasty business going on. Myself. I'm Micah, the Gravekeeper of Dreamflux Reef. The Gravekeeper. Gravekeeper? That is not a... Life in Dreamflux Reef is pretty liberating. Everyone here mostly keeps to themselves, without meddling in others' affairs. My daily task involves cleaning a few tombstones. Why? You're too modest, Micah. When lost dream chasers stumble upon this place, you're the one who takes care of them, guiding them back to the sweet dream, or showing them how to survive the wild dream chaos. Huh. Would so, you look at that? Uh, guardian of sorts. Hmm? Uh, were you talking to me, Mr. Yang? Mm hmm? Hmm? <gasps> On that note, Mr. Mika, uh, which tombstones are you referring to? We didn't come across any graveyards. Oh, I did! I saw the graveyard and I stepped on them. I'm very just sorry. Symbolic stones. But since you're curious, Mr. Yang, I'll take you there. I have a feeling you might find something of interest there. Uh, but before that, you have an important guest joining you Gallagher? An important guest? Who could it be? Sunday? This Robin? The roads here in Dreamflux Reef are a bit run down, so watch your step. Is it Robin? Is it Gallagher? Is it Sunday? I remember when this place was. Who is gonna be joining us? It's Robin. I knew it is Robin. There she is. It really is her, Miss Robin. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, nothing ever beats a good drink. Let me let me see if I can collect things first before continuing the quest. I want the I want the stellar jade. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Dreams of Glory is an assembled drama that tells a magnificent story of how the five fuck off. I hate the autoplay. I cannot read. Though the streets are crowded and the world has so much to see, you are the only one for me. Couples always post a phrase like this when they take pictures. He's Mr. Billboard, who is still single, can't help but turn his nose up at the words. Damn. Another broken clocky. Chest! Found what I was looking for. <laughs> Gimme chest. And with that, we basically went all the way around it. So, time to go meet Robin. <laughs> Everyone sang so wonderfully. It's not often that I tried this music style, but I've gained some valuable insights from it. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Robin. Well, these kids have made incredible progress in only a few days. It was nothing, Grace. I merely taught them how to sing. It was you who brought hope into their lives. Oh. Life must be quite difficult for them in reality, I imagine. Oh, that's right. Whenever it's time to say goodbye to these kids, they're reluctant to leave. But I've explored every corner of Dreamflux Reef, talked to everyone I met. 
And they all told me the same thing. This shattered dream is not worth clinging to. <laughs> it seems you truly are a child of the Harmony. No. Emma and Andy are orphans I took under my wing. Carol there, with her blind eyes, used to work at a nutrition center in the outer ring of Penacone. And as for Gary, he's been living with autism since he was a child. They're not old enough to enter the sweet dream managed by the family. Did we just have autistic representation? These kids are like fledglings with impaired wings. Was that in this dream? Well, they can fly freely, even if they stumble along. Let's the way, go! Still relying on their Autism own gang. And me, an old lady with no legs. Well, without this dream, I couldn't even walk toward them. Oh. I'm glad that you found a new life here in Penacony. It's just. Don't worry, Robin. Dreams have their significance, but they aren't everything. Both the children and I understand this. No matter how long we fly through this dream, we will one day return to reality. I have one question, though. If you have legs in the dream and, like, gray and the, the girl has eyes and yada dee yada da, does the kid with autism made him made himself neurotypical in the dream because if i could do that i would honestly but you know what emma and gary aren't plagued by their insecurities anymore mm. no and carol is learning how to cope with her blindness and andy is livelier than ever well even i've become more optimistic you see, in dreams, we learn how to live. Once we return to reality, we learn how to survive. And should our feathers be damaged, then we share our wings with one another. That was such There's a nice no speech. An illusory sky I really liked it. Because we have the right and the ability to fly towards a broader horizon. That's a nice analogy. In dreams, we learn how to live. In reality, we learn how to survive. That's a nice... That's... That's very nice. I really liked it. It's a relief to see you safe and sound, Miss Robin. It's nice to see you all again, Astral Express crew. I heard my disappearance caused quite the commotion out there. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, don't say sorry. We just were involved in a trial of murder and shit happened. But it's fine. assume that you're fully aware of the situation in Penacony? Ever since I returned to Penacony, my voice started to change until it gradually faded away. At first, I thought it was a temporary ailment, perhaps due to having been away too long. I thought maybe it'd just take some time for my body to acclimate to the high concentration of memory and as Donna. Mm. But now it seems... The root of the problem goes way beyond me. There are elements around me that don't align with the harmony. I'm losing my voice is just one of the signs of the sweet. I really like collapse. her halo. It's I really like the, the flowers sweet detail. Collapse. That memo keeper mentioned the same thing. So it's real. I mean, it's, it was bound when to happen. I was away from Penacony, the boundaries of the twelve dreamscapes kept expanding outward. But whenever I mentioned the anomalies in my dreams, all the family heads refused to talk about it. Only my brother was willing to respond. And now look at where your brother's at! <laughs> I discovered the secret letters from the IPC ambassador, which further convinced me that there are hidden secrets beneath the surface of Penacony. So, following the clues in the Oak family's dossiers, I found my way here. The land of the exiles. Concealed by the family under the guise of death. A dream within a dream, where Penacony's past is buried. Hearing you speak, it sounds as if your voice has made somewhat of a recovery. Nah, I was gonna mention that. I hate to admit it, but the harmony in this place resonates more broadly than within the sweet dream. This is the real it's dreamscape. Incredible. But the family has experienced betrayal. The traitor... Or traitors. 
abandon their original Actually, where is him? And using the name of Harmony. You guys didn't saw this because I people's weaknesses to turn Penacony into Wait. the planet of festivities. Trapping everyone in the illusion of the sweet dream. Okay. You guys didn't see this because I it's part of the Aventurine's quest and I did that off stream because Aventurine was beating my ass. But Gallagher went to meet with Sunday and Gallagher quote unquote killed him and brought him here. And now Gallagher has Sunday locked up God knows where. And we're gonna get to that in a moment because yeah. Not the strong defending the weak, but rather the strong exploiting the weak. A world without equality won't ever be favored by the harmony. And naturally, those voices blessed by them have lost the ability to sing. Could there be another force influencing the family's shift in philosophy, Miss Robin? Considering what happened with Acheron, it's difficult to conceive of another entity within the realm of the Harmony capable of influencing everyone. Unless a power surpassing that of an emanator is involved. <sighs> I'd heard about what happened to the Sienjo Alliance. That sounds dramatic. It was. Well, aware, it was very the dramatic. Hasn't faced any such external interventions. Who knows? Perhaps I've just been away too long and missed something. It was very Perhaps dramatic. Like, Gallagher brought the memory's own meme and everything to kill, quote unquote, Ga um, Sunday it. and bring him here. I it was so flashy. He'll cut ties with the family. And who exactly it was who betrayed us all. Do you remember our arrangement, Mr. Micah? Well, here's my answer. I've decided to forgo my role and never step foot on the Charmony Festival stage again. Oh my god. Look here, brother. A little bird. Aww. Looks like a fledgling Charmony dove. But Charmony doves don't live here. So how did this little bird get here? Maybe its parents abandoned it? It looks weak and frail. Why don't we find something soft and make a nest for it? This place is too dangerous for a fledgling. Let's take it with us. We can put it on the wooden shelf in front of your window. We're getting backstory. Okay. A bird like that must have a beautiful singing voice. But... Where will it live? Hmm. I'll ask the family head to build a cage for it. Mm. A cage? But then it won't have the freedom to fly. Right? Then a big cage. Let's see. What is it that has captured the attention of the two best interpreters of the Great One? To the point that they've forgotten how to enjoy their dessert. Oh, poor little thing. Doesn't look like it's doing well. Do you want to rescue it? Yes! I do. But I don't want to lock it up in a cage. You can rescue it and Why? then let it go. Even if it's small and not fully feathered, and can't sing, it didn't come into this world just to be locked up in a cage. Birds... They should be flying free in the sky! Nice, Robin. I really like her ideals. That's quite the romantic idea. And what about you, a young scholar? Do you agree with your sister? Does he? I think she's right. But if we leave it out in the wild, it won't survive for more than a few days at best. But just re-nourish him and then ah, let I it be see. free. It seems our little scholar is still a bit unsure. Well, let me tell you youngsters a story. Shh, cool. As you probably know, 
Charmony doves can fly through the air. When they fly really high, the friction caused by the flapping of their feathers against the atmosphere creates amazing lights so that they look like shooting stars. Oh, that sounds pretty. We've seen this spectacle so many times that we think it's just something they can naturally do. But that's not the truth. Their radiant display is the result of countless struggles against nature over generations. Their ancestors were too weak to survive on the ground. So, to escape predators, they started seeking new opportunities in the air. And what made them get the flashy colors? After countless attempts by many generations, one of them finally figured out how to fly. It soared into the sky and never looked back at the ground again. So, you mean, birds aren't born to fly, but they find a way to do it through their determination, right? That's a way to pull it, yeah. Well, that's an idealistic way of putting it. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts, Sunday? You can teach the bird to fly so it can go I... and survive. Sunday! I think people believe birds are meant to fly because... They've never seen those birds crashing to their death. Holy shit, my guy, how old are you? Perspective. So, have you decided what to do with the bird now? Save it? For now, I'll keep it in a cage until it can take care of itself because... Exactly. I... I want it to live. No matter what. Well said, kids. Oh my god, it seems they are each of you has found your own answer. Oh my god, your that is so twisted. Like I know it sounds so and innocent, but it's so twisted. In their own way. We will take good care of it, won't we, brother? No. <sighs> yeah. But Mr. Gopherwood, there's one thing I don't quite understand. Oh, God. And what might that be, my son? What if this little Charmony dove never learns to fly in the end? Then you keep it! Oh, my God! If there are fledglings in this world that can never fly throughout their lives... That doesn't mean they're worthless and deserve to die. Should we let them go back to the sky? Only to see them crash to the ground and die? Oh my god, Sunday, you have such a square Talking box mentality. Sleep, birdie. <laughs> Time to wake up. See, here's Sunday. <sighs> uh -huh. Huh? Need a hand? I love Gallagher so much. I'm still alive. You never died in the first yeah. place. Happy about that. Where is Robin? Tell me now. No. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to be the first thing you'd ask. Don't worry, your sister is here, safe and sound. She's probably walking around the streets now. If I were you, I'd be more worried about myself. <laughs> After all, right in front of you is the guy who just stabbed you in the chest with a dagger. <laughs> I'd be excited about that, like... Me, <laughs> you wouldn't give me the chance to speak. Just tell me your demands, lackey of the watchmaker. Look at you so, so tough and stuff. Am, like, huh? you almost died. Shut no up. No wonder you had the guts to go against the Dream Master and the four families. Looks like I made the right choice. Choice? You are aware of my plan and see through my act. Time is running out, so let's drop the charades. Let's I'm see. suggesting we cooperate. Oh, cooperate. That is such a twisted way to say, "Hey, bro, lend me a hand." Hmm. The fact that the famous Robin has chosen my side, plus some clues about a traitor and a bright future for Penacony. Any of that catch your interest? 
I find it hard to believe a man who's full of deception. Hehe. <laughs> Fine. You don't have to trust me. What you should trust is the sense of justice inside of you. Ooh. Show me Robin first. It's literally across the All street. Right. As you wish. Here she is. Huh? We <laughs> trick this time. <laughs> <laughs> that went so wrong. That went so wrong. Here she is, and Firefly's like, the fuck? That went so wrong. <laughs> Just kidding. I mean, this lady will lead us to Robin, right? And the crew, too. There are too many people who you owe an explanation. Yeah, definitely. You little. In conspicuous mm, sexy man <laughs> that'd be great please follow me honorable oak family head fudger now all this the little are Grr. Grr. <laughs> oh my god let's go let's go let's go let's go oh right the tombstones yeah i knew there were graveyards I knew that was a graveyard. Fudge. This is the monument I mentioned earlier. The names inscribed on it should be familiar to all of you. Rosalina and Tiernan. When Penacone was known as a frontier prison, it was the trailblazers who connected it with the stars. They were the heroes who saved us Donna, and their names deserve to be immortalized. Not just on this small stone tablet, but in the annals of history for all of time. However, today, the planet of festivities is nothing but sweet dreams. That heavy piece of history is all a distant memory. Just like that prison. Mm. If their names are inscribed here, then that means... That this is the real dreamscape. According to Micah, they died long ago. Rosalina was killed during the War of Independence. Mm. She ventured alone into the heart of the star system to investigate the flow of Memoria, but she never returned. Tiernan was a skilled gunslinger, strong and reliable. He led the people through countless battles, but he didn't live long enough to witness the arrival of true peace. Mm. In the decade following the war, Pentagon what about the third tombstone? Internal and external. To protect Asdana, Tiernan took up the way of the Trailblaze and led the Lampmoth family to explore beyond the system. Only to be <gasps> surrounded. Not the swarm. Wiped out by the swarm. Though I had expected as much, the tales of these heroes truly are sorrowful. True to the title of Trailblazer, they spent their lives venturing into the unknown. But. What about this tablet? There are no names carved on it. Yeah, what about it? When Dreamflux Reef was created, its owner was still alive. However, he insisted on erecting a monument for himself, saying that it will happen someday. Le Mao! My bro was ready to die. Here we meet again. Everyone from the Astral Express. I hot stuff. I mean, <clears throat> hello, chicken wings. Robin. Okay. Can we pull? No, we can't. I mean, we can pull, but it'd be like... Okay, let's talk to Misha. Huh. The atmosphere sure is livened up with all these people in here. Focus, brother! I am focused. I am focused in I need to get that light cone in less than six days. I brought Gallagher here. It's time to face the truth. Hell yeah, girl. Well, I did my job. I gathered everyone here. Gallagher will explain the rest to you. Take care. Where's the rest of the crew? Oh, I see a birdie. Come here, birdie. Huh. 
Yoink. Oh, I wish you and the granny happiness too. Beautiful. You're so damn down for almost every man on screen. But this is my wife. This guy over here. This I am loyal to my wife. He is my wife. He is the one and only that I love. I might be... I might be a whore. But I, I, I am loyal to this man. I swear I am loyal. Please believe me. Brother. There's no need for words. You're safe. And that's all that matters. Oh. Anyways, you little bitch. I mean... <clears throat> I promised to give the siblings some privacy. So let's talk about our business first. What do you say? That sounds sensible enough. Since you went through the trouble of gathering the family head, the crew, and the Stellaron hunters, I'm guessing you have something important to say, Mr. Gallagher? Oh? Is it that obvious? My guy! My brother in Christ! If you went through all of that trouble just to tell us, hey, my birthday's tomorrow, I would have slapped you right in the right tit. The look on your face is practically screaming, I'm the one behind all this. Not a little bitch, a big one. A double big one. A double D big one. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're right, Mr. Yang. It is indeed time to come clean on everything. The siblings already he know... He said Mr. Yang, but the one that spoke to her to him was March. Okay, so, no, he ignored March. And they've made their choice. But you, Nameless, arrived a bit late. So it's only fair that I answer your questions. Thank you. Before we begin... Let me reintroduce myself. I'm the founder of Dream Flux Reef, the deputy of the Watchmaker, and the one who sent out that invitation. I am loyal, I am loyal, I am loyal, I am a loyal husband, I am a loyal husband, I am a loyal husband. I am faithful to Dan Hung. As Gallagher, the history Other oh, fictional, fuck it, hi. I humbly extend my greetings to you all. History fictionologist? So what? Everything you told us was made up? <laughs> well, don't worry. Almost everything I shared was true. Well, except for the part about the family accepting me back. I double-checked with Micah, and everything he said about the family, the watchmaker, and Mikhail is true. Thank you for your understanding. Now let's get down to business. I'm sure you're all wondering why I went through the trouble of setting up this battle for the legacy. Inviting different factions and stirring up a ruckus all over Penacone. Yeah, I am, I am very interested in that. Well, it all boils down to something very familiar to all of you. The Stellaron. Oh, so now I am the problem. Of course. I'm, I, of course. Well, my bad for existing. The Stellaron? But how is that possible? Penacone is a free-flowing interstellar hub. There are no signs of contamination whatsoever. Sorry for breathing in the wrong direction, I guess. You're totally correct. So, care to take a guess at what that means? That I am the problem? <laughs> how keen. <laughs> well, what should I say? I expected nothing less from the person here who is the most familiar with the Stellarons. What can I say? What can I say? I have my smart moments. The sweet dream doesn't come out of thin air. If you think of the memory zone as the sea, creating the land of the dreams is like filling that wild ocean with earth to make an island. To achieve this feat without the help of an emanator of remembrance or enigmata, the only way is to use a Stellaron. Correct. And that's not something you can achieve with a simple wish. It requires vast quantities of knowledge, time, and manpower. I'm sure you get what I'm hinting at. Mm -hmm. In Asdana, the planet of festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster. No shit. Uh, 
the planet of festivities itself is a Stellaron disaster? Would you look at that? It all started a long time ago. Back when the Watchmaker and his crew liberated the Frontier Prison. They faced countless challenges as they began building Penacony from the ground up. That's when the idea of using the Stellaron came into play. The Stellaron first entered the Azdana system during the war. The Nameless warned everyone against the folly of attempting to tamper with such a power, and most heeded their words. But there are always people in the shadows with ulterior motives. Mm. The turning point came after Tiernan's death. With two of the Nameless gone, the Watchmaker had to go to the front lines. It was at that moment his rivals saw an opportunity. Oh, shit. By the time a representative from the Montour system's family arrived at the Watchmaker's call, the Stellaron had already been activated and was seeping into the primordial synesthesia dreamscape. Ooh. And I suppose the family happened to possess the knowledge to seal the Stellaron? Not just that. They knew far more about the Stellaron than the average person. Hmm. They helped Mikhail swiftly quell the civil unrest and played a part in building Penacony under the disguise of the Harmony. Okay. Those three eras were known as the Age of Dreaming. The Watchmaker, who had been left in the dark, sent out invitations across the universe, spreading the hype around the land of the dreams. <clears throat> then, how did they turn against each other? Family's fault, I suppose. Remember the island in the ocean metaphor? The truth is, the Stellaron was never truly sealed. Oh. It existed in a different form within the dreamscape. Think about this. What would it cost to create and maintain such a lavish dreamland? It's people's lives. The opulent dream is built upon the decay of spirits, with a toxic elixir called pleasure flowing through the dreamscape. It tempts people to indulge in the dreamscape, and gradually their minds succumb, becoming nourishment for the sweet dream. Wow, that is wow. That is an amazing and that wow. I mean, I know that's the natural point to like turn in story writing, but the way they're describing it, it's Knowing this place is based of Las Vegas, it's wow. It it really it wow. I love the way people word things in this game. Confusion, laziness, and cowardice. Weaknesses that plague humanity were magnified and nourished by the family. Panacone became a new kind of prison, even more impenetrable than the previous one. So the Matrix, basically. Matrix. Sadly, we realized this far too late. By then, the family had a firm grip on Penacony, swiftly quelling any opposition ah. that arose. Damn. At my wit's end, I had to use the power of the Enigmata and sought refuge in this chaotic realm. Over the years, I created a meme within this dream for our use. Hmm. Dormancy. That's its real name. We exploited a loophole. <laughs> you see, regular people can't fall asleep again while they are inside the dreamscape. So this is the true meaning of the impossible. You sent out invitations in the Watchmaker's name to find forces capable of resolving the Stellaron disaster and draw them into Penacony to uncover the truth. Great. Love to be part of this little treasure hunt. It's not just that. Above all, I wanted to see what happens when the major factions engage in a struggle for the legacy. Since this is the Watchmaker's first announcement in decades, the traitor within the family is bound to reveal themselves. So, the legacy is just a facade. Yup. Hmm. If you want to consider the Stellaron as the legacy, I'm totally fine with that. <laughs> if that's the case, where is the Stellaron now? That's a question for Mr. Wings. Mr. The Wings! Is still under the family's control. Mr. KFC! The the Oak family, I'm sure he holds Mr. All Hooters! Mr. Barbecue! 
Oh, now I want to eat some chicken. Damn. I shouldn't have spoken about food. Now I'm hungry. Go ahead. I'm sure Mr. Wings holds all the answers. <laughs> Mr. Wings. <laughs> Mr. Alitas de Pollo. As I suspected, the core of this issue lies within the Stellaron. Oh no, Misha is now so scared and no, we have to protect this little you boy. Look quite serious. Is there anything I can do to help? No, I don't think so. Not yet, I guess. I don't know. Hello, Are Mr. Wings. And Miss so, Robin. Will you tell us where the Stellaron is? <laughs> <laughs> it is the Panacone Grand Theater itself. Oh! So basically, no, it wasn't. It, no, it wasn't where we. No, that was in the theme park. That was in the theme park. Never mind. Scratch that. I'm dumb. As I suspected. It's the embodiment of the family. The edifice that first materialized within the sweet dream. That's what turned Penacone into its current state. Go for Shinji and eat an angel. You know, I could, but I don't want to cook all of that right now. And preservation of an angel, that sounds like a pain in the ass. So, no, I think I, I won't eat an angel. Not anytime soon. As for the person who employed its power, it is in fact Mr. Gopherwood, the current Dream Master. Well, that was easier than I thought. Did you conduct your own investigation already? Correct. When I was trying to track down the person who murdered my sister, apart from you, Gopherwood was my second suspect. Mm. Would you look at that? Confronting me first turned out to be a smart move on your part. I didn't have other options. The Dream Master has been elusive. And even the heads of the families can hardly get an audience with him. Moreover, Mr. Gopherwood has been kind to my sister and me. And I didn't want it all to end like this. What do you mean by that? To be honest, my brother and I are also victims of the cancer of all worlds. We grew up as orphans, and were adopted by the family when they came to help. Mr. Gopher Wood recognized our potential and brought us to Penacone. But I can't just stand by and watch Mr. Gopher Wood become an enemy of the Harmony. I won't use my voice to support an evil cause. Aww. I won't step on that stage and sing. No matter who the traitor is, or what orders they give me. I won't let the Charmony Festival become an event that destroys Harmony itself, or the paradise in our dreams. Indeed. Well, for the paradise in our dreams. Well, I mean, Sparkle is already taking charge of posing as you, I guess. As the head of the Oak family, I'm responsible for ensuring Panacone's promising future. Robin and I will head into the sweet dream and confront the Dream Master. And if it turns out that the family has truly strayed from the Harmony, I'll fight alongside you. Okay. We'll put the Charmony Festival on hold and make sure Mr. Gopherwood pays for his blood debt. Let's go! The enemies you are about to face aren't like this old dog here who can barely even bark. <laughs> Since our interests are aligned, why don't we team up? Maybe, just maybe. Maybe. We'll a shot at success. Mayhaps. We have always been following in the footsteps of our nameless predecessors. And there's no reason to stop now. <laughs> yeah, we nameless won't back down from a challenge. Isn't that right, Mr. Trailblazer? Yeah, hell yeah it is. Peace was never an option. Oh my god, but we're trying to achieve peace over here. Nah, I'd surrender. Nah, I'd surrender. <laughs> That's the no, I'd win meme. Oh my god, I love it. Uh, that line actually makes me 
a bit nervous. <laughs> Don't worry, March. We always get ourselves out of this kind of shit intact. Rest assured, sitting on the sidelines isn't in our nature. Mr. Sunday, Miss Robin, I'm willing to accompany you on behalf of the Astral Express. Having a third party present should help with negotiations. And could make all the difference if things get ugly. Thank you, Mr. Yang. Thank you all very much. You're very welcome, girly. The Charmony Festival is about to start, and time is against us. We must hasten. Everyone, let's gather over here. We still need to make some preparations. Sir, yes, sir. Mm, I've gotten basically all of the chests. Ah, I'm not, I'm proud of that. I'm missing three chests and two Lordy Trashkins. Cool. Can I read the tombstones? Nope. Well. I may have been quick to step up to the plate, but confronting the Dream Master could be a very dangerous affair. Nothing we haven't done before, my guy. You have a black hole in your cane. We're gonna be fine. Uh-huh. Even you're saying that, Mr. Yang? Uh, uh, how powerful is that Dream Master? We're gonna be fine. We're gonna be fine. He's the leader of the families of Penacone. And he has the entire power of the Harmony behind him. Not to mention the Stellaron in his possession. We must proceed with great caution. Maybe you can just stay behind this time, Mr. Yang? Why would you want our most powerful asset to stay behind? We need him in the front lines! Nuh-uh, that, that, that man is coming with us! Shut up, March. He might be old, but he is very important and powerful. We no uh don't underestimate don't underestimate him just because he's 80 years old. No, that won't do. Exactly. Even if we count Robin as an ally, something felt off about Mr. Sunday just now. Although I can't quite put my finger on it. I have to make sure he won't turn against us when things start to get dicey. You're still carrying the keepsake the IPC envoy gave you, right? May I borrow it for a moment? Sure. Huh. I knew it. As I suspected, this chip Aventurine gave to you is actually a miniature transmitter. So he's been hearing all our shit until now! I'm right. He intends to use it to track your location or contact you when needed. As it so happens, this may actually be of some use in the current situation. Oh. Aventurine? Is he still alive? Yeah, he and is. And what does he have to do with our mission to confront the Dream Master? A lot! All of us have to do with this shit! All of us are here to confront the Dream Master. Even he is here because of that. Remember what I said earlier? Working with the IPC is a way to keep the family in check. If negotiations go south and the family show their true colors by going after the Stellaron, I'll use this transmitter to send a message to the IPC. Mard boy. It'll be just the opportunity the IPC ambassador was hoping for. We're... Yeah, that's, that's very nice. The only nice. question mark in all of this is Venturine's current status. But the IPC is always listening, especially senior strategic investment department heads like him. Getting the message across shouldn't be a problem. I know, I know, I definitely Good know. Good luck to you, Welt. Well, you take care too. If anything goes wrong, don't. You're not it. coming Just with us. Make sure to see. No! with you i wanted to see your true power with that l amazing black hole what do you mean you're not coming with us spoken Grr. like a true hero Grr. even if the dream master is innocent we're killing the matrix we are 
I won't make the same mistake Mikhail did. Let's wish him the best of luck. Don't Good luck. Do you have something else to tell us, Gallagher? Why would you say so? Before we departed, the conductor asked us to inquire about the three nameless in Penacony. We've already collected intel about Rosalina and Tiernan, so the only one left is legwork. Are you legwork? If I'm not mistaken, we've already met him somewhere, haven't we? Have we? Hmm. It's not enough to say meet, but the answer is pretty obvious. After all, I've hinted at it in quite an evident way. Did you know? I've been watching over you ever since I received the reply from the Astral Express. And I've seen the great effort you all put into linking different realms together across the cosmos. And now, after getting this far all in one piece, you have truly proven yourself. I absolutely forgot about the three nameless. So now I'm like, yeah, legwork. You hinted at it. Who the fuck is legwork? I don't know. Miss Himiko, were you the one who repaired the Express and got it sailing through the cosmos again? Yes. And you two, young Nameless, you have very interesting life stories and extraordinary skills. Thank you. Oh, you're making me blush with these batteries keeping coming. I was literally going to say that. Oh my god. about my life story but i do have extraordinary skills you sure do march <laughs> you're full of energy please send my regards to the conductor pom pom please let them know that their friend had fond memories from his time aboard the express mm. she reminisce on every time he had a good drink so you are leg work as for the last nameless he embarked disembarked and embarked again. Are you traveling dumb? in a great circle, ending up back where he started. On his deathbed, he told me to find the Astral Express and deliver an invitation to the future nameless. He left behind a special gift, a true legacy. Something that belongs only to the successors of the Trailblaze. Mm. Come with me. Now is the time to reveal it. I have the fear that we're going to be in a fight scene very soon. It's our name. It's our names. Ah, uh, back here again. Sometimes I feel like you're still alive, old friend. Like you've still got so much to say and do. I've kept my promise. And brought the future trailblazers you've waited so long for. I don't know why you were so obsessed with that train. <laughs> but I remember your last words. Don't let us down, old man. Cutscene? Cutscene. Uh, what's happening? Cutscene. What the fuck is going on? What the hell? Hello? What is that? Go ahead. His resting place lies in the garden up ahead. That looks weird. The first and last nameless of Penacony. Oh. Mikhail Char Legwork, the watchmaker. <gasps> How the fuck do I get down here? Oh, sideways. God? Close enough. It's Mikhail. <laughs> okay. <sighs> Grab this little chest. Beautiful. Madoka Magica Witch. <laughs> I haven't watched Madoka Magica. I have to watch it. Doo -doo -doo. 
Meet with the watchmaker. I'm terrified of doing so, honestly. Base anchor activated. Hi. How are you? Beneath the sea surface of memory zone, in a garden closest to the full moon in the water, an elderly man rests on a recliner enveloped in utter silence. The watchmaker, Mikhail Char Lekwork, has passed into that endless, timeless dream where no sound could ever awaken him. Well, sure enough, the watchmaker is the third nameless. Even I could guess that one. Naturally. The legacy he left behind was a dream bubble. I believe inside that bubble, there's something that holds meaning only for the nameless. After all, when I checked its contents, I found nothing inside. Maybe some trailblaze runes? Even more mysterious than me. Well, let's have a look. As the words cease, Himeko nods ever so slightly in your direction. You take a deep breath, steady on your mind, and turn your gaze towards the watchmaker. Touch the dream bubble. You press your hands against the dream bubble, and the thick, viscose memoria converges under strain, then stretches outward from your fingertips, as if weaving a delicate web, it gently cradles your palm. A chill travels from your fingertips, carrying with it a myriad of vibrant and intertwined memories, as experience would suggest. But this time, you see nothing at all. The dream bubble is clearly extraordinary. Perhaps the approach was wrong, you think, holding your breath and closing your eyes, which, with one knee on the ground, you press your forehead against the thin film coated in memoria. Yet before you there remains an abyss of darkness, no crimson sun descending upon snow-capped mountains, no gentle laughter, no twinkling stars, no echoes of sword clashing, and most of all no traces of trailblaze. There is nothing and nothing is there. Indubitably, this is but an empty dream bubble. Wait, what's going on? Seriously? Ugh. There's nothing inside this dream bubble? Hmm. How could a dream bubble be empty? <laughs> Just as I suspected. That old man always had this strange belief in the nameless and the trailblaze. And I never understood where he got that confidence from. Especially since he never managed to get in touch with the Express while he was alive could never figure out what was going on in that old man's head. But this empty dream bubble is so typical of him. Hmm. He was always full of weird fantasies and incomprehensible romanticism. It's take me back to my Spooky's Mansion stream where that one guy leaving the notes was like, I drank ink. It was not romantic. <laughs> <laughs> that mischievous old man. Well, I didn't expect him to leave anything concrete behind anyway. I find it to be very creepy, the fact that we're just hanging around in front of his corpse. Don't think that's the case, Gallagher. I'm sure Mikhail has left us the most precious thing of all. <laughs> Don't start getting all philosophical. His okay? body? Just as Mikhail believes in the nameless of the future, we unconditionally believe in the nameless of the past. How could they leave with regrets for the future when they were ready to dedicate their lives to the land they loved? There must be something contained in this dream bubble. It's just we haven't figured it out yet. You also have faith in the Watchmaker, don't you, Gallagher? Well, I'm a follower of the Enigmata. My philosophy forbids me to have faith in anything. Yikes. That's why I understand what 
faith means in the path of Trailblaze. And I also want to know what he left behind. <laughs> I'll leave it to you guys then. Thank you, Gallagher. Hmm. Can I borrow your pet? I need to make a trip back to Golden Hour and check something at the Dreamscape sales store. Girl, <laughs> I forgot that thing was the public transportation of this area. It's for Mikhail and for the future of Penacony. Boot Hill! Welcome to the Reverie Hotel. How may I help you? Greetings. We're the Nameless from the Astral Express, and we'd like to check in. The Astral Express? But I thought... Yes, my companions already checked in. My name is Dan Hung, and I believe my personal information is recorded in your system. Guys, give me a minute. My cat is meowing for me, so I must go and say hello to my cat. I'm back. I have returned. I have returned. I have returned. I said hello to my cat guy. And the knife almost fell on the floor. But we're back. And yeah! <clears throat> I mean, yeah! No me sale. That is so embarrassing. Uh, as you guys remember back in a long. In, back in my 50 followers party, I said something about getting my voice module changed and it's starting to to make a little bit of effect so I can reach the yeah that I did before that I could before like I can still have a high range but um my voice is not as smooth as before it's it's having a lot of voice cracks so yeah that happens it's normal it's normal it's part of it's part of updating the Hardware, you know. I see, but your companion said you wouldn't be coming due to a change of plans. Well, new change of plans. I am coming now. <laughs> now the plans have changed again. Exactly. Easy as that. And you are me. Uh, I'm Palm Palm. <laughs> new nameless, who's also with the Astral Express. <gasps> <laughs> there! Oh my god! I love it! It's Pom Pom! Oh my gosh! Volví a estar lequino, hombre! Oh my god! Sí, hola, Komaru! Bienvenido de vuelta! Welcome back! Welcome back! Welcome back! Se está presentando, mira, se llama Pom Pom. <laughs> <clears throat> He's my fellow trailblazer. <laughs> we responded to the family's invitation before he boarded the express. So he wasn't registered in your system. <clears throat> Is it possible to accommodate him as well? 
<laughs> oh my god. Danhung, I love seeing you in action. I love you. I love you, love you, love you, love you. Oh, I see. Another one of the nameless had a similar situation. Seems like a lot of people are joining the Trailblaze these days. Yeah, you know, trailblazing is becoming very popular. It's like the new trend or something. It's, it's you know, very on the groove. You could join as well, you know? Be part of the cool kids that trailblaze. <laughs> Since there's a precedent, it shouldn't be a problem. Just give me a second to contact your companions. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, dear guests, but it seems I'm unable to reach the other members of the Astral Express. What do you mean by unable to reach them? Whoopsie, I died. My apologies. This is the first time I've encountered a situation like this. However, the system indicates that those guests are still in the dreamscape. How about this? Give me their room number. And we'll go check on them ourselves. Easy peasy, just like that, yeah. Definitely nothing illegal going on here. We're not... We're not smuggling a galaxy ranger, that's for sure. I'm afraid that's not possible. I need to verify both of your identities before I can share any guest information. How about you just wake up someone? Let's say, uh, Welt. No, Himeko. Wake up, Himeko. She's in the golden hour. Wake up, Himeko. I'm sorry, but there are strict rules regarding forced awakening. It cannot be done without the proper clearance. So nothing works, huh? What's your solution then? Are you saying we sleep here? At the reception? Go sleep back in the train, I mean... You guys have your own rooms there! <laughs> Sorry. Please be patient. We need to contact your companions in order to confirm your identities. And now it seems you need to confirm our identities before you can contact our companions. <sighs> It seems so. Oh, fudge. Look. Is it fudge? But if you can't handle this, go find someone else who can. Hey, okay? hey, 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 Booty, low down. Pump the brake, horses and friends. No Karens here, bitch. Because, you know, I can say the F word and you can't. So, hold it. Keep it in your pants, man. No Karens. Uh, please calm down, dear guests. I do recall that Mr. Sunday, the Oak family head, personally handled this issue earlier. Oh, please wait a moment while I contact him. Solo me pregunto si su pitulín es metálico también. Sean más creativos. Pitulín modular. Se puede cambiar, zafar, poner, aceitar, dar vueltas, vibra. Big brain. Como se puede cambiar y es modular, puede ser de distintos materiales. Entonces, ajá. Ha de tener ocho pitulines distintos. I don't think she's trying to give us a hard time. She really just doesn't know what to do. Yeah, Boot Hill. Pump your brakes. I have a bad feeling about this. You tried to contact them on the express earlier, but they didn't respond. <sighs> Something doesn't seem right. I need to leave for a moment. Don't you leave him unattended. He's gonna stay here with the receptionist. No. He's gonna blow the cover. Sure thing. Just don't keep me waiting forever. <sighs> Don Hung seems pretty worried about his companions. I should give him some space. 
Stressing out about it won't help anything. Or perhaps Kendall. All of the versions. Let's appreciate him. Oh my god! He has a gun! I mean, he's not the first one in here to have a gun, but like... Look at this rodeo style. Ooh! Zooey mama! He definitely looks like the type of person that would look at me and say, What the fuck is a kilometer? No, correction. What the fuck is a kilometer? Yes, keep yourself... Keep yourself fed, well fed, and go get the vitamin... Lead, I guess. Boot heal. The Charmony Festival is about to start. I'm so excited! Hey! You guys here for the Charmony Festival, too? Well, I didn't come all the way here specially for the festival. Honestly, I don't really even know what it's about. But I heard it's a lot of fun! LOL Well, back in my home world, Anaria, we have festivals like that all the time. I just see Striker. My dad Same. Sent me a birthday party one time that was just as extravagant Same. as the Harmony Festival. He gives me all the Striker vibes. Like he's definitely Striker. Like just look at him. He's just definitely Striker. Is he going to be fighting Bird Boy here? Just like Striker caught Stolas, we don't know. Harmony Festival is a once in an amber era event. How can a birthday party compare? Well, you never know, right? Maybe on her world, birthdays only happen once in amber era. <laughs> anyway, let's forget about that. My guy's really if trying. What about the uh, unsettling things happening in the dreamscape? Unsettling things? What could possibly go wrong? It better not ruin the Charmony Festival! I've been looking forward to it! Relax. With a big event like this, there's bound to be lots of gossip and rumors. Don't worry. If anything does happen, the family will be on top of it. <sighs> oh, that's a relief. But is not even trying. This way to see the festival go down the drain. Bruh. Well, looks like I won't get any fudging clues out of these two. Fudging clues. I love this man. I really should take advice from his way of speaking and start cussing less. But whatever. Life is short. Greetings. I'm Cody of the Bloodhound family, head of security for the hotel. How may I assist you? Hello. So, uh, there's something I wanted to ask about. I've been hearing some unsettling rumors about certain incidents that might affect the Charmony Festival. Do you think there's anything to be worried about? I traveled all the way from the Hayai Federation, and I don't want my trip to be ruined. Um, what do you mean? Wait, you haven't heard. I'm not sure where you heard those rumors, but they're completely baseless. I can assure you, as a representative of the Bloodhound family, that everything is going to be Can we redeem other stuff? Festival. I don't know, check the point redemption. I forgot At what present, I had. All of the families are focused on making sure the festival starts on time. Even the Dream Master himself has arrived. So don't worry, your trip won't be in vain. Ah, uh, <laughs> that's a relief to hear. She doesn't appear to be. Chop, redeem, make it PG. I wasn't even oh, cussing that much. It seems that even the hotel staff are out of the loop. Back already? Hasn't she returned yet? 
Nope. I'm starting to wonder if sending her to contact Sunday was a good idea. Bro, Neither the staff every single the person they're trying to contact, to it's not available right now. Wherever we go, all we see is people enjoying themselves. Definitely not a good sign. <laughs> Too much I happiness. Another I cannot trust this the place. Family is supposed to be in charge of organizing the council and managing everything inside. Just try to put you in practice. Outside the dreamscape. However, I walked around the hotel, but didn't meet a single member of the Oak family on such an important day. What can I tell you, Dan Hung? This is what happens when you decide to be an introvert and stay in the train and miss out on all the adventure. Well, I'll be forked. If I remember correctly, the head of the Oak family is that Sunday guy, right? That weekend boy. The uh, Hooters guy. We shouldn't linger here too long. Let's go back to the express for now. Uh, well, not so fast. Have you ever robbed the IPC, bro? If you run away now, have you ever robbed the IPC, after you. bro? <laughs> Are you suggesting we sit here and do nothing? Yeah. I wouldn't say do nothing, but let's stay put for now. Even if the family has ulterior motives, they couldn't have anticipated us showing up here. We now you and Boothill are on equal footing. That nabbit! Ah, it doesn't feel the same! Ah, I feel so unfulfilled! Oh my god! Oh no! Cussing with things that are not Cause words are so... It's so... Oh my gosh. It feels so unfulfilling. Especially in English. Oh my god. What the... F <sighs> they don't want to attract... That is so stressing. Attention ...from certain outsiders. So... They won't do anything reckless. See? The IPC lackeys are keeping a close eye on this hotel. Mm. If I were a family member, I'd find an official excuse and keep the surprise factors here. If we just wait here, that would be like walking into their trap. Sort of. Of course, we don't need to walk into their trap. I gave a backup plan to the memo keeper. If it turns out we won't be allowed to enter the dreamscape, she'll order a drink for me in the VIP lounge at the hotel. In reality, a secret signal. That's right. Oh, a concrete object can indeed help the memo keeper establish a connection with you. But Boot Hill, if you have more backup plans in the future, <laughs> I hope you'll let me know in advance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's one of my quirks. <laughs> I have too many unreliable friends. And if I reveal that I have backup plans, things can... Things can go awry. And that would leave all backup plans completely useless. You need to get better friends. How do we get oh, into the VIP lounge? This okay. is where my street smarts come into play. Wow, we're just gonna say hi, sweetie, to the first... VIP lady we see you around and just let her guide us to the lounge? Is that it? You're the... Yes, I am! How may I assist you? We're the of course you're a Dennis. Astral Express. Uh. We wanted to check in, but there's something wrong with your system. <laughs> The lady at the front desk. Now, we've been waiting here forever without any food or water. What the fork, man? What the Is this how the family treats its guests? Oh my god! I love this guy. Is this your idea of street smarts? Shh. Starting an altercation? Shh. 
let the experienced Karen take let let the American let the American handle this one, Dan Hung. Let him. It's called standing up for your right. Oh my god, this guy is such an American! Oh my god! Of course you are Karen! Oh my god, the software is pre-installed in you! I apologize for the inconvenience. Please wait while we try to contact Mr. Sunday. I'm gonna cry I'll out of laughter. Two premium seats in the VIP lounge so you can rest there while you wait. Whoa, that was easy. What the fork? I am... I am so... Uh, this... Is that a charging... Boot hill? Explain. Hello? Hi. Is that a charging port or like a thing like where the gas where you like fill up gas from a car? Boot hill? Do you have any explanations of these little ports in your lower back? Also, what are those? I cannot say the word. What are those? Um, how do I say that without saying the word? Can I spell while in the make it PG? No, because children know how to spell. The children know how to spell nowadays. Like, what are those C-U-N-C-U-N-T-Y-A-S-S pants? Like, where are you from? The year 2000? <laughs> See, just like that. This guy. Just, uh, just don't call yourself nameless next time. <laughs> wow, this bar's something else. Certainly worthy of the planet of festivities. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, one peach soul glass. Hi, Anderson. Good evening, gentlemen. Hey, I have an order for a bottle of his Donna's White Oak. Can you help us find it? Has Donna's White Oak? Oh, no way. Are you sure you're not mistaken? Is this guy again going to make another Karen move? If someone had reserved such a beverage, I would definitely remember it. It sells for hundreds of thousands of credits per bottle after all. Uh, I couldn't afford to cover for such an item if it were broken or lost. That's strange. Well, could it be that the memo keeper couldn't afford it? Then what should we do now? Oh, no need to rush. Let's <laughs> grab some drinks first. Let's go. Maybe I arrived too early and he hasn't come yet. Let's go. Let's go get some vodka to start up the night. Let's see what kind of juice malts you all have here. <sighs> well, uh, give me a glass of Heenum Valley, 40 years. I'll have it neat. No ice. This man drinks whiskey. Of course he does. Well, that's the most expensive one on the list. You have a taste for the finer things. <laughs> it's on the house, anyway. <laughs> He knows! He knows! I would do the same. What can I get for you? And this guy is going to be like the humblest person ever and is going to to order like water with ice. Anything you recommend is fine. Then I would recommend today's special, Glass Village. It's classic soul glad mixed huh. with laboom juice. It's refreshing and suits your cool demeanor. Hmm, just one minute. Your cool demeanor. Are you flirting with my wife? Are you flirting with my wife? <laughs> ah, this flavor. Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Ooh, really hits the spot. The Truth. what? What, what, cask, age, what barbecue and fuel of what? Dynamite barbecue with rocket fuel. Uh, is that really something that humans enjoy? Bro, can you not see that you are talking to a walking mecha? 
<laughs> hey, this guy doesn't know anything at all. <laughs> as long as you're satisfied, dear guests, please enjoy. <laughs> oh my god! Let's give the memo keeper another half system hour. If she doesn't show up, we'll need to come up with a new plan. In the meantime, these guys are so clueless, but at the same time, the they're not that clueless. What do you think? The situation is unclear. Something must have happened on the planet of festivities, but the public is unaware of it. Someone in a position of power within the family must be covering it up. Himeko, this is like your time to write it's to this man. for the followers of the Harmony to invite other factions, let alone the IPC and the Masked Fools. <sighs> if what you said about the Emanator of the Nihility is true, the situation in Penacony is a little complicated. A little. To say the least. It is complicated. It's very complicated. Like one of those Facebook statuses. That's how complicated it is. Actually, there's something else I'm concerned about regarding Acheron. As you know, the faction that follows the path of the hunt are some of the most dangerous folks in the cosmos to mess with. I mean. Who in the right mind would impersonate the Sienjo Alliance or the Galaxy Rangers? It's like asking for a death wish. Probably she wants to die. Isn't there a saying among the Sienjo people that uh, the rainbow set lets their luck's arrow do all the beaten? Talking. Do all the talking. <laughs> well, you know what I mean. <laughs> Even though the galaxy rangers I love have been Boodle so much. We've been keeping an eye. He's on so region. funny. Even the dumbest criminals know better than to mess with the Annihilation Gang, much less the Rangers. Bruh, I I understand. I I kind of feel like talking down here, talking with Boodhill is like how all my friends feel talking with me, because I just go with like yeah. I just grab a common saying and then like I say it but like in a twisted way where it's like you get the meaning but it's like it's totally not what it says and they just look at me like no it's this and I'm like whatever you got me but that Acheron lady she doesn't seem like a lunatic at all on the contrary she's highly logical and organized she knows exactly when to hold back and when to strike without mercy. And do you believe that someone like her would have an ulterior motive for impersonating a galaxy ranger? <sighs> I'm not entirely sure. But I do have my suspicions. Maybe she knows a galaxy ranger, or perhaps she's trying to lure us out for some reason, which I can't figure out. Anyway. What worries me more are the anomalies within the family. They've summoned followers from various paths for the festival. No matter how generous such a gesture is, this move seems highly unusual. And you are very right, Dunhung. Unless the invitations weren't sent by them. Uh, if that's the case, it's even more intriguing that the family insists on organizing the Charmony Festival, despite the chaos. Maybe it's she pay the harmony pulling the strings. You find it beyond human understanding because it wasn't arranged by humans at all. Uh, that's a nice theory, but that's just that, a theory. People do stupid things out of irrational impulses. They abandon their principles when self Again, theory. Involved. They believe in things they know. I they was trying not do. to do it. I'm but very fucking no. Rules. Damn no! Oh my god! I lost. I was doing so well with the keep it PG. How long was it left? There was thirty seconds left. I deserve. I I deserve a a. a he is uh, to get to be let go with a slap on the wrist. Anyways. But eons don't. 
They stick to their determined path and never turn back. Even if they reach a dead end. You think Shige's will is behind all this? No. It may not necessarily be Shipei, but there's definitely some higher entity involved. I know it may sound pessimistic, but if human free will were reliable, why would we even need Galaxy Rangers? It's much simpler when you boil it down to the eons and paths. Like how Lon always follows the path of the hunt, or, or how the Express stays true to the Trailblaze despite Hakavili's disappearance. But in my opinion, Akavili's fall holds significance for the Nameless. Oh, so you're saying the Nameless now have to take responsibility for their own choices because their absolutely right leader is gone? Yup. Exactly. I believe the purpose of the journey isn't just about following a path that's always considered absolutely right. It's more about doing your best to choose the right path for yourself among countless possibilities, even with limited insight and judgment. I don't know what you've been through, but I agree that people must take responsibility for their choices. Because no one else can do it. That's why the Galaxy Rangers need to uncover the imposter. Look, I clicked before you guys could read. I'm sorry. I don't know what you've been through, but I agree that people must take responsibility for the choices because no one else can do it for them. That is so true. And figure out her true intentions. Just in case. I have a backup plan if the memo keeper doesn't show up. Okay, cool. This is Care to share with the class? Backup plan. I promise. Sure. You sure have a lot of cards up your sleeve. What sleeves? Well, oh, these ones. <laughs> going back to my old career would make things a lot easier. What was your old career? Come on! We have a lot of time before Black Swan shows up. Share the lore. Open up. Not literally, but, you know, figuratively. By the way, when you were walking around the hotel, did you happen to see any important looking guests? Topaz? But I don't know if this guy... I don't remember if this guy knows Topaz. What's your plan? It's simple. We just grab some hostages and use them as Thomas. bargaining chips. With Topaz is not going to work for that. Or maybe we can even take their identities. No need for that. We'll return to the Express now. <laughs> Wait. Are you getting scared? <laughs> Draw your weapon. Let's make a big scene. Boot heel. Are you leaving, esteemed guests? Uh, would you like to cancel that as Donna's White Oak you just ordered? <clears throat> huh? As Donna's White Oak? But didn't you just say? Ha <laughs> ha! Looks like you are a bit intoxicated, esteemed guests. Uh, you ordered a bottle of As Donna's White Oak just a moment ago. Black Swan. Hmm. Looks like your memo keeper friend has finally arrived. <sighs> oh, right. Sorry, my memory's not the best. You know, too many modifications and all. <clears throat> anyway, let me check. <laughs> well, fork me. It says Donna's White Oak, all right. And there's a no. <laughs> I can't with this. This is so funny. Well, fork me. Oh my god. This is reminded me, reminding me of that one time I read an original story on Wattpad that the catch of it was that there were like different families. This is not what the story was about, but like the families of the protagonists. Each family that instead of cuss words, they would use a different class of nouns. I don't, is it nouns? So for example, uh, family A, the family of the protagonist would use food. 
if I'm not wrong. The family of her best friend would use uh, ve vehicles in general. And then the family of the guy she likes used cutlery. So hearing this guy saying literally fork me, I am having like the worst type of flashbacks to the worst, most darkest times in my teenage years where I used Wattpad. Ah! I'll be waiting for you on the Astral Express. No mistake, that's her message to you. She knew the hotel wasn't safe, so she suggested we find another place. Well, looks like we took a detour, but now it's back to the Astral Express. So, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Let's go! You're back? Two guests just boarded saying they were looking for Boot Hill, so I told them to wait in the parlor car. Oh, just in time. Akeron and Black Swan. Two guests? Yeah, or two. Look, we welcome all passengers on the Astral Express, but sneaking in like that, you have no regard for etiquette. <laughs> my apologies, Conductor. It was an oversight on my part. I assumed you were already acquainted with the garden. Given the chaotic situation in Panacone, the Nameless are the only ones we can truly trust right now. You are the memo keeper. Yep. Pleased to meet you, Don Hung. I've seen you and others' memories. And as for Boot Hill, this is our first face-to-face -face meeting. I hope you enjoyed that bottle of Astana's White Oak. You sure have a refined taste. Finally, Memo Keeper. Well, let's cut to the chase. Spill everything you know. That's precisely what I intend to do. But before that, Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Black. I knew it! And I serve the Garden of Recollection as a memo keeper. As for Acheron's story, I'm sure she knows it better than I do. Greetings. I'm Acheron. What? Garden of Recollection, shirtbag! You betrayed me! No. Don't jump to conclusions. I apologize, but she did that at my request. Due to certain reasons, I have been exiled by the family. Thankfully, this memo keeper came to my aid and helped me escape their surveillance unnoticed. To be honest, it was more like stalking than helping. And the process was far from unnoticed. But we did escape. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I asked her to guide me to a place beyond the family's reach and to contact a few trustworthy individuals. Namely, all of you. Trustworthy? <laughs> Son of a nice lady. Son of a nice lady. Oh my god. I I'm quitting. I am. in your head and see what secrets spill out. Then we can talk about trust. Damn, Boot Hill. Chill out, bro. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm willing to answer all your questions, but not right now. If my cover hadn't been blown, we might have had more time, but at the moment, we don't have any other options. No other options. 
What do you mean? This is the only way I can ensure everyone's safety. I kindly request an immediate warp jump out of the Astana star system. Huh? No! No, 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 as far as I can tell, she's not a threat and seems to be telling the truth. Oh fucking god, what is going to go down in Pinaconi? I've briefly traveled with your companions and know their whereabouts, Don Hung. Please rest assured, your nameless companions are safe, but they need our help. How are we gonna help? How are how are how are you guys gonna help us? If you guys are outside of the stellar system. As for Boot Hill, you may have guessed. I've been waiting for you. Galaxy Rangers are known for their elusive nature and limited contact with each other. So this was the only way I could reach out Jojo to Pose. you. Jojo Pose. That Jojo Pose. Only by doing this can I find a true Galaxy Ranger and fulfill a long-standing promise. Which is? To return his relics to their rightful owner. Whose relics? Someone once told me that every rainfall is like a gift from the heavens. A sign of their mercy upon the world. Raindrops are said to be the tears of the gods, shed in response to the sorrows of the world. Their constant pouring is a reminder that the gods haven't abandoned us yet. So... How long scene. has this rain been going on for? I used to believe, just like you, that it would eventually stop. Years and decades passed. And in the end, such hope faded away before the rain did. Looks like the god you mentioned doesn't exist after all. As he spoke, the old no, that, that, as he spoke, the old man's gaze remained fixed on the distance. Amidst the fine drizzle of black rain, countless shadowy hands emerged from the sea, shrouded in an external mist, reaching outwards the sky one by one. Well. Let me share a story with you. Mortals who walk the paths are like sailors on a vast ocean, leaving behind a trail that creates countless ripples of possibilities. These ripples last longer than the fleeting lifetimes of humans. And for some, their presence leaves such a strong mark that it's reflected in the waves. Okay. Like those shadows on the ocean. Sin thirsters. I love Akiron so the much. sessions of the Path Striders. They emerge from the depths of IX. Seeing themselves as masters of their own destiny. Unknowingly repeating the actions of their past lives. They emerge from the nihility Ooh. and head toward it. Leading purposeless lives. However, these hollow phantoms... They were once my dear companions. <gasps> a group 
of Galaxy Rangers. Mm. Are you watching over them? Watching over them? No. I'm guiding them toward transcendence. Mm. It was a brutal war. A crusade that shook the universe. The universe witnessed the fall of Zulo, the Lord Ravager, but it came at a price. A price so hefty that only those who were there still remember. Ooh. The unwavering determination of the hunt followers persists even in death. So someone must guide these lost souls to their life beyond. They were heroes in their time. Mm. And they shouldn't be reduced to mere puppets of the nihility. As for me, I've suffered too many losses on that battlefield to advance any further. That is such a humble. And that makes me the most fitting person to carry out this task. Oh, that is so humble and but you know nice. These sin thirsters. They are not who they used to be. But still. Does this seem pointless to you? They still deserve. Well, you some know. tasks have to be done, Peace? even if they are pointless. I can help you. For what? Aww. For the meaning of the nihility. That's what I've been seeking. I see. After all, this realm is off limits to ordinary souls, right? Yep. Thank you, stranger. I wish that you find what you seek. Before we part ways, I have one more question. It is true that their actions and even their entire lives may seem pointless from our perspective. But if, and it's just an if, if this is what the departed ones expected, should we try to change it? A good question, and a profound one. I don't know the answer. What I do know is that one day I too will pass away. And when I bid farewell to this world, someone will stand at my grave and place a bouquet of flowers on it. Aww. I wanted to see how that ended up unfolding. When I appeared as a child, my speech, mindset, and soul reflected immaturity and innocence. As I grew into adulthood, I left behind my childlike side. I humbly request your blessings esteemed advocate of Shipe. Come to me, my kinship. I have sought their presence with us. Mándese tres Padre Nuestros, cuatro Ave Marías y ya está listo para la próxima semana que se viene a confesar otra vez. <laughs> I remember one time, oh my God. One time. I was forced to pray 15 like rosaries, full rosaries, and those take a while to pray. Like 15 full of those, like 10 Ave Marias, I don't know how to say that in English, and like another 15 
Padre Nuestro, as if the ones that are inside the fucking rosary aren't enough just because I questioned who wrote the Bible. I was punished because I asked who is the author of all of this because I cannot believe that one single person was alive throughout all of this shit because either that person is immortal or their lives were hectic as hell because imagine having all of that shit to happen to you in the span of like what three years but then i was like no if it's only one person then they have to be like immortal or like equals to god like they had to be a second sent to god to document this sh this thing because like you have to take into account that jesus was birthed and grew and then like all the other stuff that was happening at the other places and i was punished instead of being told that the bible is separated in different sections that were written by different people that follow different canons i was told to pray 15 times the fucking rosary it was so pointless i remember just staying in silence and falling asleep on the church bench thingies because holy fuck I was like, bro, I just asked if that's it's a sensible question to have. It's a sensible question to have when you're being forced to read that big ass book with no guidance and no explanation whatsoever and just being told, hey, believe what's in there because or else you're going to go burning flames. And I'm like, why would I burn in flames? Like, if I'm already dead, why would I be burning in flames? Like, you're gonna rotisserie, rotisserie my body or something as punishment? Why would you do that? If I'm already dead, I wouldn't be feeling anything. I was way too autistic to be a Catholic. <laughs> I just... Religion and me just... We, we didn't match. We, we couldn't match. As you wish. I have faithfully served the Alfalfa family for nearly a decade, promoting the path of the harmony to the best of my ability. However, I made a mistake yesterday. While I was preparing dinner for the family head, I accidentally dropped a prepared dish on the floor. Out of uh, laziness, I lied and claimed that everything was ready. <laughs> Although the head has dismissed me as punishment, it has been tough to sleep with the guilt still gnawing at me, as I worry that the seeds of evilness may have taken root in my soul. So, I confess to you now to seek atonement for my sins. Do you sincerely repent and vow to change your ways? Yes. Have you examined your soul and confessed all your sins? Oh, yes. Are you willing to accept the process of atonement? I am terrified of the process of atonement. Uh, yes. Very well. What Show your is the process of atonement to the family? And you shall be reinstated among them. Now, please, leave in peace. Oh, praise she may. And thank you, esteemed advocate. Next, please step forward. I, I wholeheartedly confess to you, please. Pardon my sins.
Wow. Rest assured, I have implored their presence to be with us. As long as you are sincere, absolution will be granted. Oh my god. Sunday. Oh, oh great. You know, I I arrived in Panacone as a stowaway. I sold everything to get a ticket. You sold your kids? I could never understand this kind of people. I will never understand this kind of people. I see. Please go on. My children were starving, and I hoped they'd have a chance at survival if they became slaves here. If, if I can strike it rich here, I lift them out of that situation and give them the life they deserve. Bro, you already sold them. The what the fuck is wrong with you? They're on my tail, hunting me down. I thought I could bring my kids here. It, it was all my fault. All my fault. What the? The family is ready to forgive all sinners. I'll ask the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. You don't need to live in fear anymore. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll work my hardest to redeem my children and make them part of the family. Praise, praise the harmony. Next, please step forward. Wow. Hey, long time no see, Mr. Sunday. <laughs> that was me. Esteemed individual in Penacony and the next leader of the Oak family. That's me. Me saying hi to the... I have sought their presence with us. Let us proceed. With the, with the pilot. Sure. let's just get this over with. <clears throat> I have sinned, please forgive me. I wasted half a pizza at breakfast. That is me! And a bottle of soul glass. That is literally me! That's it. Nothing more. Can we wrap this up? I've got a robo ball game to catch, you know? Forgive me, Father, for I seek to atone for your sins through good deeds. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. Today I didn't do my homework. <laughs> I literally would go there to the podium and say that, and the and the guy would be like Fine, just Just Father forgives. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Father, could you please bring me a little bit of water? Thank you very much. I would appreciate that kindly. My sins? Wow, I'm starting to sound like a saint, huh? Well, let me tell you something. Neither the family nor you have the right to judge me. Oh my god, that is literally me. You see, that's why I got in trouble. That's why I got in trouble for not knowing where to sh when to shut the fuck up. You think nobody knows what your precious family has done? About the watchmaker? Huh? <sighs> Don't kid yourself, Featherbrain. Featherbrain! Those brain chasers might be fooled by your act, but don't fool yourself. <laughs> Featherbrain! <laughs> Damn, that's quite a way to say smooth brain. Before you start spouting off your holy verses, answer me this. Where does the power of the Oak family come from? And your power? What makes you think you can sit there all high and mighty, looking down on everyone else? Well, I've spent enough time in confession today to enter the Harmony's Paradise, right? Wow. Take my leave. Good luck with your election, and uh, don't make me regret my investments in you. Oh, 
revere triple-faced soul. Hear my doubts. Who can judge the strong when their power hides their crimes? Who can vouch for the weak when they will pay any price to survive? Who can comfort the purest souls? If I say my thoughts, I'm going to get banned. Astray? So I'm going to stay. See? That's why I grew. That's what I learned. I learned to shut the fuck up. If the strong defending the weak is truly the foundation of paradise, then who, who is responsible for the suffering and anguish in this wretched world? Brother? Brother? Brother, are you all right? He is not. I'm fine. I've been working long hours, and I just made a trip to Dreamflux Reef and back. So I'm a bit out of sorts. But it'll all be over before we know it. You've been working nonstop on the Germany Festival, Mr. Sunday, and no one could have predicted this incident. Even if the Stellaron does pose a grave threat, I still feel sorry for all the trouble we've caused you. Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> no need to worry about troubling anyone. The Charmony Festival was meant to spread joy and harmony across the cosmos. But now that we know the truth, I'm afraid we'll have to cancel it. It has always been our wish to make everyone happy, so... We'll do our best to explain everything to the Dream Master. I'm sure he'll understand. Or well, maybe he won't. And chaos will ensue. Even if the negotiation does not go smoothly, I'll refuse to go on stage. That won't be a problem but because they already have a replacement for you. The choir would not arrive. And the Charmony Festival would be just a grand performance and nothing more. <laughs> I'm relieved to see your determination. Girl. You know, since arriving in Penaconi, we haven't had any contact with this Dream Master himself. I'd heard of the heads of the five major lineages, but the Dream Master is a mystery to me. The Dream Master rarely grants an audience, even for us. But given the urgency of the situation, he's agreed to meet us in person. <gasps> oh, wow. <laughs> Perhaps you'll be the first guest to meet the Dream Master in years, Mr. Yang. Mr. Yang is going to face this fucker alone? Oh, wow. Let's hope we can reach a consensus that satisfies everyone. Indeed. Let us hope so. It's about time. We'll have to get ready for the meeting. I apologize for any inconvenience caused by the urgency. Don't worry. I'll be waiting here. Oh dear, it's Mr. Sunday! Hey, come over here! <laughs> Thank you for everything you've done. Me quitaron a Fushuan! Me quitaron mi escudo! Oh no! No, me quitaron mi escudo! Me quitaron mi escudo. Can I? Oh, I'm close. We're close. We're close. We're close. Oh, Mr. Sunday. Hey there. Okay. See the moon in the sky? It's about the size of the cap on my Soul Glad bottle. If I just reach down my hand, I could grab the moon, couldn't I? Yeah, whatever you wish, my guy. The, the moon? You mean the Grand Theater? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at me. I've been away from home for too long. I must be missing that moon. Damn. But it's no big deal. The Grand Theater here looks much better than the moon back home. It's just magnificent. You should drink some water, my guy. Vito 
told me not to sell everything I had just to come to Pentaconi. How short-sighted. Short-sighted. My god. Ooh. Selling everything you had. Why would you go to such lengths? Yeah, really. Why? It's not why? that... Why? Can't you see? Life back home is miserable. It's not really living at all. Living in a dream is also not living. You're just dreaming. Nothing in there is real. It's just an illusion in your head that you're creating to try to cope with the fact that you couldn't make your real life any better. Better yourself! Instead of selling everything for an illusion. It's better to be here at Pinnacone. No pain, no worries about tomorrow, just sweet dreams. You can do whatever you want. That's what I call living. That's not living. That's avoiding any consequences now, to your own this actions. Is the life. That's not life. Is this truly living? It is not. <laughs> huh? What did you say, young lady? I didn't quite catch that. Nothing. <laughs> oh, it's nothing, sir. You see, the traffic on Glock's Avenue can be dangerous. How about I ask a Bloodhound family member to escort you to Idine Park over there, so you can continue enjoying your sweet dream? Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Wow, no wonder you are the leader of this sweet dream. Oh my You're god. You're totally a lifesaver. See you around, Mr. Sunday, and... Uh, it was nice chatting with you. <sighs> What's up, sister? This is the land of the dreams. But why do they live like this? So they're dumb. The man we ran into... He doesn't seem happy at all. Because he's not. Even though sweet dreams are nice, they're just illusions. Exactly. But for him, they're the only way to survive, even if it means giving up on reality. That's not really living at all. Correct. You're very down to earth, Robin. I like that. I suppose you have a point. But, in my opinion, that's how most people live their lives. Ooh. There's a difference in ideology here. Why do you say that? You think that man is not actually living, but that's not quite accurate. Even without Panacone, people create their own illusions called self-value. Why is his worry sounding weird? People believe they have a predetermined value to fulfill. Gaining value means gaining power, and those deemed worthless are seen as the weak. Sunday. However, value doesn't come out of thin air, and there's a limit to it. To accumulate value, people have to take from others, so the weak get exploited and oppressed. Sunday, be very careful where you're going with this conversation. I was starting to slightly trust you. Are you suggesting that... This is not how things should be? Hmm... Exactly. But, ironically, people don't think there's anything wrong with it. Because they uphold the illusory notion of self-value. And even the weak believe in it. The survival of the fittest. That's where all the tragedies in the world come from. People come to the sweet dream in Panacone to escape from that reality and find solace. No tragedies exist here, only happiness. Although in its nascent form. What the fuck is nascent? Isn't that the same Let paradise we yearn for in our dreams? Just beginning. Gotcha. It means just beginning. In the beginning. Perhaps that man is just an exception. 
It is not. Let's not jump to conclusions. We should experience the dreamscape ourselves. Just as I did at Dreamflux Reef. Yes. Seeing is believing. I'll accompany you. The Dream Master hasn't shown up yet, so we have some time for a stroll. Okay, where will the stroll take us? Robin, uh, how are the preparations for the Charmony Festival coming along? The fuck you mean again? So excited about it. Uh, it's going smoothly. Thanks for making the trip to join the festival. You're too kind, Robin. It's a pleasure to have guests from all over the universe celebrating day and night. I can't stand being lonely or bored, so this jubilant dreamscape is perfect for me. Hmm. But if this went on forever, would it get boring too? Nah, oh, not at all. Who would get tired of having so much fun? Uh, all these people are in the like honeymoon phase of starting a dream. It's worrisome. Every day you get to wear fancy clothes, uh, explore all sorts of dream bubbles, indulge in delicious food without gaining weight and you never get old or sick as long you as you do can get afford old. a room this place is the ultimate paradise you do get old you just damn that experience sounds so void of everything but you know that only a few things can be brought back from the dreamscape to reality right that's exactly why i don't plan on bringing anything back just enjoying the dream itself is good enough for me. I, I mean, I'm not one of those long living species. I only have around 60 or 70 years in this lifetime and uh, there's so much to worry about. Being happy here is pure bliss. Only in this sweet dream can I truly feel like I'm in control of my life and fate. Who would want to go back to reality after experiencing this bliss? Uh, girl, you know, I see. I genuinely wish you all the happiness in the world. And this I is reminding me a lot of Soma. Robin. I'm off to the blue hour for the ball. See you later. This is definitely reminding me a lot of Soma. <sighs> Seems like that guest's perspective didn't resonate with you either. She had a valid point. That I could sense her genuine happiness. It's just that... What you're trying to say is... She thinks she's in control of her life. But in reality... She's just escaping from reality and seeking solace in this sweet dream. Yeah. Once she steps out of this sanctuary... Everything will be lost. The withdrawal that they will feel once they leave this, it's... Ugh. Well, she did make mention of being able to afford a room, didn't she? However, the paradise in our dreams, it doesn't have to end. Is that why you have such a big-ass mansion, you... No, <clears throat> and the paradise we yearn for shouldn't be just a fleeting dream either. Scenery in this dreamscape is truly breathtaking, isn't it? Oh, Robin. Can't believe I'm meeting you in person here. What an honor. <laughs> You're right. Even though time stands still in this dreamscape, it always feels fresh. I find something new every time. A philosophical mind. I hope I'm not intruding. Oh, not at all. Uh, with little time left, I yearn for meaningful conversations. Especially with someone as esteemed as you. 
Do you mind if we chat? It's my pleasure. No need to be formal. Just speak your mind. You said, with little time left. Please, forgive me for being blunt. But is that why you came to Penacony? Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah. I was part of a war, and while escaping from the Sarkozian mothership, I got exposed to some radioactive materials. Oh, shit. And then, all my comrades died, and my hometown was wiped out by neutron bombardments. Damn. I couldn't bear to live with everything I knew gone. That's when I heard about a possible solution here, so I came. How heart-wrenching. I hope the family has been able to help you. They have, and I'm truly grateful for that. They provided me with a comfortable room, the most advanced life support services in the cosmos, and a stellar team of caregivers. My physical body is now in the dream pool, sustained by life support. The me you see here is whole, rational, and no different from any other person. But I can't say the same for the me in the hotel room. My true appearance. Huh? I hope you never have to witness it, Robin. Aww. So, you'll be living forever in this dreamscape, right? <laughs> Just being able to live at all is good enough for me. Whether it's in this dreamscape or not, well, I don't really have much say in the matter. Well, that's... at least that... this is the only one that I'm like, yeah, they found their... Like, this is... the least... heart-wrenching. Like, I, it, it is heart-wrenching, but it's the only one that I'm like, yeah. My world has been torn apart. And my life could end any second. So, even if this whole place is an illusion, it's yes, exactly. still my paradise. And I'll treasure every moment I spend here. Like, he's aware of it, but he's, like, treasuring his last moments. So it's like, I understand this guy. <laughs> How I envy those everlasting things. That old man's story... It's so tragic. Fortunately, this sweet dream gives him joyful memories to hold on to for the rest of his life. That's precisely why this sweet dream in Penacony exists. I'm not liking Sunday's tone of voice. However, I don't know if I'm reading too much into it. But... This sweet dream has its limitations. While it provides solace to the disillusioned, it can't completely eliminate pain in reality. There will be a way out. Panacone is already on the right track. Hmm. Guys, give me one minute. I'm gonna go take a little pause to stretch because we've been sitting for like four hours. So I'm gonna take a little pause and stretch and everything. Yada di da da da. So I'll be right back.
And I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I am... I have returned. Let me... Boop. And we boop, and we keep on. Oh, we're gonna encounter our double. I fuck. Sorry, Robin! <laughs> Look what we have here. A lovely young lady. Wait. Is that... me? Uh, depends on who you want to ask. Brother, what a surprise to see you again. I brought some crackers, so... Yourself. Your trick won't work on us. So if you hear munching on the side, it's me. I received an invitation, too. That must be you, right? Did you... Enjoy yourself? Barely. The people here are way too gullible. A little bait is all it takes for them to bite. And they run away at the slightest hint of danger. In other words, they're naive and cowardly. Now that you've had your fill, it'd be wise to leave before it's too late. The music of the Harmony doesn't tolerate discord. What? Now that you have the real Robin, I'm useless? Oh, how disheartening. I've done so much for the family. Yeah, right. You should be thanking me. Because if it weren't for me cleaning up this mess, Penacone would still be in shambles. Don't you think? That was a personal request from the head of the Iris family. And it has nothing to do with us. Step aside. And stopped causing trouble for the Charmony Festival. The Charmony Festival? <laughs> you think you can scare me? You think I've no idea what you're planning? I don't care what you're thinking, Chicken Wing Boy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure Hooters guy won't be appearing on stage. After all. You're well aware of what a sorry state this dreamscape is in under the banner of Harmony. Hanakoni, the land of the dreams. Is this truly the paradise you desire? Stop it. <laughs> What's the rush, chicken wing boy? Did I get to you? I need my friend who is this height. To get into Honkai Star Rail. So she can cosplay Sparkle. And I can cosplay Sunday. And we can look cool. That's it. That's the statement. We can continue with Our the story. Our paradise is none of your concern, Masked Fool. Leave now. Or the family won't tolerate you anymore. Alright. Alright. I'll go. But Robin. I suggest you seriously consider this. Do you really believe those living in dreams can escape pain and find true happiness? Ugh. Well, I've done my part. And now I'm simply waiting for the fireworks to begin. Here, the last two gifts for both of you. And don't lose them. If by some unfortunate chance the Charmony Festival starts against all odds, remember to use them during the show. And it'll be thrilling. Bang! I heard a raven cawing in the distance. It seems the Dream Master will arrive soon. Let's -a go! Meeting with old people! Woohoo! So exciting! Let's wait here for the Dream Master to arrive. Okay. By the way, brother, I heard you no longer have a sweet tooth. Back when we were kids, you used to steal my desserts. Seems like a lot has changed during my absence. What exactly happened? Well, someone has to stay awake even in this sweet dream. But that someone... You got brainwashed! Or anyone in particular. You're carrying too much on your shoulders, brother. 
the, the miles was on the way. I'm sorry. Dreams. It shouldn't be like this. Hanakoni is nothing more than a dream. It can't erase the worries and pain of reality or bring true happiness. It only offers an escape from reality. Nothing more. Remember the old man we met earlier? Without this dream, he might have completely lost himself. That might be true, but even without Panacone, he could have chosen another path. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, the Intelligentsia Guild has been promoting their rehabilitation techniques for a long time now. That path may have been more ordinary and challenging, but now he is receiving hospice care in a comatose state, and his fate is sealed. Is Panacone granting these people a future, or is it taking it away from them? I am with Robin on this Don't one. Don't forget this. Not everyone really has a future. Ouch, future Sunday. The is like the sky for birds. People mistakenly believe that flight is inherent to birds because they've never witnessed those birds crashing to their death. I knew it. Do you it. remember how we took in that little charmony dove when we were young? Yeah, we took care of it. Provided food and water, groomed its feathers. And later, when I decided to leave Panacone, I opened the cage and set it free. Well, I... I didn't mention what happened to it in my letters, because I didn't want to upset you. Oh, how convenient. After you left, it crashed to its death right in front of your window. Oh, come on. That can happen to any bird. That has happened, like... Once, I was woken up. I was, yeah, I was woken up because in my window, a hummingbird zoomed so fast it clashed against my window and it was like a thong and I was like what the fuck and the hummingbird was like not dead but dude was like regaining its senses but it started flying not long after I couldn't even catch it bro just like bounced back literally I had surmised as much. I knew you wouldn't have avoided mentioning the bird for no reason. Despite that unfortunate outcome, I still believe it was the right decision. Birds aren't meant to spend their lives in cages. They belong in the sky, even if they can't fly. Do you agree, Kat? You said meow. My cat agrees with Robin. But here's the thing. If there are birds in this world that can never fly, can we really assert that they belong in the sky? Sunday. You're getting way too... <clears throat> I don't know how to explain it. Uh, your, your argument is going away like, Oh yeah, birds belong in the sky. Does that mean penguins should fly? Like, my guy... Yeah, it's not like... Your... Your argument is going round and round and round. Like, overall, in this conversation, the one that seems to be making a little bit more sense is your sister than you. And I understand your point, but you're going nowhere with it. Are you implying that the same goes for humans too? Bro, he's been doing that since the beginning of time. Your brother was raised Let's to be take the Astral not Express nice. as an example. The Nameless made tremendous efforts to bridge worlds, gaining fame across the universe. However, only a few extraordinary individuals can endure such a perilous journey. That's because the pursuit of the Trailblaze exceeds the capabilities of ordinary humans. Otherwise, why would this path be filled with broken rails 
an abandoned express, and even a fallen eon. Hey. Don't use me for your generalizations, Hooters guy. That's just sophistry. If that were true, then only the powerful would have the right to determine the future. That's how he was raised, Robin. I hate to break it to you. Mm hmm. Sophistry means fallacious, a fallacious argument. But like fallacy. Hmm, that's good to know. I'm learning a lot with this game. Unfortunately, that's exactly what happens. Another name for the future is self value. Sunday, I am so sorry you were taught these things. While this world has its fair share of heroes who inspire people and garner admiration for their heroic deeds, the majority of ordinary people will never become heroes in their lifetime. I mean, yeah, that's true, but... Mm. Some are born weak and vulnerable. Some find themselves trapped in unfortunate circumstances. Some fall victim to malice and cowardice. When it comes to survival, everyone is equal. And the weak can only watch as their value gets constantly diminished by external forces. My god, you're contradicting yourself. Well, no, you're not. You've been saying this since the beginning. But, like... You... You're contradicting from what you said to your sister a while ago. That's why we should care for the weak and support them as if their suffering were our own. That's what the Odes of Harmony have always taught us. While the Harmony holds noble aspirations, the strong will always be strong, and the weak will always be weak. Even in this carefree dream, Human nature contains greatness, but it also harbors inherent weaknesses that can't be eradicated. In the end, if people can't even secure their own survival, they won't care about the illusory future of equality. As long as the law of survival of the fittest prevails, there will always be fledglings crashing to their death. the future do they merely exist for survival if even you my brother don't believe that the harmony will save the weak then which eon can make our dreams come true not none of them i think And forget that when the first bird took flight the entire world envisioned a future where No more fledglings would ever crash to their death. This guy is going a lot to the extremes, like... 
Are you reading, sister? What are you reading? Mr. Gopher Wood gave me a picture book. It's about the story of the harmonic strings. If I could become a chord master, I'd like to summon... Dominicus, the harmonious choir. I want to sing with everyone and spread our wishes so that all can feel happiness and joy. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Then, I would summon the harmonious choir too. Don't you have a wish of your own, brother? Of course I do. It's just that it includes your wish and everyone else's. I long for a true paradise where everyone can find peace. Then, let's build a stage there and invite everyone to our performance so that both our wishes come true through the power of the harmonious choir. It's a deal, then. Yeah, it's a deal. But how can I become a chord master? Hmm. Maybe you will have to become a star first. That is so sad. They were... Ah! Their lives were so manufactured. I feel for I them. Any results? Yes. And now, it's up to us to forge ahead. <laughs> Since he's already carried out his last wish, my final mission is complete. But pardon me if I sound curt. It's good to have determination. The path Mikhail left for you is not an easy one to tread. Why else would he have chosen to sleep in solitude, staking everything on some nameless in the future? But you have the numbers. Bro had one and hope. In numbers comes strength. So that might just delay your inevitable a little more. Oh God, any more encouraging words? <laughs> As I see it. Relying on Welt's negotiations alone is far from enough. Yeah. Regardless of whether the other party will be compliant, negotiating simply allows us to meet them as equals and won't grant us an upper hand. Correct. Panacone is our rival's home turf, and we already have very few chips left to play with. Rather than idly sit around while the families got us blocked off, an offensive approach might be a wiser course of action. We're more Will familiar we see wealth with in action? properties than Finally? Not. And since it's the key to stabilizing the sweet dream, it's vital to the family's interests. By attacking their core interests, they're bound to retaliate hastily. And as the saying goes, haste makes waste. That's right. As long as we pose a threat to the Stellaron, Either with words or otherwise, we have a chance at gaining the upper hand. But the problem is, on the eve of the Charmony Festival opening, how exactly are we going to get close to the theater? Family security will be airtight, and if we brute force it? Even if we succeed, it's too risky. Hmm. With no risks, no gain. So, no one's gonna say anything? Then I'll raise my hand. I know the answer to this question. No risks, no gain. <sighs> the express crew would have been disbanded long ago if it weren't for me. <laughs> So I love her. I heard that before the Charmony Festival begins, there will be a pageant to kick off the festival. It's called the Soul Glad TM Festivity Auditions, or something. TM Festivity Auditions, crying. Band. As long as we clinch the top spot, we'll be able to attain the title of Festive Superstar and be able to personally bask in the graces of Miss Robin. Uh, not that that's important. <laughs> What's crucial is that we can <laughs> enter the Grand Theater before the audience arrives. Smart girl. So, 
how do we go about participating in these festivity auditions? <laughs> I've already procured special invite tickets from Miss Robin's fan club. Smart uh, to girl. Tell you the truth, you think I she been thinks I had to join the auditions all along. But now it looks like even if I scrape through, I probably still won't have the chance to shake Miss Robin's hand. So they're still running this thing, huh? It was originally just a publicity stunt set up by Mikhail to drum up attention. But it looks like it might be worth a shot. We'll follow Marge's plan. Mr. Gallagher, will you be joining us? <laughs> I'm afraid I won't have the time. As a virtual character, I've already completed my final mission. Whether Penacone can awaken from this dream is all down to you. Should we ever cross paths again? I'd love for you to visit the Express. All right. The way he said I'll it, I to think to he's going to yours, never cross paths with Express. us again, Himeko. Miss Firefly. I don't we want that to happen. Support. We're faced with a formidable enemy. As long as the Astral Express and Stellaron Hunter's objectives are aligned, we're willing to cooperate with you. We've already come this far together. I'd like to join you for the rest of your journey on Penacone. I'm pleased that we can finally fight shoulder to shoulder. I couldn't ask for a better ending. This is also the spirit of the Trailblaze. Now, everyone, let's prepare to move out. Okay, people. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Scorch Sand Hall. This is where challengers thrive and dream chasers shine, all under the watchful eye of the entire universe. Here's the plan, because... By the sounds of it, we're gonna be fighting something. I don't know what, but we're gonna be fighting something. So, we're gonna try the fight one time. If we get our asses kicked, we're leaving the stream. <laughs> if we don't get our asses kicked, we'll see where this ends. What in the Club Penguin is this? Don't lose focus, March. The way the broadcast is like the way the broadcaster is doing some of the intonation, it's making me think of sample. Yes, he is. Yes, you. There's no doubt about it. I see you have all the potential of a superstar in you. Excuse me, you four. What are you hoping to get out of all this? Early access, I guess. As the last group of contestants, how confident are you in overcoming all of the challenges? Um. Out of spite? Would you be open to a brief exclusive interview with us? It'll be quick. No, sorry, we don't have time. Your journey is long and fraught with peril, yet under a sky blanketed by banners, you vie for the crown. The sword and rose! Protect the beauty! Guns and roses? <laughs> beauty! Magnificent and majestic! A knight's head is hard as steel. Brotherland's focus is stubborn as a heel. We don't all have to be winners, but if we don't have fun, <laughs> we'd all be sinners. Badum. People are pouring in. It kind of feels like all sorts of baddies are showing up. Let's get in there quickly and enter the competition. Ladies and gentlemen, please make way. Make way. Who? Huh? Oh my 
my god, not this guy. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm the director of Soul Glad's factory, Idean Lida. My four friends, introduce yourselves to the audience across the cosmos. Okay. Mm, hello, everybody. I'm Himiko, a nameless from the Astral Express. And these are my companions. And the crowd goes wild. Himeko, 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 Himeko. Ahem. Don't you guys need to hide your identities? Oh, wait, where are we supposed to? Whoopsies. I can't hide it anyways. Pentaconi is plastered with our posters. And because the Astral Express is so well known, the family won't dare to make any rash moves. Say it louder, March. I think the people in the back couldn't hear you. <laughs> hello, everyone. I'm hello, everyone. It would be funny if there would be, like, an option that says, hello, world. Just that. Or is that too niche? No ordinary girl says that. Hello, everyone. I'm Firefly. Mm, I am also an ordinary girl who enjoys adventures. No ordinary girl says that. So it's a bunch of nameless guests. This final face-off is bound to be spectacular. Time is precious. My four friends, come with me. Sure. Grab a bottle of so glad. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, chest. Gimme. I see a chest. I must grab the chest. This could serve you well. This place is buzzing. That's right. It this sure is. It's a miniature representation of that time known as the era filled with boundless possibilities. The, the the screen's doing that is like scaring me. It's like, ah, I'm gonna get hit in the head. Let's see what these are about. Finally, I can message. Were you banned of messaging? Are you okay? Are you with us still? Had to restart my phone. Oh my god, is your phone okay? I hope it is. Okay. There we go. I wonder if I can pull. <gasps> yes, I can! Let's do a 10 pull, guys. Before the battle. It's nothing important. Hi, Sampo. See? Told you guys. Nothing important. Oh, sorry, bird. It is holding for dear life, but it's done when I say it's done. Good. That thing won't expire until you say it expires. Right. Sample. 
Everyone has a colorful past, wouldn't you say? Sure, sample. Whatever you say, buddy. Left the safe zone. Can I find some more chests? Grab a bottle of Soul Glad. Nameless, your arrival reminds me of the grand occasion when Penacony was first established. Mm. I was still a young, bright-eyed lad back then, lured here by the watchmaker's ads, full of zeal and ready to make my first fortune in life. Sure. Once, during a particularly grueling day, I passed out and was resuscitated by a drink from Mr. Sousa. That sweet taste has since been etched in my mind, and that was what drove me to create the soul glad that we all know and love today. Love the sales pitch, but I need to win this the thing. The dream chasing era was truly a wondrous time. Oh, I miss those days and the watchmaker. Scorch Sand Hall is my homage to that time of boundless possibilities. Sure. I wholeheartedly hope you make it to the finish and emerge as the next superstars of Penacony. Now then, is there anything you'd like to say before the competition officially begins? Sure. Nat, win win. <laughs> Rest assured we're gonna take an we're gonna take an L in this. I can feel it. Oh my god, Nat would win. That's the trailblazing <laughs> spirit. No. How about you, Miss March? Hello, everyone. Next up, get ready for the Mega March 7th adventure, where I'm going to break the speed run world record. Uh, sure, you're gonna do that. Trailblazing into the uncharted and challenging the limits. That's Miss. I hope that by the end of this journey, I love Firefly so much. Everyone. Beach will have achieved the outcome that they hoped for. Ah, a wonder- Safety first, everyone. Of course she's the mom. Look at her, so pretty. I love her. She's so beautiful. I miss her so much. <laughs> Please don't die. <laughs> Simple words, but full of warmth. Waiting for you are three stages, each connected to that era. The first two stages offer two distinct- And in the last stage, you will face off against a champion who has defended the title to this very day. Those okay. are the rules. Simple. Everyone clear? Let me reread them one more time. Okay, whatever your three stages, each connected to the air. First two stages offer two distinct paths to choose from. Okay. We got it. Everyone, as the Charmony Festival is drawing closer. We must reach the end as quickly as possible. Factoring in if it March and I haven't known Miss Firefly for too long and aren't overly familiar with her. Yes, Firefly! The two of you paired up. Love her. Fine by me. Let's do it. All right. I don't have a problem with that. I hold up, has any of you haven't even bothered to ask me for my consent to this? <laughs> Enough chit chat, let's do this. We'll split into the assigned groups then. Let's not waste time. Let's look for chests first. There we go. <laughs> I got an achievement. Boss Red. Okay. It's like pinball. Welcome to the first stage of Soul Glad Enterprises 33rd Scorch Sand Festival of the 20th season. Dream Play Fantasia. In the School of Acting Challenge, you have to complete three performances from three scripts and move. Now, make your... School of Acting. I would go for School of Acting. Oh, what is this?
Let's put it here. You have a new sticker. Let's put it here. You have a new sticker. Apparently not. Apparently not. No new stickers. And these are new stickers. Let's put that one there. This one over here. This one here. This one... Let's put it here. And that one here. Because it's creepy. And the text ones, I just drop them anywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. I thought I could choose. I thought I could choose. Challenge acting challenge. Okay, I can choose. A stage of dreams for those wow. who dare to dream. Welcome to the school of acting stage. Okay. Step onto the stage and move. Step onto the stage and what? Sorry. I keep doing that. Competitors, allow me to introduce the rules of this challenge to you. Okay. There are three stages up ahead. On each, you will find an outline of a script. These three scripts, your task is to bring those moments to life. Find the right words and act convincingly. Also, a bit of trivia. The record score for this stage is held by a participant with fiery red hair. His exceptional performance brought even Oh no, Argenti. <laughs> it's like he wasn't even acting at all. <laughs> Fuck. Argenti is here. Oh god. I don't want to fight him. <laughs> I don't want to fight him. Argenti is very tough to fight. How do I get up here? I want to get up there. How do I get up there? Do I have to pass the challenge first before going up there? Oh, just take a look at this pair. Such star quality. You two. Are you ready? I hope so. Envision that you both. Driven by the spirit of exploration, are arriving at the land of dreams that is Panacone for the first time. Yes. But instead of lush lands, you find yourselves amidst swirling sands and desolation, far from the paradise the watchmaker described. <gasps> You're driving an old clunker through the wilderness of the dreamscape. Braving the cold wind, choking on the dust, and suddenly a fierce memory zone meme blocks your path. Now, Mr. Greyhair, 
Mr. Gray here. Would you deliver to express your disappointment in Fenacone? Oh god. What in tarnation is this hellhole? The watchmaker is a big fat liar. Very good. Now, Oof. though you're disappointed, your screen partner is conversely very enthusiastic. Now, young lady, you will say... This, this is great! I love living on the... Wild side! Let's go, Firefly, let's go! Very good! Very intense! And then, we cut to the story's next scene. You find a job mending the rails. Okay. But the days are long, and your endurance can't keep up. This Suddenly, sweet, sweet rain's falling from the sky, wetting your lips and rousing your spirits. Mr. Greyhair. Wow, we Penacone, my Penacone, you truly abound with opportunities. Please be but good. At this moment, your partner yet gazes into the sky. Both. Uh, we were never meant to succeed. Right? I don't know. Fantastic! Oh my god. You have an incredibly solid up next. You'll be challenged with a body language test. Oh god, I'm sweating. I hope these tests won't take too long. I I could have chosen the fighting one. I should have chosen the fighting one. Oh, that's how you go up there. I should have chosen the fighting one. Well, no, because that would meant fighting Argenti. And I don't want to fight Argenti. At all. Not again, ever, in my life. <laughs> ever again. I don't want to. I, I don't want to. Uh, that, that's a one-time experience that I don't want to repeat. Here, you two are required to skillfully utilize bot picking up from where okay. we left off. A They're speaking way too lo slow. Both, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm excited. This rain quenches the anger in your heart. You look to your companion, now completely devoid of fight at this moment. What should you do? Tell a dad joke. <laughs> I'm gonna pick that one. I don't care if it's the right choice or not. But I'm gonna tell a dad joke. The test now is about body language. I don't think dialogue is allowed here. Fuck, you're right. Damn it. To make her laugh, then I'll roll in the sand. Uh, what? <laughs> right answer. Your companion sees you rolling about in the sand. Oh my god. And thinks about the arduous obstacles along this journey. She can't help but let loose. I'm gonna uh, tug at the heartstrings. The circle to develop the heavy rain. Let's suppose the sense and bruise opportunities. You start venturing into the umbrella of industry. Business opportunity. So you start venturing into the umbrella industry. Huh. Just this is the, the business begin to pick up. Competitors stuff floating the market with low prices. Good question, your mind. It's you have no choice. Good to stock pilot. High prices have to be sold at a loss. This is a pretty self-destructive move. This is a pretty business to the brink of bankruptcy at this moment. What would you do? Decide. At this moment. Stand up and smack the table. Let's go. Let's be gamers. I think you'll back down. Impossible. Dream chasers can be knocked down, but never knocked out. Fantastic. It's a pity but your friend does not agree. Your Seeing you do up your eyeballs in debt. She Seeing sees nothing but the spirit of the future. And then. I leave Penacone in utter disappointment. <laughs> the way she says it. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Absolutely. I was this close to tears. Oh my god. If you possess exceptional acting talent. Is this how the directors of La Rosa de Guadalupe feel every time bad acting comes in front of them? However, the true test is yet to come. We want to consider the harshest rules. So as there's a unique line of perfect performance if you want to win them over. <laughs> Not Argenti. Fuck. No, that doesn't look like Argenti. Luckily. What are those? 
What are those? Oh, they're like pinball. No, they're like the, the candy machines. Oh, interesting. Let's go get the... Oh, I cannot get the chest. Is there a chest in here? From this side. <laughs> there we go. And let's go. Welcome to the final stage. Actually, all two companions arrive on Panacone with nothing but a side to achievement is met with continuous setbacks. Ultimately, they one continues on despite spiraling into depth while the other concedes defeats and leaves. Their paths cross one more in the thrive of Panacone, yet they resolve to acknowledge each other because... Fuck. Against the backdrop of a revitalized Panacone, the joy of reunion mixes with the sorrow of past. Give it a shot. Try and convey this bittersweet scene to me. Against the backdrop of a revitalized Panacone, the joy of reunion mix mixes with the sorrow of past separation, the awkwardness of being strangers, and the shyness of a long awaited encounter, all converging in this very moment. Bring. <sighs> I will have to try the clockwork. Oh Your god. Performance is god. Huh? Wait, it's so so touching. Oh my You're god. Beautiful. I think I did it right. Pass the test. We ought to hurry up. Stellaron is at stake. I know the Stellarin is at stake, but holy shit. I did it at the first try. <laughs> Six of 32. How many of these are there? Congrats to both of you for clearing the stage, but... Are you having fun? Yeah, but I need to... That red hair contestant. You'll find out but it's Argenti. But you have the option to choose gunfire and undergo Brother Hanu's trial, or time where you'll face Clucky's trial. And now, make you... Clucky or Brother Hanu? I think I am more familiar. <sighs> Can I skip this cutscene? I cannot. Oh gosh. Let's do Clucky. <sighs> Let's go with Clucky. Dear friends, Welcome to the wonderful World Creek. It's said that the watchmaker dreamed up the idea of Clocky when he was just a boy. Back then, he was merely an apprentice in a clock shop. And one, like a skilled pilot, he steered them towards the right path. As a classic figure who grew up with many, Clocky contestants, may you have a... The trial of time. <laughs> Me too. Whoopsie, whoopsie, fuck. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake, my big ass mistake. What are those thingies? Together as one. Mind your it's matters. fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything is fine. Why am I getting not... Why am I not getting any turns? Because I got ambushed. Right.
I see through you. <laughs> Make you happy? Make you happy? Destiny is apparent. Ill tidings manifest. No, no. Heaven, sir. <laughs> and murder you guys. Oh shit, I thought it was done. No matter. Awaken, dormants. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> All things in this human creations. Hm. Yin and Yang. Hm. Memories of beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. Jackpot. I don't know what I got, but I Destiny got something. Ill fate descends. Heaven, sir. Let's Christ. hope this kills the battle. Nice. Oh, it's a gacha. Not like a, not not like the um, gumball things. It's a gacha. Probably. That statue. Did it just speak? Yep. I'm gonna leave all the clockies that need fixing. And I'm just gonna focus on getting chests. Okay, no, I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> Twisted thingy. No, this is... Okay, let's see which one is the same... Closest chest I can get. Bingo. Without wandering around. I'm pretty sure there's a bunch of other chests around, but I don't have the time to do this, so... Let's see what's the... Ooh, I made it produce jackpot. Am I just a building? So I'm just an expendable thing. Play? So I'm not just a failed clock. I'm also a failed toy. Oh no. You guys are just like the other challengers. You want to enter my inner self? Then oh, come on. See? I'm just empty inside. It's okay, my guy. Tick tock. It's time for me to make an appearance. My. The plot thickens. Clocky? Uh, I can also see him. Is this character part of the show? In Dreamville, Clocky is everywhere and can do anything. Like right now, I could solve this problem with your big ticker pound, Tick Tock. I can't believe it's actually Clocky. Why would you come and visit a failure of a clock like me for no reason? Because we need you to save Penacone. We're all clocks. We're family. I want to help you be happy. Tell your pal Clocky what's troubling you. I, I came across a startling revelation yesterday. Apparently, Dreamscape Ticker, please. Just leave me be, Clocky. I... Oh dear. Seeing it like this is uh, utterly heart wrenching. <laughs> oh my God! But can we do clockwork on this clock? We're here to help it rediscover the missing parts. Of... We're gonna do clockwork on this work, aren't we? <laughs> Don't worry, Miss. I've already pinpointed. Over here, my friend. Oh my God! Better use that hamster ball night speed. Asking Mickey Mouse to save the world. Oh, we're gonna... Okay. 
Oh, we're gonna need to explore. Okay, 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 gotcha. This must be one of the missing parts that Big Ticker needs. That's we're here. There's a missing part on the opposite side. But how do we get over there? Don't worry, I know how to. Also, a dream I left here by a dream weaver. We're running out of time. We'll I have know to use we it are. I know we're running out of time, Firefly. I'm trying to do this as fast as I can. I am dumb. There we go. Let's just drop this. Grab this. There we go. I think. No. Oh. There we go. Nice. Okay, okay, okay. Please tell me one of the... Not here. Wait, I, I need to know if I explored everything in the other in the other place. I probably did, right? Yeah, I probably did, but still. Better to be safe than sorry. Do I have to fight? Oh, dear. He's that a roasted bird. Fuck. I swear to God. Our fortune oh, this was such a mistake. Converge and awaken. I am so dumb. Ill fate descends. I did a mistake again. Lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Time to show you what what's in your, your prescription. Reciprocity. Sent a storm. Excellent. <laughs> it's, fine, it's, fine, it's, fine, it's fine. 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 It is 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 fine. All things in this world. It is fine. Creations. It is not fine. 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 Heaven search. Rise. Oh God. Why is this guy not dying? Good. Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Beneath the die, water die, die, lies die, die, an die, endless die, die, abyss. Die, 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 die. Ah! Come on, die already. The strength. Heaven, sir. Break. Yay! We did it! Thank you guys! Sweet! I feel I'm about 70% cups, sweet! Thank goodness you're okay! But why did you 
borrow your sneakers. Because that fella stole one of Mr. Big Tiffin's pots. Oh. An inner self fragment belonging to the Sweet Dreams troop? <laughs> this is just too surreal. Yeah, I am just used to those birds being like, quick, quick. Since when do they talk? I am so confused. Oh my god. Anyways, moving on. I knew I was missing out on something. Next. Now we move on to the next part. Go here. And we rotate this. There we go. Nice and twisted. And we come here. And we deactivate this. Nice and steady. No, uh. No, uh. No, uh. Water heats the clouds. There we go. Kingdom Hearts be like. <gasps> I've never played Kingdom Hearts, and I don't think I'll ever play it. World cleansing dragon. But I suppose that was a funny reference. Oh, asking Mickey Mouse to save the world. Kingdom Hearts be like, oh, I understand now. Together as one. I understand. <laughs> Ill fate descends. The times are changed. Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. Okay. We came together. <laughs> Let's make this guy happy. What do you want to know? Let's make it happy again. And let's kill it. Fuck. A quick divination. Need a doctor? Destiny isn't chosen. Ill fate descends. Almost. <laughs> Awaken dormant scales. World cleansing dragon. <laughs> I'm too focused. Nice. Beautiful. The consequences are mine to bear. What is this clocky statue? Can I interact with this clocky statue? No, I cannot. There is the other piece. We've gathered all the missing parts. Let's hurry back. We don't want to keep Big Ticker waiting. Let's make this little puzzle first. This has gotta be quick. Easy peasy. I wonder if I can go back from all the way here. Yes, I can! Oh, I'm so smart. Doing that puzzle was amazing. It was the best thing I could I could have done.
Let's go. Nice. Well done, Whiskereki. Well done. <sighs> Fuck! I didn't want it to hit that guy. Memories are beneath the water. I didn't want it to hit that guy. That was a mistake. Quick divination. Together as one. That was an ETBT mistake on my side. Let me tend your wounds. <laughs> what do you want to know? Uh. Heaven search. <laughs> Rise. That was an itty bit mistake on my side. <laughs> Need a doctor? Hey, yeah. Destiny isn't true. Ill fate descends. I sense a storm. <laughs> Awaken the world. Who cares? Let's unleash the <laughs> ultimate on this guy. <laughs> Poor guy. Consequences are mine to bear. Okay, we've got it. So now let's go back to you. We're back. Whoa, it's working. Beautiful. Now. Easy. There we go. Oh dear. What's going on in here? That's my brain. Clucky! I'm not qualified to be the real No! This is Success! <laughs> okay. Easy peasy. I love doing those. They make me feel so smart. If not for you, I'd never be able to connect with people. No problem at all. My friend, go forth, my friend. It's all done. Victory's in sight. Let's head to the final stage. Oh, the jigsaw puzzle at the side. I understand now. I get it. I get it. I get it now. I get it. I was so dumb. I was not reading properly. I thought they were referring to the puzzle as in like... The puzzle of solving... The clocky thing. Nah. It was this jigsaw. I forgot that these things are called jigsaw puzzles. There we go. Normal bird. It says yum yum yum. Nice. We solved it. Let's go. Last stage, I suppose. Congratulations to both of you. Oh, you've overcome all obstacles and proven yourselves. 
But, uh, unfortunately, there is only one who can be Penacone's festive superstar. And it's gonna be me. In the final stage, you will face the defending champion. If you fail, you will lose the opportunity to become the festive superstar. Welcome to the 33rd Scorch Sand Festival's third stage in the 20th season, sponsored by Soul Glad Enterprises. The what now Super in the what Star season in the Showdown. what time? Holy. That was a lot of words, my guy. Let's go. I don't think we have a choice here. Of to fight our gently we go. Is there a difference? I knew it was gonna be Argenti. No way. I, I think I just saw someone. Someone extraordinary. It's Argenti. <sighs> Where are his voice lines? Wait, don't you remember us? The mini rabbit mech pilots, Trey Cat Duelist, Galactic Ninja, and Quad Drive Intelligent, along with 32 other souls in distress, all emerge from their predicament safe and sound. I then led them all here to revel in the harmony with the countless other friendly beings. I'm busy saving the world, could you please make way? What a righteous act of beauty, if that's the case. The rules of the contest are sacred and inviolable, just like the beauty. I'm begging you, all I speak is the truth. Please, please, I don't want to fight you. Please, 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 please. No! 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 Argenti, keep it in your pants. I'm not going to fight you. I am not. No. Fue puta! Bear witness to mind your manners. No. <laughs> I am not fighting. No way. I I think I just saw someone. Someone I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting. I'm not fighting you. Are you? I am not fighting you. I am in no ways fighting you. We need to seal the stellar and That's right. This magnificent to encounter deeds so vile, this dear one's very soul. However, present-day Penacone bears no marks of the stellar and taint, and the family has always been renowned for spreading harmony. How can I be sure your words hold truth? I'm gonna tell him the truth, if because I don't wanna one, fight him. The knights of beauty also receive... Actually... Uh... 
Okay. I don't want to fight him. So if there is a is if there is a dialogue choice where I cannot where I don't have to fight him, I will find it. I don't care. I will find it. Fuck yeah, I found it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I avoided fighting Argenti. Thank you, Knight of Beauty. Why didn't he have In any... That case, let's make our way to the end. Panacone's really thronging with talent. Thank you. I hope we make it in time. Thank you, Argenti. Thank you for not fighting me. Love you, dearest. Bye-bye. We won! Let's go! We won! Let's go! To the Galactic Baseballer, I'm crying! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hold your applause. Hold the applause. Oh, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, please. Congratulations to the both of you on becoming the festive superstars of this year's Charmony Festival. Before entering the Grand Theater, I, on behalf of the organizers, extend my sincere congratulations to you, wishing you joy under their radiance. You sound way too evil right now. Only get our sincere congratulations. Where are my stellar jades? Yo, literally me. What are you doing here? I knew As it. As previously promised, my sister, Mr. Yang, and I. What have, have you done to my father? Master. We delved into the truth about Penacony and its Stellaron, and have come to a consensus. What have you done to my father? Both I and the Oak family cannot acquiesce to your request. I knew it! <sighs> Just as expected. We acknowledge the perspective of you, Nameless. Penacone does require change, but not as you propose. The planet of festivities cannot and will not revert to a place characterized by chaos, disorder, or anarchy. Oh, you little control freak. Through your journey of overcoming obstacles, you must have glimpsed the essence of that era. The vulnerable ruthlessly eliminated. Equality non-existent. Common folk living precarious lives eking out a dreary existence. Ultimately, only heroes like yourselves manage to achieve success. But I would dare ask, if you did not possess mm. the special status of having a Stellaron, Is and this you were but an anonymous and frail member among the masses, which Penacone would you prefer? Neither. I wouldn't come here. A dystopia for the survival of the fittest, or a sweet dream paradise for all. But your sweet dream paradise is still a dystopia.
Like, why are you asking me of all people? That's not the point. Don't let him mislead you. I'm not being misled, March. Mr. Sunday, even if the members of the Oak family can't fully agree on what to do about the Stellaron, now's not exactly the time to be holding an extensive discourse about Peniconi's past His and future, hostility can be sensed through the screen. <laughs> The Stellaron issue concerns the life and death of everyone on Peniconi. If anyone has a better suggestion, the crew is more than willing to listen. Also, it'd be best to tell us the ins and outs of that meeting. Also, where is Welt? This way, we'll at least know what Welt and Miss Robin are dealing with, and the reason why they failed to make our appointment. Ah, Navigator. That is precisely my intention. Is it though? With all present, let's begin by discussing the details of that meeting. Oh no. Let's talk about our tribulations and choices, our ideals and beliefs. I don't like his tone. And our final course of action. The only path to take. What did you do to Weld and your sister? What is going on? You mean to say that for the longest time there have been scoundrels who would use the Charmody Festival that I have bequeathed to the masses as a tool to realize their ambition? Mm. Indeed, Dream Master. Once the Charmony Festival begins, the Stellaron's powers, along with the song, will be broadcast across the entire planet of Peniconi. And then everyone in their dreams will be unable to awaken. Hmm. This, this is, is indeed surprising to me. The dreamscape is maintained by the collective effort of the five families. If someone were to use the Charmony Festival to recklessly disseminate the power of the Stellaron, this individual must hold the position of great authority. It's either the Dream Master or fucking Sunday. Do you have any suspects? Hee <laughs> hee. I'd you? like to ask, did you really not know of the Stellaron's existence? Hmm. I would have never thought that this nameless would point <gasps> Why the Why did you say it like a slur? Quite astonishing indeed. If I have offended, the Astral Express extends its sincere apologies. But the current circumstances are dire and leave no room for meticulous inquiry. We're doing this out of concern for the Dreamscape's safety. So, if you could, please alleviate our concerns. Oh my god, Wilt is trying Dream his Master. best. It's just to prove that the Charmony Festival has nothing to do with the Stellaron. If we're being overly cautious, I will return to the stage to offer tribute in song, just per the arrangement. <sighs> Sunday, Robin. I've watched you two grow up and know your dispositions like the back of my hand. Both of you, right now, can surely be lauded as their most devout advocates. I already know your resolve. I have the feeling Sunday was brainwashed or of some sort. Like, not brainwashed per se, but like... It cannot be taken lightly, since Mr. Yang has asked with such earnestness, I will personally respond in kind. If there is a need, the entire Oak family will be mobilized to heed your call. Like, not brainwashed, like, brainwashed, but like, forced, like, caught into a way of thinking, if you guys know what I mean. Someday, might I ask you to beseech them to cast their light unto me and question me in their stead? So that no lies may be concealed. Oh, that's a trick. Oh, no. I will do as you command. Robin, could I entrust you to be present as a witness? 
to die. I will do as you command. May thy will be carried out on earth, just as it is in the heavens. Oh no. Oh, triple faced soul. Please sear his tongue They're gonna and cast it on with wilt. a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. They're gonna put it on wilt. Let us begin. There is nothing else to prepare. Understood. Question. Have you devoted your life to your god, never worshipping other gods? What is this? Catholicism? Naturally. Do you love your god as you do yourself? Always heeding their admonishments? Naturally. Have you strayed from the path expected by your god, betraying their name? Wow. Never. Have you ever been inordinate with your asks of your god, coveting more than the foundation of the creation itself? Wow. Never. Then, a final question. Do you swear to fulfill all vows, past, present, and future? With the Eon as my witness, if I do not deliver on my words, or if I renege on my vows, may I be cursed in accordance with divine law. They have seen your faith, and have endorsed your faith. With this, it can be evidenced... Just a moment. Well, what are you gonna say? What is it, Mr. Yang? Oh my god, Sunday is annoyed. I have another question I hope to have answered. Taking advantage of the situation right now. To my understanding, the family's harmony and prosperity have never relied on so-called divine laws. The mm -hmm. god you both mentioned, are they truly Shipe? Mm hmm Mr. Yang should know that those belonging to the family toil together as if they were kin, embracing solidarity and unity under their light. All duplicity is laid bare before the harmony. Is it now? Such a delicate and complex symphony. Which other god could perfectly harmonize this if not for the great one? I have a feeling there might be another god who could pull this off Perfectly as well. harmonize. Therein lies the problem. It isn't an outsider lurking in the shadows who changed the harmony, but a dissonance that has surreptitiously emerged from within this very symphony itself. In the distant past, there existed an eon. With one flick of the wrist, they crafted the laws of the cosmos. Their followers formed the Beyond the Sky Choir, spreading solemn and reverent hymns throughout the universe. Later, they fell. The route traversed by this eon clashed with the harmony, ultimately being absorbed and fused into it. The chorus that once reverberated across worlds, fell silent, and when it echoed anew, it was transformed into the Hymn of Harmony. Hmm. Though an eon may perish, paths with no masters still linger. In the all-forgiving harmony, echoes of bygone dissonance may subtly arise. Hmm. Exactly, path with no master still linger. Look like the trailblazers. Mr. Yang. Being overly astute can be a detriment. Especially when you find yourself alone and without allies. Fuck, what did they do to my father? Hmm. So this is how it is. I mean, he can perfectly take you all three on a fight. Like, come on, that this man has been through hell and back. I believe in him. But what have you done to him? 
for the sake of our grand cause, Sunday. Please afford these two an opportunity to rest. Fuck. What? I knew it. Sorry, Robin. It's just you. I did not wish for you to know this. <gasps> it's a pity I that things it. have turned out this, this way. This motherfucker! So, this is the true reason I can't sing? I knew it! It was the him! shadow that envelops Panacone is actually... Him! We were never children of the Harmony. Our ideal paradise... <gasps> could not have been crafted by Shipe. Oh my god, True this bliss guy. can only be guaranteed by the one. <gasps> I knew who was corrupted. I knew who was thought to think, you know, per like I knew it. Oh my god, this third writing here is fucking awesome. <gasps> oh my the god. Foundation of law, humanity establishes civilization, and through harmony, we obtain order. Oh, wow. Wow. Unbelievable. To think that there would be remnants of the Order on Panacone. What have you done with Mr. Yang and Miss Robin? The same that he did to Aventurine. <gasps> Don't worry. I just gave them some time alone to ponder their fates. Oh, I will... Mm. Not continue that sentence. You should know that these actions make you an enemy of the Astral Express. Oh, he totally knows that. Should we need to I'm stand ready to beat his ass. Nameless, it would only be myself and the Oak family involved. But we haven't reached that point yet, have we? I Your think we have. Your efforts for the justice of Panacone are evident to everyone and have been widely observed. You want to talk terms with us? Give Mr. Yang back to us now. That's what I want to answer, but let's be realistic. What would I say in this scenario besides requesting my father to be brought back to my my hands? <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Oh, shut the fuck up. However, I won't hold it against you. On the contrary, I'm here to make my intentions clear. If it is the order that drove you to imprison Welt and Robin, and you're using them to coerce our compliance, then there'll be no point in entertaining any type of discussion. I agree with Himiko. You're mistaken, Miss Himiko. They are in very safe hands, and just as the family has always proclaimed, no one can be harmed in the dreamscape, least of all in the beautiful new world belonging to the order. Mm -mm. Panacone and the entire universe have witnessed far too much innocent bloodshed. The strong wield their blades against the weak, and the victors push the oh vanquished to the brink of life. Natural selection. The world abides by this principle, establishing the well-being of humanity. You know you can't atop change the corpses of the downtrodden world's fate Only by playing god one. right rather just I because you have a pair of wings the power to put an end to this farce <sighs> so you've decided to resurrect a dead eon no one's ever done such a thing shall we try with Akivili? <clears throat> joking i'm joking if miss himiko is interested let's draw back the veil and speak candidly I've always firmly believed that people can understand one another through peaceful means. I looked away for a second. Are you still being gay for this man? I am being gay for this man, but he stole my father, so I am requesting it back. I want my father back. He entraptured my father. <laughs> my father is not with me anymore because of this little Hooters guy. I need him back. I'm willing to divulge the unembellished Where is my father? as to the intentions of the Order's path striders, so that you will make better judgment for the Astral Express, for Panacone, and for this stretch of the universe. Words can hardly do justice to the beauty of that ideal. Holy fuck, but you're brainwashed, brainwashed, my guy. 
Ugh, that's gonna be a tough fight. So, come with me, everyone. Let us retrace our steps and see once again where this road leads. Huh? Where'd he go? Welcome. This isn't any location <sighs> in Kenetoni's dreamscape. It's my inner world. <laughs> The reason the scenery before so you we're gonna fight his inner demons Fuck. is because your consciousness has drawn on similar concepts to fill in the gaps. You've imprisoned us. Who in the right mind would expose their inner self like this? Uh, that means. Did you do the same to Welt? No, I don't think so. It's a tuning process, stronger in effect and more draining on the mind. The gray-haired guest has experienced it before, so he should understand what it entails. Shut the fuck up, you barbecue chicken wing. Tuning allows you to intuitively grasp my feelings, which also means that I cannot hide anything from you. Oh, now you're the super honest, super honest kind of guy, sure. Now, everyone, please look at the huge screen. The road we once took begins here. Which one of the two huge screens? Okay. From this point on, you will witness the numerous decisions I've faced. I've selected a portion of these to share with you. Sure. So you're going to bore us with your life story and the decisions that made you chose the path of killing your sister. I mean, betraying her. I believe after going through similar predicaments, you'll be able to better understand my thoughts. I feel sorry for you, Sunday. Let's begin. The first decision. A story about a baby bird. This story happened when Robin and I were very young. We were victims of the Stellaron disaster. And the family's Mr. Gopher Wood who would later become the dream master of Panacone, saw that we siblings had no one to turn to and took us in later on. Robin and I lived the time with nary a care in the world. One day, after dinner, while my younger sister and I were lounging about in Mr. Gopher Wood's yard, we spotted a fledgling Charmony dove all on its own. That baby bird was tiny. It didn't even have all of its feathers, and it couldn't sing. When we found it, it was already on its last breath, having fallen into a shrub. Probably abandoned by its parents, we decided to build a nest for it right there and then. However, thinking back, that winter was unusually cold. With fierce winds at night in the yard, not to mention the many poisonous bugs and wild beasts in the vicinity. It was clear that if we left the fledgling in the yard, it stood no chance of surviving until spring. So, I suggested we take it inside, place it on the shelf by the window, and asked the adults to fashion a cage for it. We decided that when it regained its strength enough to spread its wings, we would release it back into the wild. The tragic part, something that we'd never considered, was that this bird's fate had already been determined long before this moment. Its destiny was determined by our momentary whim. Now, I pass the power of choice to you all. Faced with this situation, what choice would you make? The Stick same as the Robin. Original plan and build a nest with soft net where the Charmony Dove fell. Or build a cage for it, and feed it, giving it the utmost care from within the warmth of a home. I eagerly await your answer. Your original plan. Mm. Talk with the others and see what they think. I want to see... I know I cannot replay this, but I would love to know what happens if we, like, if someone chooses, like, all the 
secondary choices. Like I would like I would love to see if there's like a for the little charmony dove. After all, leaving it there, it's bound to get... Let's see, Himiko, what do you think? It looks like he really has no intention of him. Back to the question. I would personally choose to build the little charmony dove a cage. Why are you all siding with him all of a sudden? That's I don't want to side with him. I do think that a fledgling should have the right to fly into the sky. But if it Like, okay, here, listen here up, my guy. I side with you, but you have the wrong reasons to be on that side. <laughs> if you understand what I mean. I can't decipher his intentions right now, but based solely on that question, I would probably choose to build that dove a cage. I'm going to do an experiment, and then... Even if I was going to release it back into the sky, it'd have to be strong enough to fly first. If I left it where I found it, I fear it'd never get the chance to fly. I'm going to do ex an experiment. I'm going to humor him. I'm going to humor him in every question. I'm happy to see that you made a choice similar to ours. If your mind is made up, we passionately nursed it back to health, preparing only the best food for it every day. We even preened its feathers. Later, on the day that Robin left, I watched it for a long while by the window, probably about three or so days. In those three long days, finally, on the hundred and thirty-seventh attempt. Holy fuck, you kept count. It succeeded. But its attempt did not go perfectly. After flying on the fall, shattered its wings. Mm. It writhed helplessly in my embrace. But it was all for naught. Finally succumbing to a painful demise. And in that instant, our I deeply regret the choices we made. Next. Oh my god. This story happened when I was appointed as Bronze Melodia. A, a position exclusive to the Oak family, charged with listening to the problems and vexations of dreamscape residents. Oh. And providing them with the relevant guidance. It was during that period that I had the opportunity to hear voices from all corners of the dreamscape. Joy. Sorrow. Arrogance. Regret, the complex tapestry of human nature that formed the world, and I was fortunate to catch a glimpse of it. He was a dream chaser, and an illegal stowaway. Just like the rest of them, he came to Panacone in search of a better life, except that, to most people, the price he paid. I suppose you could say it was everything. He told me, I sold everything I could at home. The house, the land, even his two children. He said he could not afford to raise them, and that at least they could eat if they lived as slaves. He had a plan in place. He would buy back his children once he had made his fortune and enjoy Panacone's beautiful dream with them. Alas, his plan to smuggle himself was somewhat clumsy, and he was sniffed out by those pig-headed hounds. After hearing the Dream Chaser's story, I immediately appealed to the Bloodhound family to cease their pursuit. That way, at least he could live peacefully. But I was still too naive to the ways of the world. Hmm. 
I did not anticipate that what I thought was a kind gesture would later lead to dire consequences. I'll tell you the outcome soon. For now, I'd like you all to make a choice. Will you do as I did, and try to convince the Bloodhound family to stop their pursuit, so that the Dream Chaser may live peacefully and realize his wishes? Or will you remain silent, leaving him to languish while the hounds are hot on his heels, until his inevitable judgment arrives? Hmm. I look forward to everyone's decisions. Who knows? Perhaps they might even alter the outcome of this tragedy. My experiment failed back then. So now I'm just going to go with what I actually think. But I'm still going to talk with everyone. A dream chaser story. If I acted up at what cruel repercussion would this choice result in? This question... Surely it has some... I'd probably choose to ask the Bloodhound. No, I'm not gonna do that. Just because I want to see what the difference is. Illegal stowaways are really quite common on Penic. He sold his kids to chase a dream. Even with that thought, there's only one choice. Let the Bloodhound send him back home. This person deserves to be punished. I mean, deserves to be punished, but... I was thinking punishing, like, jail time or something. But I mean, yeah. I'm not... I'm not gonna ask the Bloodhouse. I'm gonna remain silent. Let's see what happens. It seems you, like me, are pondering whether a different choice could have led to a better outcome. Sadly, his fate would only be more tragic. Naturally. Say he never gets caught. He would only die from delirium. The methods with which illegal stowaways enter dreams are unorthodox. Not flawless like the hotels. Living in the dreamscape would be a mere pipe dream, should he be apprehended. Could the hounds afford to turn a blind eye? The answer is a definitive no. As to your choice, I once again offer my heartfelt apologies. And the story this time... Is my own. I wanted to know what happened to him. This story happened the day I was appointed the Oak family head. At that time, Mr. Gopherwood was the current Dream Master. And as per his wish, we had a private conversation. I'll look for a video that has like the different outcomes. What surprised me was that the Dream Master had only come to deliver a letter to me. He let me read its contents, and it was a letter from my sister. The letter contained the usual pleasantries, anecdotes from her travels, nothing out of the ordinary. Just as I started wondering how this letter related to our discussion, the Dream Master began to speak. Do you know who wrote this letter? My sister, of course. But why would you personally visit me to hand me a letter from my sister containing mere trivialities? To help you grasp the full scope of this issue. Do you know where Robin is at this moment? From what the letter indicates, she must be in Caspelina 8, correct? She's touring there right now. Correct. Has she mentioned anything about a stray bullet? A stray bullet? What? A war has broken out on that planet. It is because of this very reason that Robin chose this destination. To spread the word of the Harmony. And to save the lives of that planet. She personally made for the front lines. 
Hmm. She hoped to ease the people's suffering with song, and was willing to brave mortal danger to deliver the IPC's medical supplies. Unfortunately, stray bullets show no such compassion. Is she all right? <gasps> That's how they got you. If the operation was successful, she should probably be recovering in the field hospital. By the eon above, the bullet struck her neck directly, yet possibly as a reward for her consistent deeds of harmony. It didn't hit any vital arteries. Once you've oh, attended shit. to shit. Are they gonna back are you gonna be blackmail him because his sister got shot? As soon as possible. Those damned savages. I'll pack my bags right away. My gratitude for bringing this to my attention. Mr. Gopherwood. Now you understand why she always wears such elaborate neck ornaments, don't you? How could this happen? It's all in the past, so please don't worry. I share this in the meager hope that you will understand the harmonies, limitations, and predictions. That's how they got him with his sister. Oh, that is such a mean. <gasps> that is such a manipulative and way. Oh my god. It is nothing more Mr. Than Gopherwood, I am. I'm I'm Likewise, hating him. I've prepared one last question. Because this is merely a figment of imagination. A nightmare that has haunted me through countless would you still support Robin's journey on the path of harmony? Yes. Getting shot is not the blame of the path of harmony. That's her own fault. I don't think an Eon is to blame because of that, like... <sighs> I often feel like I've dreamt of similar scenes on certain nights. In the dream, I see blurry faces. I don't know who they are, but <gasps> I sympathize no. with all of them. <clears throat> fighting for survival against some... Unfathomable force. Is she talking about? <gasps> I'm gonna cry. Their confusion and fear are lucid to me. But if Mr. Sunday's with each trailblaze, dangers and tribulations will surely follow. I love Himiko so much. Miss Robin's courage is admirable. But the fact that she's also Mr. Sunday's younger sister? No, I doubt he'd wish harm on his own flesh and blood. No. I can't believe that happened to Miss Robin. The strong defending the weak is a great mantra, but... I'm sorry, but I... Like... I would st still support her. I would still support her no matter what. <laughs> I see. I am now aware of everyone's stances. Raising these questions merely serves to illustrate one point. The plight of Panacone cannot be salvaged by the harmony. The true foundation for a sweet dream paradise can only be established through the order where the strong govern the weak. But you were saying... <clears throat> I know the suffering of being tormented. The turmoil of losing your way. How sorrow and even despair set in when matters don't work out all of this causes me unending pain because this is not what happiness is at all we must teach mm. the weak how to live a happy life and this life isn't some noble propriety that the upper crust preaches but in definitive terms a way of survival that belongs to everyone so what is your definition of living a happy life? Huh. Good question. 
human consciousness is fundamentally an illusion. A oh, you're so superior to us. Of course. People lured in by this illusion make mistakes. To us, yet still said ask the non-human blob. Bear the burden. When one mistake after the next permeates the masses, they become impossible to trace. Thus, the amassing of these individual cages culminate to form a prison. A place dictated only by the rule of survival of the fittest. Nature is always accompanied by predation and sacrifice. Its antithesis is known as order. That is what I want to do. Unite people's happiness under the banner of order. They won't That's just an utopia. It's not gonna longer, work. Nor face the weaknesses of humanity. They can cast aside their primal instincts to build a haven for mankind. It's gonna work even worse than the harmony. Far too abstract. So allow me to provide a simple example. As you all may know, there are societal norms like weekends and long weekends that exist on some worlds. <laughs> like your name? During these hard-earned rest days, people are given the chance to extricate themselves from the s and it is only on these days that people do not have to adhere to the law where the strong prey on the weak. They can live out their lives happily during these brief intermissions. It's just a pity that two or three days are still too fleeting compared to the span of a lifetime. Who hurt you? From where I stand, society's ideal system should be seven rest days. Following Sunday, there should ensue a second, a third, and indeed an infinite procession of Sundays. This should be the face of the new world. Idyllic, eternal, peaceful days. But that won't be balanced. That will be very unbalanced and unrealistic and, utop and utopic. It's not gonna work out. It just, it won't. And thus, every person can return to their base selves in this utopia. Some gaze in reverence at the stars, pouring their whole beings into calculating the distance between us and the isolated world of Pagana. Meanwhile, some seek refuge in quiet corners, holding one another, unencumbered by the chains of unwelcome obligations. There would be no need to bear the hardships of reality. Only in this way can humanity face the inevitable end with the purest of spirit. Living a life of dignity. This is what it is to live in bliss. It is not. Th that is... Miss Firefly, you who are stricken with entropy loss syndrome, you of all would surely understand this. <sighs> it sounds like a flawless theory. It is very flawed. What are you talking about, March? <sighs> but what is the price to attain all this? Exactly. Thank you, Firefly. I knew you would be on my side. That's why you're my bestie. The cost is minute, merely a personal and eternal sacrifice. If this paradise is to be maintained for everyone, someone must remain trapped in solitary awakening until the end of the cosmos. And of course, because of the martyr that you are, you are going to be that one person, aren't you? Awakening? Which means that this so-called Paradise is still a dream. Stepping into this paradise means forsaking reality, correct? <laughs> it is not forsaking, but transcending. It is forsaking. Flesh, blood, sorrow, weakness. If the physical is the root of spiritual suffering, it is only logical that we defeat it. 
<sighs> My guy. You're so lost. But in this supposed bliss, people won't have defeated their demons. The chance to overcome their tribulations would be forever lost to them. In other words, it is an escape. You tell him, Firefly. You tell that chicken wing guy. That's another way of understanding it. But there is no shame in escape. On the contrary, the seeds of escape exist in everyone's hearts. There is no shame in escape. But escape, the escape becomes a problem when you start seeking it out more than reality, than what you try to face your actual reality. Because that's where things go south. Don't you agree, Miss Firefly? And as to why we sleep, it is because we are afraid to awaken from our dreams. Has no one in this world been like, yeah, we sleep because our body needs to rest to maintain the organs functioning, but it cannot rest too much because then the organs will not function properly. Where are the scientists in all this, in, in, the, in this world? <laughs> but this is not in conflict with the grand plan. Only in acknowledging this can we truly understand the frailty of human nature and from there show compassion and protection. I... I admit that you are a born leader. Your perspective on humanity brims with pessimism. Yet you express compassion for all. Even when your heart pities them. Like he's in the right place, but for the wrong reasons. But unlike you, I live for the self. From my perspective, individuals making choices for themselves is their birthright. Let's go. The want to escape may be innate in the weak. But whether they are weak or not, it is not up to another to decide. Let's go. Perhaps in your mind, you also view me as weak. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't think so. You tell him. Since Miss Firefly has said her piece, the Astral Express will also naturally give you our answer. We'll leave it to you. Just as Mr. McHale instructed before. Tell him our choice. And my choice? What is this place? Does this place ring any bells, Misha? I... I don't know. But I feel a sense of deja vu. What is this place? Why does he sound so lost? It's the Poor soul within a dream bubble. This was left to the Astral Express by a nameless. But weirdly, when we entered it... It was completely empty. Dr. Edward from the Dreamscape sales store told me that dreams are formed from memories, and a dream bubble can't take shape if its core is empty. So I thought you might be able to help us in unraveling this mystery, Misha. As a hotel doorman, you know Panacone best among us. The dream bubble is Misha's, isn't it? That's why when he entered it, it now took shape. Because when we entered it before, it didn't. It didn't. Hmm. I, I don't know much about dream bubbles. But if you want to figure out what this mansion is, I'll do my best. Oh no, Misha. I'm counting on you then. Uh, Himeko, I still don't get it. Why were you so sure that Misha had a connection with this dream bubble? It's his. It's his I dream bubble. Sure. It was just a hunch. But since Misha feels familiar with this place, my hunch might be correct. Exactly. 
This is where you and Firefly encountered death, which we now know as Dormancy. Considering its connection to Dreamflux Reef, it's not surprising it appeared here. Sleepy. The question now is, who brought you here? Based on the clues we have so far, it's unlikely to be that masked fool. So identifying them is crucial to us. I remember it was Misha. We're drawing closer to the truth once more. I remember more. it was Misha. Let's give Misha some time, as I believe he'll unveil the secret of this dream bubble. All right, but there are doors all over the place. Which one should we choose? Do you have any idea, Misha? Hmm. I guess... Maybe this way? I'll follow you, my boy. I'm not entirely sure, but let's give it a try. I'm right behind you. Wait, you managed to choose the right door on your first try? I knew I could trust my boy. Weird. This place is quite different from the hotel. But I just, I feel like I've been here before and even lived here for a while. You, if I'm not remembering wrong, I thought you told us like this part is where you live before telling us that the dream reflux is where you live. If I remember correctly, there dream flux reef, be a sorry. fireplace down that hallway. Clocky and I used to sit by the fire, listening to the crackling of firewood. And and the room on the other side was the toy room. I loved spreading out all the toys from the box on the floor and making up stories for each of them. Okay, we're getting Hold memories. On. This doesn't make sense. Didn't I grow up in Dreamflux Reef? So, what is this place? This could be a case of amnesia. But don't worry, Misha. It's common for everyone to forget certain aspects of the past. Those memories haven't vanished. They're just lying in the depths of your mind. We can surely get them back. Since this place seems familiar to you, why don't we explore a few more rooms and see if you can recall anything more? Yeah, then let's check out the rooms I just mentioned. Let's go. Let's explore the fireplace first. Mikhail, that's the name? Now we all know him as the Watchmaker. I remember following those letter thingies. Maybe it wasn't Misha per se. I do remember following Misha around this place. But maybe it wasn't Misha Misha. It was like a illusion Misha. But I do remember following the letter saying like, Mikhail something, Mikhail this, Mikhail that. So, who is he talking to? Do you know anything about it, Misha? I'm sorry. I don't know much about the Watchmaker. But, Mikhail... Anything special about that name? Mikhail is... Is Grandpa's name. <gasps> You're connected to the Watchmaker. Grandpa? Do you mean you're the Watchmaker's grandson? But we haven't heard anything about the Watchmaker having descendants. And the name Mikhail is not rare. Hmm. Perhaps it's merely a coincidence. Perhaps. Could you tell us more about your grandpa, Mikhail? Yeah, sure. He was a seafarer who fearlessly ventured into mysterious seas and storms. He was always on the sea and had lots of friends who accompanied him on his travels. The memorial. He didn't want me to call him Grandpa because that would make him sound old. He believed he was still young. The name Mikhail was given to him by his parents, Mihaly and Elise, both renowned seafarers. Mm. Every time he came back, he'd share his logbook with me and tell me about his adventures at sea. <sighs> 
I want to become a great adventurer, just like him. It appears that the seafarer has nothing to do with the watchmaker. So, perhaps it's just a coincidence? A metaphor. So, where is your grandpa now? Dead. He went off on a new journey. And it's been quite a while since I last saw him. So, where has Clocky gone? Did he leave to protect Dreamville? Oh, the sound was directional. That was creepy. I heard some noises from the room. Origami bird? That's a friend of mine. Well, you have one in your back. You and Origami bird are friends? Yeah. It's a member of the Compass crew. Uh, just like Clocky and Miss Mirror. And there's more than just one origami bird. They are a big family with lots of brothers and sisters who look the same. They follow Miss Mirror's orders and handle all sorts of jobs on the ship. They're the best sailors. Sailors? Can origami birds be sailors? It's all a metaphor, March. It's all a metaphor. Could you tell us more about the compass, Misha? It's all a metaphor. Oh my god, this guy is lore relevant. This guy is way too relevant. In the lore. The Compass is a ship bound for the New World. Clocky and his partners travel through layers of fog to the depths of the sea. Oh no. Never there is danger. Clocky will use a compass and guide the ship in the right direction. That's a great story. But in the Panacone cartoon, Clocky and his partners have always lived in Dreamville and never ventured out, right? The bird or the boy? Huh? What the boy oh, is telling is a metaphor. That does seem to be the case. Like everything this guy is saying, like, oh yeah, my grandpa was a seafarer. Or yeah, the bird is a compass for the boat and the boat was this. Everything of all, all that is a metaphor of the watchmaker, which means either this guy is connected to the watchmaker or he is the watchmaker without his memories. And that is the reason why well, why the fact of him entering this dream bubble made the dream bubble react. Because this is probably his memories and he left them there to keep himself alive on a separate body. Weird. I... I clearly remember... Clocky arrived in the new world in the end. <laughs> Perhaps Clocky has a hidden past. I love how Himiko is treating this. I think... I hear the sound of water. You once mentioned there's a magnificent fountain up ahead. And which one is the happier option? I don't think we have a happy option in this. But let's hope for the best. Look, there it is. Any voices? No voices. The water resembles a precious jewel embedded in the dreams of all seafarers. Every time I gaze at the shimmering lights beneath the waves, it feels as though I'm back in this place, standing by your side. Why I'm saying this is all a metaphor, specifically about the sea and waves, is because all throughout the whole throughout the whole story quest, ever since like we got into Penacony, everyone has been referring to the memory to the memory zone, to the um, to, to the Penacone's memories and all that stuff and the, the dream reverie and all that as the sea of memories in which Penacone is built upon. The Penacone is a land in a sea of memories, 
right. So by this guy saying like, yeah, my my grandpa was a seafarer and was like had the greatest adventures out in the sea. It matches with Mikhail, the watchmaker, the one that founded Penacony that was like building up Penacony from the ground with all the, you know. <laughs> Have you recalled anything, Misha? Yeah. I saw these sentences in Grandpa's logbook. He used to say that despite the perils of the sea, whenever he stood on the deck in the afternoon, overlooking the sparkling waves, he would think of this fountain in front of his house. He well, this dream talk is making me want to dream like too. <gasps> to his side. Same. At sea, but I gotta finish this. I gotta know how this ends. <sighs> you know... I quite understand such sentiments. Don't sigh or you'll start getting gray hair. <laughs> I'm not an elder. I was just being a bit sentimental. Perhaps every adventurer far from home carries a fountain within their soul. Even though the other side of the sea remains shrouded in the unknown, the fountain in front of his house serves as a compass, leading him back to his cherished ones. Yeah, while Grandpa was at home, we would stand by the fountain and place the compass, a toy boat that I made, into the pool. Back then, I would ask him when I could go on adventures like him, and he would always laugh and say I was still too young. Uh, it seems this Mikhail is truly a seafarer and has nothing to do with the watchmaker. March, you're not reading yeah. enough. Based on Misha's recollections, the scenes in the dream bubble appear to be his childhood memories. But this raises more questions. According to Misha, he was clearly born on an oceanic planet and led an ordinary life. With no connection to Penacony at all. Everything is a metaphor, March. Could this be some yes! sort of metaphor? Yes! Perhaps the sea refers to the memory zone. You're finally getting it, girl. I'm sorry. I don't know, but my memories keep pouring out uncontrollably, like water flowing from a fountain. Perhaps I'll I'll remember more things if we go further. Let's go. Let's go further. I wish to share your burden. Hello? March is like me. <laughs> We're going to the opposite side, right? No. We should turn left here. Uh-huh. Something feels different about this place. This is it. I remember this corridor. Up ahead is... Grandpa's study. It was in that room that I... saw him the last time. stars! Across the ocean! Our destination. The atmosphere in this room feels totally different. Misha, you finally come. Lucky. Clucky, you're here. Huh. Yeah. This is the room where we first met each other. Are those books on the bookshelf log books left behind by that seafarer? Yeah, whenever he came back, he placed a logbook on the bookshelf in his room. They contain records of his expeditions to every corner of the world. Wow. He described our world as a fountain. At some point, the sea started to gradually swallow up the land where people lived. To ensure that everyone had land to settle on. He had to continue exploring the sea and search for the source of the rising seawater. 
If that's it's, that he's night, literally the watchmaker. Your grandpa's literally the watchmaker. Study, telling me that he was embarking on another journey. However, I could sense the gravity in his expression. Mm. It, it was the same look I had seen on my father's face before his final voyage. I asked him my if guy I could is doomed go by the him, narrative. But he said that my adventure lay elsewhere and told me to stay home and patiently await a certain sound at the door. What sound? He told me about a vast ocean in the sky. An ocean of stars. He spoke of a train His Victorian child dressed in cannot fool us. The desire to venture far away. Traversing the sea of stars without ever stopping. Misha, it's okay. You can it, this is a he safe place. You are the watchmaker, the we know it. Train. Or at least you're the descendant of that the watchmaker. He asked them to take me along. He said the journey I had always dreamed of would start there. A train? Could it be? Exactly what I've been saying! It's the Astral Express! I... I remember now. That's what I've been saying! My best friends are a group of nameless who came to this world to resolve a disaster caused by a star. Stellarin. Then, he gave his pocket watch to me. It was his cherished treasure. Appearing in every one of his adventure tales. He explained that difficult times were ahead, but assured me that the watch would guide me. He said, as long as I kept moving forward, I'd eventually reach my desired destination. And then, it was as if I heard the distant sound of a train whistle echoing throughout the room. You're exactly, Misha! And then we followed that whistle, didn't we? Yeah. I think I can still find the way we took back then. Wow. That's, it's, he's... Misha's, Mish, this Misha... This is the dream jigsaw, right? So we're supposed to find the egg... Do you remember? You said you obtained a mysterious shard when you stumbled... Hey, the shape seems to match. Looks like we're just one step from revealing the truth. Okay. There we go. One step away from revealing the truth. I already know the truth. I just don't want to face it. This is it. This is my room of clocks. Of course, you're the While watchmaker. I spent my time waiting for Grandpa to return from his voyage. Walter gave me this workshop. And it became my secret base. Here, I learned how to repair clockwork and gears out of my fondness of precision mechanics. In my dreams, I was the captain of the compass, embarking on adventures with my companions, Clocky and Miss Mirror, in search of the new world. I... I was born and raised here. So, this building in the dream bubble is your childhood home? Yes, but not exactly. To be more precise, this dream bubble itself is my home. See, I told you! <laughs> He's part of the Looks memories like of Mikhail! I remembered everything now. I fucking knew it! People for real, for real, don't use this character. They use it. Oh no, wait. Right. There was a there was a a, a usage thing and Misha was like 0.06% of usage. Yeah, people don't use him. 
even though he's like lore relevant. Well, I don't use it, but that's because I don't have him built. Like he's level one, I think. But I definitely want to build him with my Herta. I have him in my team that it's like Ice Ice Baby, which is like all the short, well, all the short Ice characters with Bailu as the healer. <laughs> so it's like Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> Why does it feel like everyone else knows something I don't? Because you haven't been reading through the lines. Marge, do you remember when he mentioned a clocky that only he could see? Yeah, the little guy here, right? But we all saw him in Dreamflux Reef, right? And Mr. Yang even greeted him. Looks like everyone on the Astral Express has a childlike spirit. No. The answer lies in the Astral Express. His experience shows that neither Firefly nor Acheron can see this clocky. Yeah, it has to do with the Astral Express. And when we were in Dreamflux Reef, you may have noticed that for some reason, nobody outside of the crew had ever talked with clocky. Correct. A mimetic life that can only be seen by a select few. It's just like a hidden message left by someone for the nameless. Correct. <laughs> I love this woman. She's so smart. But Misha can see Clocky too, right? They even grew up together. Because Misha but is Misha Mikhail. Hasn't started the way of the trailblaze yet. That's the key to the mystery, March. Now take a moment to recall. Have you ever seen anyone outside of the crew interact with Misha? <gasps> uh, wait. Uh, That's the answer, March 7th. This dream bubble is the place where I was born. And I... I'm a dweller in this dream. Just like a memory zone meme. I should have stayed here and waited for you. But when reality and memories merged, I unconsciously pushed open that door and left the bubble with Clocky. Oh. So it's not that the Watchmaker's dream bubble is empty, but rather the stuff inside ran away? Limbo, <laughs> basically. And the whistle you heard was the sound of the Express arriving at Pentacony? Yep. That's one way to see it. But I believe there's a longer story behind all this. How about we start with your name? Now, should we call you Misha or... Thank you all for helping me rediscover my true self. Now, <gasps> please allow me to reintroduce myself. Oh my myself. god. I was born on Lushaka in the Presmere system. Adopted by seafarers Mikhail and Char. They gave me a treasure. Okay, so you're not Mikhail, but you are. I carried their hopes. Mikhail Char Legwork. You are Mikhail! Or simply, Misha. I knew it! I fucking knew it! I knew it! And the crowd goes wild! I fucking knew it! If you prefer, you can call me by a more familiar name. The Watchmaker. I love so you, Misha. You're the Watchmaker himself? I knew it. He hid himself inside the memory bubble. I fucking knew it. That legendary figure is no more. Wow. I am only a reflection of his life. <laughs> As for the child who has been with you. He's the innocent protagonist of Misha's childhood dream. A friend of Clocky. A young apprentice. And a future mechanic on the Express. Aww. And this also marks the beginning of his journey, devoted to the Trailblaze. At the, the end, end of, of the, the journey, journey, I left this, this little flame, flame which, which I so, so cherished. cherished. 
in my deepest dreams, hoping to pass it on to the nameless of future generations. However, he somehow left the dream bubble and forgot all about his task. I apologize for all the confusion this caused. It's fine, we had fun. <laughs> Because he was born with a desire to trailblaze, wasn't he? Of course. I don't think Misha has forgotten his role as a guide. He remembered it. And that's why he mistakenly appeared as a hotel doorman in his dream from the very beginning. Exactly. The one who brought our unconscious friend here must have been Misha. If that's the case, we encountered the watchmaker's legacy from the beginning. The voice took me out the same. Well... I have a sarcastic friend who says I always take big detours and end up back where I started. <laughs> Perhaps that's what every nameless has to go through. But in the end, you found me. I'm sure you're all wondering what my legacy is. I believe my hound has mentioned the Stellaron and my wealth. If I may apologize, the Stellaron part is real. As for my wealth, however, it's nothing more than a baseless rumor. It's fine. Don't worry. He I left my homeland as a child, as a child and embarked on the journey of trailblaze. Learning all this is the real legacy. I traveled to various planets until finally reaching Asdana, where my friends and I built the original Penacony. And fought for its future ever since. I've been moving forward all my life, doing what I could to overcome the obstacles in my path. But ultimately, my journey reached its end, and I left behind no possessions worth entrusting. So, if you ask what's left within this worn out train, train engine that can be called a legacy. I suppose it's the things that are still burning in the engine's furnace. Now that you're well aware of the current situation of Penacony, I certainly hope that you'll help me get this world back on track. Don't worry, we'll help you. But I'll leave that decision to you. For the path of Trailblaze is never paved by others. Let's go! All I have for you is a story and two gifts. Well, glad I want to give you my pocket watch. It has accompanied me throughout my long journey. That's the legacy. Guiding that naive child forward and has been blessed with the presence of so many great people up to this day. And my hat, too. The one who navigated for me placed it on my head and planted a fanciful thought in my mind. The trailblazing expedition will never end. Oh, this is such now, a lovely reunion. It's time for you to make your choice. Once you've made up your mind, open that door and enter the long dream of an old man. Let's go. I'll be, I'll be waiting, waiting for you at the end of this corridor of time. I knew it. All right, everyone. That was so Let's sweet. Make a decision. Although I don't think anyone will have any objections. Let's go. Of course. We've come this far. Surely there's no other option than moving forward. I agree. In that case, it's unanimous. Then let's proceed together to the end of this dream and tell Mikhail our decision. Let's go. <laughs> Mikhail, where are you going? Someone has to step up and save Lushaka. So why can't it be me, Misha? Please don't go. And if you must, please take me with you. Don't leave me alone. 
No. Even without me, you know how to proceed forward, brave Captain Misha. The compass is waiting for you. Haven't you always wanted to be a better adventurer than me? Now go, board that train, and start your journey. <gasps> Where are you going, Mikhail? I I'm going to clean the floor in the parlor car. I've promised the conductor. Wait, first tell me, did you fix this watch? Um, yeah. I know what it looked like before. Its chain was broken, the back case torn, and the marks on the dial all worn out. How did you manage to fix it? Well, uh, it's hard to explain, but I knew it could be fixed. He would have a it's cuter mark hands, of a clock. Mr. Amundsen. Its hands were intact and pointing in the right direction, so I knew there would be a way to fix the rest. <laughs> I see. You'll work with me from now on. Haven't you always wanted to tinker with this train? You're its mechanic now. As for the conductor, I'll do the talking. <laughs> Tom -pom. But, but I only know how to fix watches. Watches, Don't trains, worry. that's the same thing. You've got what it takes. I'll teach you what you need to know. Watches, trains, is the same thing. Where are you thing. going, Legwork? It's time to head to our next stop. <sighs> I... I'm staying in Astana with Rosalina and Tiernan. I see. This place reminds you of home. The people of Astana have only achieved a tiny victory and still have a long way to go towards true freedom. Hanunu needs us. Don't worry, Brother Hanu. not all journeys lead to the stars. Even if I leave the express, our path of trailblaze will continue. No. Yeah, I knew you wouldn't stay on the express forever. Leave in peace, my friend. And uh, take this with you. This is Mr. Amundsen's hat, but why? When he departed, he said he would leave it to his best student. Well, I suppose the time has come. Farewell, legwork. Take care of Tiernan and Rosalina. And don't forget to write to us. This is so lovely and sweet. Uh, where are you going, watchmaker? Don't worry, Micah. Just going on a little trip. Someone has to be at the forefront of the interstellar frontier, and I'm the only former nameless in Fanaconi. So why can't it be me? Hmm. Because you're all we have. Have you forgotten about Tiernan? If to wear is death, literally. <laughs> what will happen to Panaconi if we lose you too? <laughs> That's literally what but happened. What will happen to Panaconi if we don't find a way out? Ah, Tiernan. How could I ever forget him? I've spent countless sleepless nights asking myself no. why I didn't go with him back then. We nameless won't stop. Don't worry, Micah. It's just a matter of getting back to my old profession. Just wait for me to come back. Spoiler, he didn't. But if, and it's a big if. If I don't come back in one piece, then you'll become the next watchmaker. Wow. Where are you going, old man? Oh, you're here. Oh. Answer my question. What are you up to? Relax, Gallagher. I just came up with a great idea. Wanna hear it? Oh, come on! Aren't all your ideas just ways to get yourself killed? <gasps> I may be blunt here, but you're the last remaining hero in Pentagoni. If you die too, the, the secret of the Stellaron will go to the grave with you. 
No, because you know it, you dumbass. Yes. I'm afraid there's no way out in Penacony, so I'll have to consider alternatives beyond Asdana. We'll organize a festival using the Watchmaker's legacy as a facade, and send invitations to the entire cosmos to gather people here. Ooh. So... A desperate struggle against the family? Yep. Desperate? <laughs> Don't we have you here, my friend? This task is challenging, but what hasn't been challenging for us along the way? Well, whatever you do, remember... Make sure to send an invitation to the Astral Express. Oh my god, that is so... Misha! Huh? Where are you going? To his final oh, resting place. It's you, Clocky. Take me to Dreamflux Reef. Oh. Last night, I had a long dream about the day we met. I want to write down that dream. <gasps> that is the legacy. Write it down? Why? Oh, so I won't forget it. Do you remember how you got your name, Clocky? Of course. You told me that when you were a kid, you lived in a room full of clocks. Those wall clocks and pocket watches grew up with you and were your best friends. Yes, but what I didn't mention was there's a funny misunderstanding behind it. I was a kid, and there was always a special pocket watch in my memories. It was with my grandpa. Guiding him on his sea voyages Aww. and leading the way in his every adventure story. <gasps> I wanted to have a pocket watch like that too. And that's when you appeared in my dreams. So, Clucky yeah. was literally the collective hallucination we've every had in our dreams all along. We boarded the compass. And set sail together. But you know what? It wasn't until the day my grandpa gave it to me that I realized it wasn't a pocket watch at all. What was it? A mirror? It was a compass. <gasps> so, your name should have been Compassy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the watchmaker is just a nameless. Wow, that was so nice. <gasps> the way it all turns. To... We've arrived at Dream Flux Reef. So, I'm going to cry. The story is so pretty. You know, Clocky, I don't think I'll be going anywhere else. The way he fixes mm. his uniform. <gasps> Look at him. The boy. Please wait a sec. Wow. Oh my god, he attacks with a broom. He's cleaning. He's so cute. I want to build him properly. It's time to go back to the dream bubble where you belong. Past and present. <gasps> no! The chair is empty! I thought the chair would have Mikhail there so we could have like, you know, Mikhail. Misha and Mikhail, one in front of each other. But it's fine, I guess. 
I've traveled far enough. And it's time for a little break. It is. Oh. So, we'll set out again. When you're rested? <laughs> no. I'll stay here. And then, this is where it ends. It's so depressing to this hear such a young voice say that. Where it ends? What do you mean, Misha? No, Clocky. That the trailblazing expedition would never end. Clocky. Yeah, that's what I said. So now, it's up to you to decide your next destination. <gasps> My next destination? What's that supposed to be? I've been following you! Misha? You're acting weird today. <laughs> if you're feeling down, we can just... This is not very he of him. It is not. <laughs> With the clockwork. <laughs> no, I... I'm not feeling down. As for clockwork, yeah, it resolves all problems in this dream. So, do you know what clockwork actually is? Hmm. I'm not quite sure. I feel bad, like, speaking because I don't want to interrupt well, them. Well, everyone gets lost at times. They may hesitate and doubt which way to go. That happens in this dreamscape and beyond. But don't worry. Everyone goes through moments of uncertainty and hesitation. Eventually, they gather the courage to make bold decisions. Whether it's calming, joyful, angry, or, or sad. All they need is a little nudge to take that step toward where they truly belong. I'm leaving that little nudge with you, and I hope you'll share it with others. Aww. Such is the essence of clockwork, the will of the trailblaze. <gasps> that scene. Clocky's hands spin around non-stop, indicating confusion, frustration, and weakness. But ultimately, people still need to move forward. Just, Just like, like your hands, hands. Always, always pointing ahead. This is where my journey ends. From now on, it is your path to walk. Fuck yeah! Trailblazing means taking paths your predecessors forswore, adventuring even further. Fuck yeah! In Mikhail's dreams, does not belong to order. Yes! Let's fucking go! Now we have the harmony on our side! Suck it, I Sunday! I can't believe that Eon would cast a glance at Penacony at a time like this. Is it because of the resonance from the legacy of the Trailblaze? Of course. Or perhaps the bond between you is so strong that it even impresses an eon. What can I say? I'm well, impressive like that. Be another possibility. Perhaps they want to witness, on behalf of the fallen eons, who will hold the future of Penacony. Mm-hmm. If that's the case, on behalf of the Dream Master of Penacony and the 107,336 members of the Oak family, I'm extending a formal invitation to all of you. I'm cordially inviting you all to the Penacony Grand Theater to participate in the upcoming Charmony Festival. And, of course, you won't be in the audience, but on center stage. Since the future of the Stellaron, Penacony, and even the entire cosmos is at stake, let's draw a conclusion there. In all fairness. Fair? If you truly believe in Akavili's path, then show me their courage and determination. Let's fucking go. Bring it on, bitch. I'll fry you in an air fryer. 
because clearly you don't own one. Let's go! Let's start the trial because I don't know how to use this guy. And I don't have many harmony stuff. Okay, increases the break. Please stay tuned. We need a strategy. <laughs> I love when he throws the hat. It reminds me of Mario. Okay, so deal minor damage, deal minus damage, grants all allies to the back backup dancer effect, break effect increase, the trailblazer regenerates energy with an energy regeneration, and the start of the next battle. Okay. You love silly goofy. Time to test I love our silly goofy. Guys who are tiny. <laughs> yes. Let's do it like this. Commencing support. Ready for another? In the mood for another beating? <laughs> I love Gallagher. <laughs> Let's improvise. Enemy targets detected. <laughs> Do you admit this crime? <laughs> Execute the Marastruck! <laughs> no amnesty for the Marastruck! That's all you got? Time to mix things up! Motor function restored. The mood is set just right. Let the show begin! That is so cute! Dreams do come true. Commencing support. <gasps> it's time! Step up, let's see ya! <laughs> Life's like a good brew. My friends? <laughs> Indulge yourselves! Wow. Everyone is healing like 50k. 100k, what the fuck? Huh. I don't know what to put in this guy. Let's put the clocky one. Just for fun. I'll definitely level up this one. Because I really like playing with imaginary damage. So that for sure will be something that I'll be playing with. Put a smile on him. <laughs> Persuade Argenti, let's go. Read the Path of Harmony, let's go. The fuck? Does that mean he wants to fight us during the Charmony Festival? That's exactly what it means. I'm afraid so. This is weird. Aren't Ark villains usually plotting some dirty conspiracy in the end? But he actually said something like, In all fairness, <laughs> could it be that he's underestimating us? Well, in my opinion, Sunday is deeply committed to his own philosophy and genuinely wants to prove that the Order is right. I sensed a strong conviction and a desire for dominance in him. Maybe he won't accept the outcome unless he wins fair and square. That's why... He'll give it his all in the upcoming battle. I flexed on him too hard with my pig swag. I guess I fucked around and found out. Oh my god. I love it. The amount of references these people are putting in this game is hilarious. I love it. Every time an important moment arrives, you hesitate. We've even dealt with a Lord Ravager of the Destruction, so a follower of the Order won't be a big deal. Let's go. Anyway, 
We can't leave the Stellaron unchecked. This is about trailblazing a bright future for Panacone and fulfilling Mikhail's and his predecessors' long-cherished wishes. Now that we've taken up the mantle, we can't afford to fail them. However, the same applies to the Order. Their plan didn't materialize overnight. And they have the profound collective consciousness of the planet of festivities behind them. That is true. A desire to dream. To slumber and escape reality. All those hidden emotions have given birth to the sweet dream of the Order. They've harnessed the will of an entire planet to create an Eon. This confrontation is far more complicated than a simple power struggle. To secure Penacone's future, fighting on the stage alone is not enough. What do you mean? Are you not coming with us? I believe Firefly is trying to say that she's heading off to another battle. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Which one is that battle? Before I left, the Destiny Slave told me that this journey would bring unforgettable rewards. Even though the script he gave me only had a few lines, I couldn't ignore them. Because one of the lines said... I'll experience death three times in the land of the dreams. Three times? This can't be serious, right? The first time was a painful death when I was stabbed by the Blade of Dormancy, which led to all subsequent events. The script will always come true. But... In a way that will only be revealed when that page is turned. So now I've understood the meaning of my second death. And I am prepared to face it. You're gonna not be a girl anymore? If all anymore. goes well, my efforts will provide crucial support for you. Oh, thank you, Firefly. Only by achieving victory in this battle can we secure a future for Penacone. What script is that, though? I don't know. Ask and Elio. Then, my third and final death won't come true in the most terrible form. The most terrible form? Does that mean... The true death. Where everyone in Panacone loses themselves completely in the eternal sweet dream of the Order. We must do everything we can to prevent that. I Have will. you made up your mind, Firefly? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't be here. Thank you again for your assistance for the Astral Express. May we meet again in reality. May we meet again in reality. Yeah. Farewell, everyone. May your trailblazing expedition never end. Oh my god. <sighs> I dreamed of a scorched earth. Everyone, are you ready? A new shoot <clears throat> sprouted from the earth. It bloomed in the morning sun and whispered to me. Like fireflies to a flame, my feet is death. May we meet again in reality. You never Vegas. No, we still have we still have business undone in Vegas. After today, Japella's name will disappear from cosmic history. And the Everflame, that's your next stop. Land of the dreams. I <laughs> You mean my three deaths. Silverwolf told me about it. It's such a shame that it's not part of my script. Blade. Well, I want to live. I'm never afraid of death. The opposite of death is eternal life, and that's... That's something I'll never desire. Blade is like 
Bro, I heard that you're gonna die three times. A shame. I would love to be part of that. Next time, slide me, slide me a page or two, you know, like, at least, you know, comatose state would be fine with me. <laughs> People die. And I am no exception. Death is like a script. A fate that cannot be defied. But that's exactly why... We have to choose where we want to rest forever. Do you exist just to perish? Are you not the same, Blade? The end you desire is not one dictated by others. I would also be afraid of getting in the car with the dude speeding up and now, constantly saying he wants to die. I would only be a weapon. <laughs> I mean, I, I would joke with him. I should die. And then I would prank human. him that he jumped a red light. Definition escapes me. Isn't this the answer that ordinary people look for their whole lives? A name that can be carved onto their tombstone. The tombstone that belongs to me once bore the inscription Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. Then it changed to Stellaron Hunter. But one day, it will bear the name Firefly. And all the brilliance she showed at the end of her life. I love this. El compa que acelera después de que rompiera con la novia. Quite unexpected, old man. Who would have thought your crazy plan would actually work? Do all you nameless fools just act on a whim? Apparently. I can sense that this false sweet dream is coming to an end. The Nameless may be young, but they had the ability to achieve this goal. Just like you did in your time. It's a shame you won't be able to see it firsthand. <laughs> Maybe I won't either. Once something fictional is seen <gasps> through, no. it ceases to exist. No. Yeah, not just those Nameless. Even Mr. Wings is just like you. Are you gonna Stubborn, disappear, Gallagher? No! Listen or give up, no matter what. Well, fate is unpredictable, I guess. If we weren't bound by those cursed paths, maybe we could have had some good talks. But in the end, we managed to do it. And now we can find solace. Remember how those idiots cursed us? They said, Go to hell, you worthless traitors! <laughs> well, I don't know if they really meant it, but... If longing for freedom means going to hell, then I'll be joining you soon, you fool. Oh, I know. I like her. Let's get together and have supper again in hell. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. There's one more thing. Here's to you. A glass of hello and goodbye, trailblazer. <gasps> to the imperfect tomorrow. Bro, I didn't want to kill Gallagher. Now I'm I am regretting my stuff. You're lucky to have found shelter from the rain. Let alone fresh berries in this desolate place <laughs> i was just following the scent of life it's particularly like strong in a place like this he's gonna die i don't want him to die it's a shame these berries don't have much flavor seriously in case you didn't know this fruit is pretty juicy the only downside is that when you chew it it's poison. It becomes extremely spicy. Oh, so chile jalapeño. <laughs> Have you lost your sense of taste? 
I can still taste certain things, like a faint sweetness. Before coming here, I stopped by a place called Orkron. It had barren cliffs and nights lit by bonfires. Burgundy snow would fall from the sky, and when it landed on my tongue, it tasted like raspberries. The flavor wasn't exactly sweet, but it left a lasting impression. When I think back on my past, I realize that what's tying everything together isn't the big events, but rather these small yet unforgettable moments. Don't worry about it. Losing oneself is a reality that every self-annihilator must face. At least, I haven't completely lost my senses and memories yet. Well, congratulations on adding another footnote to your journey. By the way, are you always alone? No, I had a companion in Orkron. She's a short, nameless girl who aspired to explore IX. She always said she'd walk a path deeper and farther than Akavili's. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Quite an ambition for such a small girl. So, uh, what happened? He died. She... became stagnant water. The fuck? Well... My... condolences. Condolences? I don't need them. The girl left with a smile. She never regretted her choice and most definitely won me to say goodbye with a smile. So, that's what I did. No. Mm. That's proof that you're grieving for her. Or, perhaps I'm just afraid. Afraid? I rarely sense that emotion from you. What do you fear? I'm afraid I'll forget the 30 days I spent with her, just like all the other days in my life. Most of them have already washed away with the rain. I'm assuming she made it metaphorically, naturally, because of the stagnant water where the hands are coming out and all that, but too. still was like, there isn't yikes. Much color left. I wasn't expecting to be right again. Paint <laughs> warm red, there's almost nothing. Hard to imagine. A ranger accustomed to bloodshed, destruction, and chaos finding warmth in the red color. Because I have experienced this warmth many times. Long ago, I promised someone that I'd bring it to more people. And that for every remaining moment of my life, I'd strive for a better ending for all. As long I feel as sorry for us still lingers, I have a chance to fulfill that promise. It represents a burning fire, a blooming flower, the berries in this cave, and life itself, fleeting yet still dazzling. In the end, it will lead me beyond the horizon of existence. And on the other side, I will. Cut off nihility. <laughs> the one blessed by the sleeping and shapeless is considering how to kill them. That's truly pure nihility. But you're right about one thing. After spending so much time near this stagnant water, only when I look at this vibrant red fire, do I realize that I'm still alive. No. When will this rain ever stop? Perhaps when the sorrows of the departed have finally quieted down, the sky will clear up. Okay, so have you back heard in the game. of a planet named Biari Scamandros, Don Hung? It's one of the paradise kingdoms under the influence of the Harmony, a sought after wonderland for the inhabitants of the Dardanu major and minor systems. 
Half an amber era ago, the family held an unprecedented festival there. And after that, everyone on the planet became part of the family. It's almost 2 a.m. Do you think the same thing will happen on Penacony? I don't know what time is it for me. Yes. But I'm or entrapped in the story. Explain it? The family deliberately used the watchmaker's invitation to keep all the path striders here, but banished the emanator of the nihility. Because of the nihility, I'm rarely affected by the power of other paths, but somehow I can unconsciously infiltrate them. Maybe that's the risk they're trying to avoid. I would disagree. Biori Scamandros is not part of the credit system or connected to the Silver Rail. No, we've been it's streaming nothing for more seven than a remote hours. civilization sheltered so... by the Harmony. But Panacone is different. As soon as we get the next pause, I would say. I'm ending stream because we've been streaming for seven hours. I did not saw the time because my cup was blocking the time. If I knew it, I would have ended stream way, way back. But anyways, shall let's 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 end this thing. Let's get to the first, next pause that we get and i'll leave stream there if the family messes with panacone that would be like declaring war on almost half of the factions in the cosmos i'm almost going to panacone no good night good night i hope you no, enjoy your they don't your if your, they truly serve your the dreams. harmony that is what do you mean the path in Panacone is impure. The harmony here has impurities. Correct. Do you remember the ancient swarm disaster? Tazeronth, the propagation, brought endless havoc to the universe. And it eventually evolved into a fierce battle among all eons. Two paths lost their eons in that war. The propagation and the order. Coincidentally, their downfall is related to a certain eon. Shipe, the Harmony. Legend has it that they participated in the crusade against the Imperator Insectorum and devoured Anna the Order for unknown reasons. Holy Forgaroni! <clears throat> so you're saying that the two leaderless paths are working behind the scenes? But I don't see any descendants of the propagation in Panacone. Could it be that the remnants of Beyond the Sky Choir are hiding within the family, trying to resurrect a fallen eon? Ding ding ding. I can't say for sure, but they're definitely planning something for the Charmony Festival. Oh, this is getting way too complicated. Is this why you want us to leave Astana right away? Are you giving up? He's not the Charmony up. Festival will start soon. Love his cowboy accent. I love one him thing too. I need to confirm no matter what. A warp jump is the best way to do so. Mm. Time is running out. I have another plan. We hear you out, my beloved wife. Hold on. Are you thinking of using the Jade Abacus of Allying Oath? Maybe. Exactly. The assistance from the Lawful Cloud Knights would be enough. Think it over carefully. You can only use that once in your lifetime. I have considered it thoroughly. My companions are... They're also once-in-a-lifetime treasures. <gasps> Pause, I feel treasured. That's it. That's where I finished the stream. Fuck off! How many times am I gonna be in Are dialogue? You the only one here, my child? Oh my god! I wanted the to leave stream there. Diplomat. Our secrets have spread like wildfire within the family. 
An IPC starships are gathering towards Astana. Please. This is a crucial moment for us. So, where is the chosen one who harmonizes the varied sounds? <laughs> what do you mean, Master? It's suddenly shut up or something. I'm right here in front of you, aren't I? You know, she was supposed to be the star of the Charmony Festival in our plan. But the plan has changed. As her brother, I... I know she doesn't want to sing for the Order. So I'll take her place. Do you know how to sing now? Hmm. You've always been wise beyond your years. I'm sure you understand the consequences of your choice. If you consider this a betrayal... Mm. Well, there can't be two suns in the sky. I'll step up and take down the other sun if necessary. <gasps> Do you believe in karma? <laughs> if karma exists, then everyone has their own karma. You have yours, and I have mine. And my karma has nothing to do with Is you. Is he gonna get the idol Mr. girl Gopher uniform? Ward. No, that's Welt's work. <sighs> Welt walked so Sunday could All right. crawl in the Since idol girl you're uniform. Willing to sacrifice yourself for her, I'll grant your wish. Well, the compromise came sooner than expected. Why? You and your sister were born as twins of the Order. And one of you is destined to follow this path to the end. Is this part of your plan? I think you're getting betrayed, Sunday. Of course. You're still as clever as you were when you were a child. The opening is near. Go, my child. Seize the power of the harmony and reveal your karma. I have one final question, Master. Why did you choose to bring the Order to Penacony? Wouldn't it have been better to choose a desperate world instead of a city filled with hope and dreams? Hmm. Why? It's for justice, my child. Yeah, it's a personal grudge if we lose against justice in our hearts. We'll make the same mistake as the harmony did. So, it's not you who manipulates the dreamscape with the Stellaron, but well, that's where our conversation ends. Go ahead. Justice for who must the one hundred seven thousand for himself apparently souls and whoever the follows family. the path of the order even though Have the end is dead of this moment too many times. Dead birdie. I shall ascend to the heavens, becoming the scorching sun. Okay, Bathed Icarus. in my light, my people shall flourish, while all evil shall be eradicated. Dead birdies. I see five dinners there. Oh my this god. This is the interior of the Penacony Grand Theater. Oh, it's quite exhilarating <laughs> to be flushed into the air by Soul Glad. But... Why is the venue still closed when the Charmony Festival is about to start? And not only that, the entire theater is eerily quiet. No audience, no staff, no one around. Please, please. Yeah, 
I wonder how many tickets. Hey, that's not what we should be concerned about. <laughs> Let's explore around. Be careful, everyone. <laughs> There's. There we go. We finally found it. The fucking pause. The fucking pause. We can finally go. We can leave. We can. We can be freed. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's fucking go. <laughs> Let me just claim everything else. Let's do this. <gasps> well, well, well. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone who joined. Thank you. Always. I appreciate you all. And thank you for staying around seven hours with me. What the fuck? <laughs> See you guys today. <laughs> we'll be playing Wuthering Waves. <laughs> bye bye.